All right, the stream should be live on both Twitch and YouTube now. So if you haven't been around, I've been dual streaming. I say this at the beginning of every single one of these, but uh, lower latency on Twitch. So on Twitch, the chat is more concurrent, better graphics quality on YouTube, better bit rate, that sort of thing. So watch wherever is best for you. If you watch these on VODs later on, it's better to watch the VODs on YouTube on the live tab. But as far as live goes, watch ever, wherever is best for you. And you can always uh, lurk at the other one if you want. All right, so we are here to start a brand new RimWorld themed run. So this one is, it's still going to be played on the hardest difficulty with no pause. So 500% no pause as always, like I do. But it's going to be more of a themed run instead of a challenge run. So it's going to be a little bit more similar to Melee Gods or to the Dwarf run. We're going to do a Sanguifage themed run. So I am using a couple more mods than normal. Basically, though, my normal mod list, which is very small. And uh, in, in addition, I have geological landforms for some more unique maps. And then I have more slavery stuff because we are going to be very war crimey, very war crimey. So people have asked me before, like, Adam, have you ever done a war crime run? I'm like, that's just my everyday run, right? Well, this one's going to be a little bit more brutal because we're going to be evil royal vampires or sanguifage. So thank you guys for coming in on YouTube. I appreciate it. I see that there was a lot of you uh, sitting there and chatting even before the stream went live. So that's pretty awesome to see. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. So I'm going to explain everything uh, as I go through here. If you watch this later on on VOD, you can just use the timestamps and skip the, the intro stuff if you want or go to whichever one's important for you. Alrighty, let's see. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And, you know, it's, it's still going to be a little bit dangerous early game. Uh, I'm also going to be playing as Cassandra for the first time in a while. And Cassandra is, in my opinion, harder on 500% than, than Randy. So, all right, let us begin. Papa Grizz, thank you for 12 months. Well, that's almost full count of year, Papa Grizz. You were the resub. So we are going to do a uh, Sanguifage, but we are going to do a slightly edited one where a eclipse happens on schedule at the end of every season. So every 15 days, there's going to be an eclipse for two to three days. And I'll explain more on why in, in a little bit. All right, so no pause, commitment mode. We're going to go to custom. We're going to set this to losing as fun. We're going to bump it to 500% of the hardest unmodded difficulty. Everything else is the default. The default. Been Lady of the Hall. Long, long. Matt, Itachi. Head, stunned. Akabiti, Viper. Gal, Ticket Mac, Master, Mindhawk. There's so many of you coming in. Thank you guys for being here. All right. So we're going to... So Geological Landforms also adds this. So you can tell it, you know, how much of different kinds of maps you want. We're going to do a crowded map. And I don't have a... I don't have a seed in mind, so we'll just do Vampire. 30% like we normally do. Just in time. Uh, Black, you're the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Black. Also very much appreciated. This is an interesting world. Harsh Locust Expanse. So again, this is going to be a, a, a themed run. We do want to be close-ish to the Empire, though. So let's take a look what we got here. There's some Empire down here. Um, What kind of places is this? This is tropical. I don't have anything specifically in mind. So. Uh, what do we got up here? Some temperate with two empires. Yeah, maybe I should have scouted out a, a good place to land. But that's okay. Oh, the mountain up there. There's all kinds of stuff. Ibis, Taiga, Koya Mountains. So you get some weird names sometimes. These ones are all pretty, pretty tame. Love mountains. Love mountains. <laughs> all right. Um, this is actually a pretty, like, a pretty cool map. The only year-long, or year-round stuff is down here. Not sure I want to deal with the jungle too much. What do we got going on here? This is an interesting little spot. It's relatively close to the Empire. Gray Reindeer Mountains. Like, that's a little bit of a trip, you know, but maybe we're okay making some trips. We're not, not super close. See, sandstone, granite, slate. I'm not going to be too big on whatever we get here. Slate and granite, marble, sandstone. There's a marble and slate. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So we want to try out Lone Mountain, and we're going to go to 275, 275. Hang on one second. Did I set this to crowded? Crowded? Okay. Vampire. All right. My bad. Just double checking. Love mountains. We'll have to visit those. <laughs> Yeah, there's enough empire we can trade here. All right, and we're near a road. Marble Slate, that's fine. So we're going to try out Lone Mountain. So this mod is Geological Landforms. I've never used it before. 
but it adds a bunch of different map types and lone mountain is like it suggests a, a single mountain in the middle of your map so it's gonna be a little castle-y we'll see we're also gonna go in and do 275 so the big side of medium that's what i usually play on Will I use zonal shooting on this playthrough? I don't know, maybe. I don't have any plans of what kind of defense I am and am not gonna use, but I'll go over some of the stuff that we're gonna plan for sure. All right, so we are going to have a fixed ideology. I will be uploading this ideology and the uh, this scenario and everything. I will be uploading it to the website later. Does the bigger maps cause any insta not instability, no. I will be uploading this later in case anyone wants to play with the same one. So we're going with Supremacist, Raider, Darkness, and Blood Feeding. So we're not doing min-max ideologies. We're doing more themed ideologies. So we don't have Production Specialist and a bunch of other things. So Blood Feeding, obviously, very thematic. So we're going to be uh, feeding on blood and people like that we are vampires, right? We're going to be doing Darkness, but we're not doing Darkness with Fluid Ideology. So this is going to be oftentimes a debuff. So... For anyone that doesn't know, if you have darkness from the get-go, you cannot have a, sun, a permanent sun blocker. You cannot have sun blockers in general. So our single phase are going to be, well, everyone, are going to be good at combat at night, good at, in the dark, and that's why we have that that long eclipse at the end of every season that we can hopefully do some extra stuff. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times it's going to be a negative. Raider is also very thematic. So I went through all these and, and kind of talked about them in the Discord, but Raider is very thematic. It's not going to help us very much, and it's going to be kind of an annoyance later when we have to go out. But this is how we're going to go out into the world and kidnap other pawns or slaves and maybe eventual other single phase and stuff. So, uh, And then Supremacist is for the slavery stuff. All right. So we also have a mod that I've never used called More Slavery, which adds some memes for slavery. And this one is... Is vanilla slavery not satisfying enough? Vanilla slavery kind of sucks in general, but yeah, thralls this time, not slaves. But uh, yeah, we're going to use this just to be more thematic either way. So terror slavery is going to make it so that our people are only happy. Our people are only happy if slaves are tortured. So if there's any slaves, not only, not only are the thralls slaves or whatever, not only if they're happy, but if they're just if they're just not miserable. If they're anything above miserable, our people get unhappy. The single phage will be unhappy. So, uh, oh, we can only have single phages colonists. Only single phages colonists. So, if 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 they're not a single phage, or they're not about to be a single phage, then they have to be either a prisoner or a slave. And so we have to keep them tortured so that we're happy. Uh, yeah. So, oh, another thing is they will not try to escape if they are at extreme breakdown levels. So if we keep them at extreme breakdown levels, they're not going to have an uprising. So yeah, fantastic. Uh, aside from that, everything in here is pretty normal. So very, very normal. We have the Eclipse, beautiful. I am not using faster research this time. So research is gonna go a little bit slower. But uh, other than that, everything is pretty normal. We have love free and approved. We're also not using any of the specialists that make things much easier on purpose. So we're just using only melee specialists, which isn't too great, but it'll help us a little bit overcome the light penalty for our darkness precept. We also have some rituals here. Again, not, not min-max rituals, just we have two bit dance parties. They're uh, aptly named, right? Blade, Blade Rave and Blade Rave 2, Bloody Boogaloo. Okay, then we have two social. We have a gladiator duel, which I'm thinking Every person that we want to become a single phage has to win, has to survive a gladiator duel, which might really suck because there might be a really good pawn that we want as a single phage, and they might just never win a gladiator duel. <laughs> we just might be like cheering for them to win and they get killed. So that should be fun. Uh, and then, yeah, we got, uh, you know, normal stuff here. We were going to try to get relics and our vampires are, uh, the melee is noble for the vampires. But yeah, very themed, very themed. So this is going to be much more like the Dwarf run or Melee Gods than it is like a real challenge run, although we are on 5% no pause. Also, if Cassandra gets a little bit too predictable and stuff and we're kind of sick of it, we can always switch over to Randy. I'm not I'm not married to whichever storyteller. Go on, Dragon. Welcome in. Okay, very themed, very themed. Uh, Terror Slavery is a mod. Yeah, it's called More Slavery. Okay, so we are going to use a random plus to roll a good single phage. So we are going to roll for someone 
that has so we're also trying trying to do very little work with the single phage they're going to be royal single phage they want the slaves to go out and do all the excuse me thralls to do all the stuff and so i'm only trying to get this this is kind of a hard roll though so it might take a few tries but and also in a roll for sanguine again thematic right so let's see let's see how many rolls it takes to get one of those <laughs> jeez Night Owl, Slave, Holding Vampire, something like that, something like that. Love these sort of things in your colony as well. So that one's 764 rolls to get this. Iron Willed, Tough, Sanguine, but Incapable of Violence. Sad. Yeah, I saw the Pig Vampire. <laughs> so we, we don't care. I know you can use Prepare Carefully and stuff to make these, but I wanted it to be something that, man, maybe we shouldn't roll for as an aggressive. Um, We'll see, we'll see. I might, I might turn off. There's no slavery here, Op. So just thralls. Oh, that's interesting. Because they are incapable of firefighting as a single phage, but that's a... Uh, three years. Yeah, we don't want to wait that long. We don't want to wait that long. Do you need medical skill? Yes, to tend to the slaves. All right. Tough sanguine. Only 157 rolls. 14. Wow. All right. Is that going to be... <laughs> good God. Okay. Whatever. It's good enough. Adam Crap. <laughs> His hairdo. Look at that hairdo. No slavery, just thralls. Have I ever tried? So, uh, I haven't. I haven't done that one yet. He made three of them. He made one for me too, and I haven't done it. Adam, crap. All right, 157 rerolls. That's how many rerolls it would have taken to got to get this one if we were just doing it normally. We just came straight out of high topic. I know you can increase the number of rolls, yeah, but uh, it bugs a lot of times and forces things that you don't want. So that's why I no longer do that, and also only put it on normal. All right. So the other thing we are going to have a. Thrall, see, they're even named Thrall, who is just good at some of the work stuff that we need done uh, in the beginning. They're just going to be a baseliner, our first slave. We also don't want them to get, get anything that makes them happier. Theme their apparel. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get stuff, we'll get stuff. I like the Boat Only series. Boat Only series was really fun, too. Another kind of themed one. That, that one was definitely a... Creepy breathing, 53, uh, maybe not that old. Cable of violence, we can't have them in cable of violence. Underground or tough, we don't want sanguine. Quick sleeper, underground or tough. Uh, all right, uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we don't want our first thrall to have dark skin, just in case. Like I'm not doing it in that sort of way, but it just seems like maybe that's not the best thing to do for many reasons. So we're just going to roll on past that one that we just saw. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't want. Not... Stop rolling dark skin. Anyway, I don't want any like not just demonetization, but other any anything else. You know, we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Uh, all right. This this guy, this, this one looks fine. Looks like we just scooped him out of an office somewhere. Okay. Let's see. Politically correct vampires. Need a pyro thrall? No, because then we wouldn't have anyone to put out fire. Then the, it would just, the run would just be over. Okay, let's get our first slave name. He, uh, thrall. It's Waffles. Waffles has been in the queue for a long time. Alrighty. So, we're just using the base single phage uh, genes. So, if you haven't seen these, I'll show them really quick. So this is what the single phage has. For anyone that hasn't seen it, they have all the archite stuff. So very, very uh, good in that regard. They have all the blood stuff. They do have to death rest. They are afraid of fire. They will run away from fire. They get a mood hit from being in the light. They're fast. They're robust. They see in the dark. They're good at melee. They don't sleep very much. And they're good at social and intellect. Also aggressive, fast wound healing, all that stuff. It's just the base single phage for anyone that hasn't seen that. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> oh boy. Jogger tough, yeah. 
But our Sanguifazer, aside from, uh, they're going to be staying in the in the castle a little bit. So again, only Sanguifazer will be real colonists. And we have to try to make every Sanguifazer royal. So we're going to play a lot different. We're going to build differently. So let's get in, see how it goes. Let's see if we die. But most of all, this is going to be a themed run for fun. And yeah, let's get in. 14 year old. So he will age to 18 and then he will become ageless. All right, here we go. I've been excited about this one. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. It's gonna be a pretty crazy one. All right, I'm not gonna read that because we have no pause. Let's see, we start with a masterwork. Let's see what the art is on this bad boy. This weapon bears an image of a square. Art. <laughs> wow, <laughs> great art. So, oh, look at this. Hey, the animatry is not a bad place either. This is weird. That is weird. This is Lone Mountain. Lone Mountain. All right, cool. Interesting, interesting. I don't even know what to do. I'm so used to like knowing exactly where I want to build and stuff. I guess we'll just build here and start going into the mountain. So let's go ahead and put a stockpile zone here and we'll just get some trees chopped and go from there, get things moved. Go into work. Wait, why can't I firefight? I shouldn't be able to, right? Sanguifage. He's going to run from it, so he can't actually do it. But I thought he was actually disabled in here. But yeah, he, he, he will run from it anyway. So I wonder what's inside. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if there's some ancient dangers hiding in there. So we are going to... Uh, we have to make a room in order to to enslave this thrall, right? So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we need to do first. For me, I guess for now we will be initially helping out. So, nah, screw that. This guy's got to do it. This guy's got to do it. All right, so we're just gonna make a little, a little base. We could also, I don't know how I feel about getting a mechanator. The map base, but inside the mountain. Yeah, yeah. What's that pink stuff? So that is color-coded... Uh, or excuse me. Colorblind minerals, so pink is uranium. The mods are in the description on YouTube, or you can type exclamation mods in either of the live chats. Can there be an ancient agent there? There can be. Yeah, we tested that with... Uh, when we got these mods on... Uh, whatever, whatever day, when we were looking through these mods, yeah. We, we tested it. It actually can have it, so... All right, we're going to make the entrance a little, little larger than I normally would. And let's go ahead and also this deconstructed. And let's see, let's play in a little bit of rice. So later on, we're going to try to have the vampires have just blood and meat to eat. But we didn't go rancher, we went raider this time instead. So we really, we thought about, we talked about it, about going rancher but we'll probably do that uh, rancher themed one at a different time. We gotta get these things moved in. We gotta get that done. So I'm gonna have to help out initially with my zero building, unfortunately. But can you make a slave a Mechanitor? I'm not sure actually. A gorgeous mountain castle, hopefully with room stuff. Yes. Is this a 200? This is 275. So this is the biggest medium sized map. So 275. What does the Geological Landforms mod do? It adds lots of unique maps, like this Lone Mountain. It adds ravine maps. It adds a lot of a lot of new styles of maps. And we'll probably go see some of the other ones as we go out into the world and find some Ancient Danger. Speaking of, there's Ancient Danger right there. There might be others in the mountain. We'll see. But yeah, it adds a lot of different map types. All right. So we got to get this stuff done. We are on... Uh, single phase starts with crash landed stuff. So let's go ahead and get some shelves so this stuff doesn't go bad here. So waffles, go ahead and make a few shelves. And then we got to get things hauled in. Waffles is eating. Make a shelf instead, waffles. Burn box since the vampires ate fire. So I'm not outlawing any kind of strategy like that initially. But yeah, it would be pretty bad if a fire got out of hand because the single phase will literally run away from fire. You can't do anything. So. 
Gonna be good. Raise building skill. Uh, we don't want our main. We don't want the single phase really building. That's a that's a thralls job, right? We want to research and learn and make art and stab things with swords. That, that's what the vampires want. And, and you know, drink blood. We're gonna try to do as little work as possible in the long run with the single phase. So for anyone that didn't play royalty back when it first came out, when royalty first came out, as you went up through the royal ranks, you lost the ability to do more and more of your work. So royals eventually could do basically nothing. So we're gonna be like the royals of old from a few years ago. That's old. Made the single phase lazy. Ah, no, no. I'm gonna play the vamp the vampires themselves will be melee and the slaves are not allowed to be melee because the melee weapons are noble and so the single phage will use the noble weapon i want to keep the wooden shelves right now i'm just putting everything on there i'll fix the shelves later right now it's just to make sure none of this is deteriorating but we'll get our initial stuff set up and go from there building is beneath them that's right Pretty much a one-man unstoppable army. Almost, yeah. They're not as strong as the melee guns, but again, this is not supposed to be a super challenging run, although we could absolutely lose, especially early. Persona weapons would be incredible, yeah. So we'll, we'll be going after all that stuff. This is a themed run, kind of like our dwarf run. It's still 500% losing is fun, no pause, etc. But I know this is going to be nowhere near as difficult as a lot of our challenge runs, right? And that's, that's fine. It wasn't meant to. This is meant to be a themed run. All right, we are going to go back to helping get this initial stuff built. Getting some botches there. It's all right, though. And we are against Cassandra this time. So we are going to make a trap tunnel. Actually. Next time this run. Yeah, it should be interesting. should be interesting. It should be evil. We are definitely evil vampires. So the more slavery mods, for anyone that doesn't know, there's a lot of different precepts and memes that it can add. So you get to choose. You can actually make it so that slaves or thralls or whatever you want to call them are status symbols and your people get really happy if your slaves are treated really well and the happier your slaves, the happier your people and a day's already and the, the slaves can participate in events. They can be married to people. Uh, they, if they're really happy, they won't even try to escape. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of things you can do with it. So if you want to use that mod to make a more, you know, themed run one way or the other, you can definitely do so. Right, so soon we'll have them enslaved. Go on abstract. Look, I called you abstract this time. Love to comment, love the video, and watch the VODs. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody likes videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the things. Okay. So we are going to turn this stuff into for prisoner. We're going to arrest waffles here. On air, do you get attacked by vampires? Uh, the colony is vampires. We yeah, the raids will be normal. All right. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we would do it right away. There we go. So I didn't worry about closing that. All right, waffles. Enjoy your life. I mean, don't actually don't. If they need to believe the ideology, we probably will will convert them all. Yeah. Probably so. Because we have the blood feeders are worshipped thing, so pro probably probably we'll do that. What's your plan when you get the single phase you get? Uh we will accept other single phase, yeah, absolutely. Promoted from abstract abstract. That's right. Promotion. Finally, <laughs> finally promoted. Hey, Waffles. Uh, Waffles, get up and work. Stream break risk, this ideology. Periodic mood boost and rating. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. We got, we got some, 
We got some ideas coming. I think it'll be just fine. Won't they be happier if they're converted? Probably, but then I have to convert them after... If we if we want... I guess if they're never going to be single phage, then maybe we go with it. Also, I probably should have made the Empire a ideology that was that went with ours pretty well, but I didn't. This is it war crime? I don't want it. Personally welcoming other single phage if they are hesitant to join. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I don't have a super plan for those. Nothing specific in mind as of yet. But yeah, we'll just play it by ear. It's just, it's just supposed to be a crazy, you know, fun themed run. We'll we'll just eh, we'll just do whatever seems good or right or fun at the moment. Poor waffles. So let's check this out. No miserable slaves minus two. Waffles still isn't unhappy enough. We're gonna have to like feed them raw food. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess we don't want to convert them until after. He's already our ideology, so there's nothing we can do about that. But Waffles is also maybe a potential future vampire. We, I don't know. Leg off the workers so they can't XP or fight back. <laughs> no ethics, but it's efficient, yeah. He's starting to get more and more unhappy. We'll, we'll get him there, don't worry, don't worry. We could give him some pain. I don't want to accidentally kill him right now, though, because I don't want to do the work myself. Okay. All right, let's let them chop some things, and we will get to thinking here. You know, a chunk is a pillow. <laughs> His room is too luxurious. All right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to do in this mountain. So we want the throne room maybe to be the center. So that's center-ish right there. And we'll go maybe 11 by something. 11. Let's go a little bit larger than that. Tantrum. So he's not unhappy enough. So we need to, we need to fix this. No waffles. No. Oh, do we have to re-enslave if we do that? I'm not sure how it works. I know with prisoners that were calling us, you can just release and they'll become it again. Let's let's find out. I've never we haven't really played with them very much. Okay, it's the same as with colonists. Okay, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. There we go. Three low expectations. So getting these out of the way will help a lot. So that's mainly what's going on right now. But also, Waffles. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Waffles? I'm going to need you to strip all your clothing off, okay? Sir, I'm not a nudist. I didn't ask for your life story. I didn't ask for your life story. Ooh, possible, possible addition to our thrall society. Industrious. Hmm... An industrious cook. We got some mining as well. Hmm, that's another worker we could use. Yoink. Get that out of there. We also got a barrel already, which is nice. Oh, I don't want that on. Oh, an SMG. Look at that, Waffles. You have a gun. Don't use it against me. I'll kill you. Okay. So, prisoner enslave. All right, cool. Excellent. Nice. So let's go ahead and make some food restrictions here. So let's make a new one. And we're not gonna use this just yet, but let's think about what we wanna feed them. What's the worst food we could feed them where they're not gonna get too much food poisoning? I guess paste, right? Oh, he's not a slave anymore. Waffles. He releases as a colonist? Oh, that's, that's terrible. Okay, well now at least we know. Get back in there. 
terrible. Kibble, that's a good idea, kibble. Kibble and paste. What if they're furries? <laughs> kibble and paste. Thrallin' time. Kibble and paste. All right. Pawns also hate baby food, yeah. Uncooked bug meat. <laughs> you feed them hay? No, no, they want to eat hay. <laughs> Uncooked bug paste. Uncooked bug meat, rather. Human meat kibble, while they don't have our ideology, is probably... Yeah. That's probably pretty high up there. Or just have them eat corpses, honestly. So. Oh, man. I, we are already trying to think of ways to make the thralls miserable we should also check if thralls have relationships and if we see they do we need to make sure we find their relative and kill them all right we got another one to name we got another one to name these people that have been in the rim world naming queue for like a year and are getting in or you're like wait a minute <laughs> you know what thralls have all lowercase names you guys don't deserve capital letters Italia, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Italia. <laughs> so sorry. All right. So on the assignment here, enough medicine. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Let's give you the nudist thing as well. Let's make sure your ideology doesn't want you to be nude. Nah, you're good. You're good. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Why am I sleeping on the ground? No, they're actually okay at that, so we'll leave them on that for now. We need to, yeah, we need to get to a royal bed really quick. This is the bad guy run, yeah. Most opposed to your own, then convert your slaves to that. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. All right, while things are happening up or down there, we'll we'll go ahead and plan this out a little bit. So we got 11, 16, 17. That seems all right for a start. And then we can expand on it. So that'll be the initial throne room. Their certainty and their religion has fallen. What could possibly have made you start to forsake your religion? I don't understand. Them slab beds? Psh, slab beds. Point off. None of this phases you. <laughs> My leash, I'd be honored to be named as a thrall. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to wait on Waffles to get re-recruited. Okay, so we are going to dig into here and get a throne room. And then what else do we need? We're going to need the gladiator room for sure. So this is the throne room. We need the gladiator room. We'll put that straight down from it. Whoops. Playing a little bit. A little bit. Hopefully, we don't find any holes in here. And we'll like taper this one off a little bit. We'll do it a little bit differently. All right, the gladiator room. Because we gotta get our rituals going. Yeah, that's a good start. Death rest. I think I'm going to make him a big bedroom and have his death rest room be the same. It's better. You call a CM. That's right. Blood feed room. I have some ideas for that, too. Being upset. Make him lose certainty. Yeah. yeah. A discipline room. Oh, we can harvest some organs that they don't need, like their tongues. Oh, my God. Why didn't I think about that? We can just harvest their tongues. All right. We got to get we got to get some things going here. But you know what? Just let's baby steps. We got to pace ourselves. We got to pace ourselves. <laughs> Take their tongues. They don't need those. They only also need one kidney. A mad squirrel. Okay, so this is Cassandra's first uh, minor event. Let's see how we do here. I'm sorry, Talia. What is going on with you? You're currently not working. I don't know what that means. I don't understand. How can you not work mining? Okay, you're going to start mining soon. Let me kill the squirrel. Oh, easy. Baby steps. So what if you kill their babies? If they, uh, you know what? Hang on. Do you have any relatives? Oh, you have a father and a sister that are still alive. Interesting. I would love to meet them. 
Please be uh, not, not quite yet. I would love to meet them. Love to meet them. All right, so we got our throne room, which we can expand on later. We've got our uh, Colosseum. So maybe we'll have some of the Sanguifage bedroom, like one of them off to the side of the Colosseum. You know, we enjoy, we enjoy a nice Colosseum match. So we'll, we'll put them over here. Let's give them um, a seven. There we go. He, he can death rest in there too. That's fine. Relatives into slavery, give them a two-year debuff. Yes, yes, it does. And you know how I know that as well, unfortunately. You know how I know that. All right, so we got two single phase rooms off the side of the Coliseum. We have a feasting hall. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do that too. So we also need a ritual area, right? Uh, we could share it in some of these, but ah, ah, we'll, we'll make an extra one for it. You know, let's let's be let's be fancy here. All right, so. Seems seems pretty decent. Maybe a little bit larger. Okay, so that's the core of our base. Uh, that doesn't look like we're starting to draw any kind of like. You know, it just it's it's just abstract. Yeah, that's what it is. It's abstract. It's not a any kind of. You know what? Just use your imagination. It's not quite phallic. Phallic. It's it's a little something else, but it's fine. They have family over Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Let's eat them. Thrall pins. Yeah, we'll do that too. So we'll have little rooms for them. And so this will be the core of it. And maybe we can have some of their other rooms here. So let's plan some of that out as well. And we're going to have to have some defense, right? So we are still going to get massive raids. So I got to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping that in mind, right? We're going to have to defend some some crazy stuff. I'm not sure how many of the single phase we're going to have, but we will we'll have this area for them. Okay, and then we'll have a have like a hall around. This is going to be very very inefficient compared to what we always do, but you know what? That's all right. That's the point of this run. And things are not paused right now, so things are getting done while we're planning some of this out. And then we'll have some extra area that we can connect, but that'll be the initial initial area we'll have we'll have there. Now, a lot of this is also going to get eaten up by bugs, unfortunately. Also, it looks like we're probably going to have some breachers coming in through there, so we might want to use this as defense. So this will be all the single phase stuff, and then we can add thrall and thrall areas and all that out from it so all right so initial defense what are we going to use in this one i think we will probably just use a shotgun tunnel for a while shotgun tunnel for a little bit and so with that maybe we just use it down here this is very close by so we'll have some other interests and in exits uh but like it's almost like a flip cross actually aside from this being a kind of chunky area Run with a hostility mod. Yeah, I used to use hospitality a long time ago when I would use lots of mods. Yeah. The Navy Cross, upside down. Moment. All right, so we'll do a shotgun tunnel to start. We'll do one, uh, maybe a cross section one. So, so this is going to be where we first come into this area. Yeah, that works. Or we could do it at the top, but I kind of like this one. Anima trees right there. Yeah. Is it full mountain? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Waffles. How's this going? Hurry up and get waffles in here. There we go. Alrighty. So he is back being enslaved. Excellent. Dumping zone. Alright. So... name our place i don't know 
Got any mods which change vanilla? The mods are in the description on YouTube or you can type exclamation mods. Just watch it upside down. <laughs> Name it forks. No, 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 <laughs> no, not forks, not forks. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be super themed. I usually just name them the number of our base so it's easy to know which one. And we might have more, so. Spoons. The opposite. We'll, we'll name... Yeah, all right. <laughs> we'll name our settlement Spoons. Get my faction a name. We'll be the sanguifage of Spoons. Perfect. A poor bed? Terrible. We might, we'll make some other maps too, probably. We'll name those differently. That's fine. All right, we gotta get these thralls started with, uh, with the dig sites here. So let's get mining set up and yeah, we can always fill this back in. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and get, we'll get in here. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. The mining done. Not overhead, but mountain maps usually have a lot of the size of the map. Probably a hills map. All right, so waffles is kind of treading that line. Sad wonder. So we don't want to erase them right now. This is going to be interesting. Sad summon. Yeah, it's really hard for me to do summon things at the beginning of a new run. I, I've said before I should probably disable them during the beginning, but. Let me find it. I'll do it really quick. Look at me. Observe my horn. Uh, thank you, Marshmallows, for using the points. Yeah, I think we were pointing it out because I, I'll like basically never see it. So Italia, unfortunately, is happy. Hmm. We got to get our excitations fixed. Wait, her ideology makes it so I didn't realize they could roll the modded ideology stuff too. No. She's really happy being a slave. I mean, a thrall. We have to convert Italia so that she's not as happy. Plus 46. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> How's it going? Yes. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thank you for, thank you for doing it now, no. Uh, she's actually getting converted pretty quickly anyway. Why do we want her unhappy? It's part of the run and part of our, our ideology. So you can do execution run if you want, but or execution uh, memes or whatever, but basically terror slavery. We want every slave about to have a mental breakdown. I built her a royal room so she is unhappy by it. Ah, uh, we'll get her converted. We definitely wanted second Sanguifage to make a priest sometime. Sometime. Get out on one of the melee only series. Yeah, melee gods was a lot of fun. Might be similar to that. So this is Cassandra's introductory raid. She always does one of these. Let's see what we got here. See if this is a potential tortured artist would make a good thrall. A waster. It's psychic dependencies. So they would eventually die, but we don't care. We can work them until they die. So that might be someone to put in the mines, you know? Oh, right. I need to grab the gun on him now, too. Because they don't like that. Tired, minus 12. SMG, minus 5. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get this room ready, just in case. So if this is the entrance, we don't want them entering the bedroom for that side, so we need entrances for these places. For now, we'll just have tunnel over, and we can, we can expand on that later on. This grand hallway. What a crazy setup this is going to be. This is probably going to be a long themed run, too. What's this design? 
thing with Asia. I don't know. Slavery mods. It adds additional slavery precepts. Oh, we don't have the traps done. All right, I'll defeat them in glorious hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hopefully I don't kill them. Or I could shoot this spine at them and then let them bleed. Ah, uh, you know what? If they die, they die. Playing for endgame? I don't have a plan for endgame. Maybe if you mean victory, we're going to do royalty. It's the first raid. They always get knocked down. No, not always. It's due to population intent. Not always. Dead in four hours. Jeez. Stay down! Hey, Italia, you've been pretty happy. Can you come eat this corpse? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I, I do the bleed out thing on ring and shit, but this I don't care. I could have just kited them around forever. Okay, Italia, you eat that. See see if this helps with your, your mood. Yes, minus 20. Hey, Waffles, there's a little left. Don't get sick, though, okay? All right. Oh, Waffles, you have a capital letter in your name? Oh, uh, it forces it, said. Well, he's staying down this time. Where can I find your genes and ideology for playthroughs? The ones for this one is in the description on YouTube. Uh, so if you go to the description on YouTube, I have it all listed. And I typically do that for any run that has like, you know, crazy stuff in it. All right, you guys can be unrestricted now. Get that done. So the next raid will be a real raid. Yeah, all the stuff is this. And I'm going to put this one up for download too. So hopefully I'll have time to do that tonight. So if you want to play with the exact same everything like exact same ideology whatever all of it all of it i'll put that for a uh, download not like a you don't have to buy it or something but it's a free download also let's go ahead and get them planting some cotton do you know what i mean do you know what i mean isn't it you know what never mind that would have been really awful had we gone with that initial roll <laughs> Build a freezer for corpses. Keep them around to feed the thralls. Yeah. <laughs> the humane corpse freezer. Alright. So, waffles. You have mining set as well. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're, we're going to end up doing the royalty ending. The goal is to have all of our single phase be royal. So, we're not going to escape with one count. We're going to have many, hopefully. Racism theme run. Well, they are... The vampires are extremely bigoted, that's for sure. That would have been a very bad look, yeah. You were thinking that I said it? Yeah, that would have been terrible. So for anyone that wasn't here, we were rolling our first thrall, our first slave, whatever you want to call it, and there was a really good one that it rolled, but it would have been pretty pretty terrible had I gone with it, because the very first one was, was very dark-skinned, and my vampire's very light-skinned, and just would it wouldn't have worked out very well <laughs> for for good reasons. Vampires of the Spirit Race sucks to suck, or it's awesome to suck if what you're sucking is blood. I gotta be careful what the things I say during this run. All right, that's right, Italian. You get unhappy. You get unhappy. Sunlight since you minus six. So miserable slave. We got one. We got our first one. Excellent. Excellent. Italia is way too happy, though. We gotta get her converted. Maybe kill her. The vampires love to suck. That's right. Uh, what else is going on with her ideology? Is there anything that they, like, hate? Oh, we need to get some geese to kill them. That'll show her. <laughs> so ridiculous. Our colony's gonna move off from miserable slaves. They have to be... You see that last dot right there? That last line? That last tick? They have to be extreme break risk. So the mood has to be less than 5%, which is going to be more difficult than you would think. But initial optimism will run off soon. How does single phase healing work? Similar to Lucerium with every X time a character is heal. 
Oh, for like Scarless and stuff? Yeah, it's very similar to Lucerium. Yep. Yep, it's on a timer like that. A, a timer range. Yep. Vampire on your theme picture is making the rock eyebrow, eyebrow raise. No, it's literally me. So people always talk about that all the time. I, I do that with my eyebrows. I've done that my whole life. And so most of the time when people make any kind of fan art of me, it has an eyebrow raised because that's just me. Just watch the melee only challenge. Oh, that one was crazy, crazy. Gordon, thank you for the 21 months. Sound, thank you for the 14. Nimble, thank you for the two months. We, thank you for 12 months as well. Almost full calendar year. Meef and Spitz, thank you as well. I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Scarless timer is 22 and the timer for the serum is mean time is 15. Scarless stack with serum? Yeah, I guess so. Late to the party. We should probably end up moving this over here, honestly. It's ridiculous. You know what? I don't care, though. If they run over there, that's fine. That's fine. Recreation. We'll get some of that in here for me. Unfortunately, if we make a table, they're going to use them as well, but there's nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. So we'll just go ahead and get this stuff done. We could zone them. Yeah, that's true. Aren't concerned about the bugs? We'll just kill the bugs, yeah. Infestations are one of the easiest major events in the game. Especially after they nerfed them in 1.4, so I'm not worried about them. It's going to be annoying to clean up the stuff, but yeah. Not worried about it. Uh, no, that's not true. That's a mod. I mean, I can show you. Click the or, press equals. Doesn't do anything. That's a mod. There's a lot of mods that add that, including like a allow the allow tool. But I, I have people ask me sometimes, they're like, Adam, why don't you just press the equal key to mark all the or? Like, well, because I don't have that mod. Like, oh, I didn't know it was a mod. <laughs> so no, that's uh, that's not a thing. I feel like Archite might be too OP. Uh, it depends on which one you're doing. Yeah, if you're doing melee only or if you're doing melee gods. Melee gods were completely overpowered in every way. Yeah, I, I knew they were going to be. But melee only run was just baseline because that's all that existed back then. What they nerf about infestations? Infestations are half raid points as 1.4. So maximum raid point infestation on Cassandra on 500% or whatever is now only 20 hives. So. 20 hives. Hey, both of them are unhappy now. Nice. Melee Gods is a lot of fun. This run is meant to be a lot of fun too. We, we might have some challenging times. You know, we have some, some things that we have to do that can put us in some awkward situations like we're raider ideology. But... Should be an uh, interesting one. Get out of my chair is a mini mod that adds a toggle on chairs and sofas. <laughs> That's interesting. Wild woman. Hmm. I'm going to have to have death rest at some time, too. We will. We can death rest in a bed if it really comes to it, but that's gonna be scary. Any DLC news? No, just the speculation I talked about the other day. Use a lot of mods. It's gonna be hard to remember what's vanilla. Yeah, and that's that's a big one that people mention. If she comes in here, we'll kill her. We should try to find the no sleep gene for our thralls. Easy or too hard? Easy. Cheese things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're having fun is always the thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure about the wild person. Frag, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime also. Gordon, thank you for the 21 months. Hey, Gordon. Thank you, Frag. Thralls don't need sleep. Yeah, we should try to do that. So we need to get some wealth at some point to go off and trade for genes. But we have a lot of uh, research. In fact... I was kind of waiting until we got moved in to start doing this kind of stuff, but we should probably just go ahead and start researching on our character because we, we got a lot to research and we have normal research speed. So lots and lots and lots to do in that regard. Yeah, let's get started on that. Lone Mountain. Your pawns have more chances to knock them down. No, population intent is all your population. So the combination of all your 
All of your colonists, slaves, and prisoners is your total population. The higher number that is, the more likely, no matter where in your entire save file, when you down an enemy through damage, that they, the more, the more population you have total, the higher chance that they are just going to die when they're downed. Tough masochist chemical interest. A uh, 14 year old slave girl with a psychite addiction. I mean, she's not slave yet. Oh my god, we're gonna have no one to trade with. That'd be, I'd be careful. Be careful. Doink. All right, uh, go ahead and what's her ideology? Charity essential. Ranching central. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either with the wild person. Be really happy when we get moved into the mountain a little bit. Maybe all the thralls will just live outside. Maybe this will be like their quarters. We'll just we'll just cordon that off and not roof it, <laughs> and they can just stay there unless they need to come in and work or something. The thrall stable, yeah. And that's where raiders would go to as well, yeah. Maybe. All right, waffles. Working his way in there. Slave unsuppressed. Italia is way too happy. She's got us catharsis, so that's one of the big things. It's a random map. Yeah, random map with geological landforms, which this is Lone Mountain. Lone Mountain geological landform. Uh, when you worked uh, on the map yeah when we yeah we went through geological landforms um weeks ago and tried to figure out which one would be a fun one for the playthrough <laughs> use the, the slaves to have barricades <laughs> maybe we should go ahead and try to take her tongue are you not worried about infestations infestations will happen and i it's fine i don't care we'll kill them not worried about it, finding them at all they're it's one of the easiest major threats in the game between day 85 178 no human raids <laughs> That's crazy. That would have been really bad in STM. Yeah, that is crazy. I didn't try for high wealth this room or uh room community challenge. It was fun though. Uh Frag, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime and Ard, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Ard. Thank you, Frag. Yeah, let's try to take her tongue. Um I also give her a denture. Hmm. Yeah, I think the tongue is the biggest hit. So let's change this to a medical bed. All right, let's see how we do here. And if we fail, nothing much was lost. This, sh sh this should cause her to be pretty unhappy. Wild people once had a little Hunger Games situation going on. <laughs> no, uh, we're going to have other single phase, yeah. So, in this one, every real colonist has to be a single phase, and we also have to try to make them a royal. Here we go. Hey, we got it. We got it. My organ is harvested minus 30 for only eight days. Missing tongue, minus eight forever. Excellent. All right. That should help. That should help. I would take Waffles as well, but he's possibly going to become a vampire. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're eating raw food. I need to stop eating raw food at some point, though. I wanted to wait until we got in here, but... You know what? We can have them cook for us. Let's go into the assignment. Go to the Thrall assignment. At the moment, let's just have them only eat 
nutrient paste, and raw food. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. We should also probably give them drug addictions and then not give them drugs. He wouldn't regenerate. Yeah. Or we could always give him a bionic tongue, even. Do round your birthday. Happy birthday, round table. God, this is definitely going to be the war crime run. Unknown refugees. Cassandra just wants to see the evil. Oh, by the way, uh, there is a new Cassandra emote and a Randy emote on both Twitch and YouTube for subscribers or channel members. So we have a we have a very killer Cassandra custom emote and a sleepy Randy. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Cycly sensitive gourmand chemical fascination. Cooking plants. I've enslaved a camel. We gotta be a little careful. I'm gonna get so many raid points. Yeah, those are, there's those new ones. Unknown organ donor. Plants and cooking. Delicate wimp. A genie. I do need a crafter. A pyro. I don't know, kid. We're afraid of fire. If you start setting fire, that could be bad. Maybe I'll just kill you. Yeah, I gotta be... We, we got... You know what? We got enough right now. Let's get the... Butcher table set up. We also got camel going on. All right. Let's see how strong this masterwork sword is. And you guys got any good clothes on you? No, they they're terrible. All right, all right. So you're a wimp, so this should be easy. Oh, we're leveling up our melee. Nice. Oh, let's spread out the love. Let's go. Uh, welcome in. Ed watched live. Long time lurker. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Unburied give move penalty. Uh, I guess they would for some of them. Oh no, they died somehow. Oh, that one did too. Okay. Pyros join, they set fires no matter how happy they are. Yes, yeah. So on average, a pyro or a gourmand are going to have a breakdown no matter how happy they are every 50 days. So. Butcher creature, do forever, drop on the floor. We're going to butcher everything. And okay, we need to get that made. So let's get a little of this steel. Don't activate, welcome in. Oh, they jumped into my sword. They fell on my blade. That uses the foam spit, so pyros are only allowed. You know, we might want to have our thralls, our slave at some point. Oh, hey. We might want to have them actually be carrying foam packs. I would think of it. All right, we're gonna set the defaults here. This is not a mod, so we're gonna set the defaults in medicine on everyone, so that we don't have to set that individually anymore. We're also going to go ahead and make. Uh, right now we don't have a lot coming in. We'll just make a simple meal. Do it until we have X. We're the only ones allowed to eat it, so we're just gonna do. Uh, let's do four, and pause two, and then drop on the floor. Cook is gonna have to be four or better. Use everything. I don't care. Okay, so let's see. What is Camel going to be helping with? Camel's pretty bad. We're going to have them haul and clean. And then they can help with plants. They have nothing else to do. Or uh, after that, I mean. And then they're going, going to help mine out the new mountain. We beat Zombie Land. Did you have the mod set to 500%? I did, yeah. yeah. I think so. I know we set it to 500%. I don't know. But well, we changed some of the settings later. But we still had it at 500%, but we changed some of the other stuff. I think. I don't remember. It's in the VODs, though. It's been a while now. Make some kibble. Ah! Hey, friggin' pig. That turkey? It looked like it took a bite out of that pig. Alright. Put our bed back for us. What do you get from... Uh, causability? Ugh. Uh, 
All right, all right. I had to... Oh, oh, right, right, right. The lag. I had to turn it down. Camel has gone berserk. So... Hopefully we don't kill her. She's almost dead. Eh, she'll probably get over it. Most men don't live this long. <laughs> Come on, vampire meditate on the tree. We're not going to. Yeah, we're gonna get our side casting through Royal. So even if they could, I, which yeah, he he can't. He doesn't have tribal background. But quest available: the fleeing dame, the charity quest, and honor. So we do want to do this on not to make this person happy, which is unfortunate unfortunate side effect. We want to accept this on us. And she needs to get over here. We're going to go ahead and come out, though, in case she gets chased down. Man hunting Yorkshire Terrier. It's just one. It's that intro royalty quest, so. We got him. Die, yellow t-shirt. Uh-oh. Yeah, good stun. Okay, leave his corpse to rot behind the berry bushes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, shuttle has arrived. You get out of here. Cool, I'm a yeoman now. Well, I will be. I play one on TV. What's dog doing? It's trying to kill the royal. Yeah, we don't really care about this place right now. We're just trying to get Doug into here, and this is just a... A thing that we just have to have to have for now. We could cut down the anima tree for unhappiness. <laughs> That's kind of funny because we could actually tank it ourselves. Like the mood hit, it doesn't really bother us. You collect berserk notifications to ruminate on on the side of the screen. Leave those there. Camel, are you ever going to become a colonist, a real colonist? Ah, uh, probably not. Probably not. So we might take her tongue as well. Yeah, maybe. We might do that. We might do that. Oh, I need to name Camel too, right? Right. Emerald Dragon, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It says Emerald Dragon had been in the queue since last year. Like 11 months ago. And finally gets in as a... We're all take all of our organs. Well, I need her to work for me. So yeah, we'll get skull spikes too. I'm trying to wait to do a lot of that kind of stuff until we actually get moved into the mountain a little, but yeah. Because I don't want to make this too big and fancy and nice and then or whatever. Like we want to, because we're not gonna be this very long. We're gonna we're gonna try to get under the mountain pretty soon. This game does some weird stuff to you scary this game makes mental breaks sometimes yeah it is it's really insane though okay so here's our first raid real raid i have to go back to that thought so we're only at two raiders okay. talia is out and about so we might have to save her Take a look at them. See if they are thrall material or colonist material. Definitely not colonist material. Uh, we don't really need them as thrall either. Right now we are really looking for a crafting thrall. That's the big one. Oh, a pessimist. That's so weird to see pessimists be like, hmm. All right, so we might want to get shubes we can. I want to get shubes. Shubes. Have a thrall be ugly. Now you're still over there, so that could be a 
That could be a problem. If they end up bypassing us, I'll have to run out. All right, Shubes. Don't die. You have a very... Oh, you didn't die. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Slave. Uh, we're getting a little... Not that low on blood, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to bite waffles either way. Come here. Come here. <laughs> the blood feeder's mark. Wow. Excellent. Oh, map mod? Yes. Geological landforms. All right. Back to unrestricted. Emerald Dragon, you can grab that gun. That's fine. I should put those to remake as well. I, it will automatically do it now. All right. Lots of mining to do. Lots of mining to do. Pessimist Crafter. Excellent. Oh, uh, a Pessimist Body Purist would be great. Pessimist Body Purist Tortured Artist would be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's weird that it would be so great, but... Yeah, I think I am going to throw some, uh, some old corpses in the room eventually, too. Seems like a good idea. He's perfect. He's terrible and he's perfect. We also probably need another constructor person, someone that's a little bit better at construction. Crisis of belief, why? What could have caused this? You cannot, uh, you find my very first Rimworld playthrough on YouTube? No, it doesn't exist anywhere. So it was way before I, way, way, way before I started saving VODs and stuff. Uh, Jonas, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Jonas, very much appreciated. Rabbit, they run 24 months. I think the earliest run you can find on YouTube is either the tiny map or the 20 year run, which is not, it's like three years ago. Really going for the vampire theme? That's right. Why do you want bad traits? Because I need the slaves to be miserable. The more unhappy they are, the better. Oh, I can have them wear tainted clothing. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, having them wear tainted clothing would be better. Let's go in and make a outfit. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. For all outfit, and we want them. You can't turn off clean apparel. <laughs> the developers are, never thought someone would be trying to force people to wear tainted apparel. This will allow them to wear tainted apparel, but it's not going to force them to. We could make them wear tattered stuff, though. If they could take off the non-tattered and put tattered tainted apparel on, that would be great. So, let's do that. Any quality uh, we want, or any hit points, we want this under 50, ideally. There we go. Yeah, we it's going to be annoying to manually force it in the long run. We have a lot of them. Right now, we can manually force it for sure, but it's just funny that there's not an option for that. <laughs> Apparel. Go ahead and just put uh, all apparel out here if it is tainted. There we go. Unplayable. Human leather tainted tattered would be excellent. Change skin color? No, that's a, that's a mask. All right, we're getting this done slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Make sure all these guys are mining if they have nothing else to do. Aside from me, I'm not mining. I'm royalty. I'm a yeoman. Ever played the single phase scenario before? I'm, I've never either. An eclipse. So eclipses are very good for us. But... I think we have to be outside to get the mood buff. So during eclipses, we might want to bring these guys in. See. Let's go ahead and make some areas. So inside, walls, work. I'm not sure if we're going to have very many animals, but we'll go ahead and set one of those as well. All right, so inside, right now, we're going to have that just be this. 
And walls is going to just be this. I think we get a mood buff from this. For the... Beautiful, yeah, Beautiful Eclipse is plus five. I don't think they get it if they're inside. I, he's the only one that's our ideology, though, so it's probably fine. For now. Reverse Thought Mod. Uh, yeah, the one like we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah. It is a little bit similar to that. Even Leather Slave Collars, yes. Sad Wonder on Waffle. See, he got happy enough to have that happen. Kind of weird to say. We get inspiration of Phil. We'll make them more happy. More ha yeah, yeah. The only downside is catharsis. Like, these catharsises that they're getting are kind of bad, but... Yeah, we got another raid. This one's actually lower because of the... Well, there might be another one somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Night Owl Jealous. Really good at mining, but they're going to be happy doing mining. But they, we could, if they survive, we could enslave them, do the mining, and then kill them, right? We don't have to keep them. Oh, God, they stunned me. Headshot with the spine. All right, get out of there. This Neanderthal is beating the crap out of me. <laughs> Yeah, probably. But the problem is, if you... We'd have to re-enslave them. We tested that earlier. Alright, so we're gonna let this person bleed. Everyone else, stay inside. You are in control of yourself. And this one will help us. Yeah, we could always long jump, yeah. Jailbreaker. <sighs> what? <laughs> Emerald Jerry just lays down in there with him. <laughs> All right. Are you about to fall down? Are you a pig under there? Are you a pig under there? No, right. You're a Neanderthal. Sorry. Minoc. Upgrade your membership to gold. Thank you, Minoc. I'll let the prisoner escape. Oh, no. Okay. So we're going to let this one bleed until they fall over. Spine's actually pretty good. Uh, it kind of sucks it has such a low range, but... Man. Uh, no, it is not. Try refreshing. <laughs> no, I'm not streaming in 360p, you know. Okay, so we are going to coagulate. Nice. Excellent. Prisoner and slave. All right. Let's move this down from the door a little bit. Okay, so that was Cassandra's second raid, right? Uh, No, that's a new cycle already. Wow, we already got to the next cycle, so she could raid again soon. I'm not going to keep super track of it. Like, I could actually check and see when it's possible for her to raid again, when it isn't and stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to do that. Yeah, no, I know. I gotta. I think there's uh, a screw up with the bot thing, and I the person that made it for me is no longer around. I sent a message to them, but they didn't. They didn't answer it. So uh, I'm gonna have to find someone else to fix it. So at the moment, I think he's just picking them in order. He's just picking them in order now. Unfortunately, so I'll have to give someone else the code. I'm sure there are more people that know how to to do it but i'll ask on discord all right thrall stuff and this person is going to right that's the crafter we need mining done right now so there's not a lot of crafting to do 
So we're going to have them mine for now. We can change that out later. We really got to get that, that mined. Is he ever going to... No. You know what? We should also go ahead and take his tongue. He's too happy. Poor slave X. We got to convert these ones. Man, that sucks. I didn't even think about the mod giving these ones... You know, ideology stuff. We'll have to get a priest. Second single phase should be nice. You know what? Um, it's a it's a Python script. That's all I know. Python scripts. It was under seventy two. Fresh likes. You know what's interesting is this is the first stream that had dislike had thumbs downs on it before I even started the stream on YouTube. So I think like four people came by and hit the, th oh, it's just fine. It doesn't bother me or anything. It's just funny because I got up this morning with a scheduled stream. stream. It had four thumbs down. I was like, what? How can you already dislike it? It hasn't even started. <laughs> but and we're hitting a lot of steel in there. Steel. Talkers on YouTube. It's, I am pretty sure it's the, some people have bots set up to do it too. So let's just run around about the information is in the description. And you can also type exclamation run if you want in either of the live chats, but on YouTube, if, if you go to the description tool, it will get you the info. All right, let's get uh, these guys named here. Frank Archer. Frank Archer. Little knockouts. Okay. Lowercase. It it won't let you do the. Yeah, I tried it. The the first letter has to be capitalized. It'll just capitalize it on its own. Unfortunately. So we'll just do all caps for the single fish. Okay, let's get this done. Uh, right now, only one person can mine at a time, so let's let's get another person going through here. We'll just go ahead and get this up to the triple. There we go. And we'll see what we see what we get done here. I'm down, anyways. Yeah, it's good for the algorithm either way. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm. I've gotten so many thumbs downs over the years. <laughs> it doesn't literally know. Uh, it doesn't phase me at all, but it's just funny. I don't want slaves to be miserable because it makes our character happier. It's part of the themed run. We have a mod called more slavery stuff and we have terror slavery, which means that every slave that is close to extreme break, we get a mood buff. It, it stops them from breaking out. It's a weird mountain map. This is a weird mountain map. It's a lone mountain. Uh, Exclusion run. Exclusion rules. We'll tell you more. Oop, I remember to do that. Yeah, thank you. Go on. Mosh, welcome in. Okay, machining next. Lonely mountain from the Hobbit, kind of. Yeah. Italia is t double catharsis. Yeah, that's why. That's all right. We'll work on making them more miserable once we get into the mountain. Company leader eating burgers in the office and the rest of the people are just crying. <laughs> uh, I think Utopia. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy one. You have vampires or genes. So single phage is just a gene pack, basically. It's, it's a default gene pack in the game, so you can override it. Uh, we are not... Whoops. We're not going to do that because I don't want them to switch out genes, but you can. It is a xenogene gene, not a germline. So, yeah, you can. Whoa, what? I've never seen that. Matt gifting 50 memberships on YouTube. What? Matt has just doubled my membership. Why is everyone so upset? Because I'm torturing them. Why is everyone so upset? Because they are... They are thralls. They are slaves. I'm torturing them. Um, Holy crap. <laughs> I've never seen that. 
Uh, Matt, thank you so much for the 50 gifted memberships. That literally doubles my memberships on YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, I've had memberships up on YouTube now for like six months. I we just doubled them. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the support. Triple catharsis, do your best. Hey, Italia. Yeah, Italia, I took out your tongue and you're still happy. Still happy. Uh, Dip, thank you for the brand new subscription. Thank you, Dip. It's get to the on YouTube. Yeah, so memberships are basically like paid subscriptions on, on Twitch. And they work pretty much the same. It's still going. Yeah, so all of you guys that got memberships on YouTube, you can now use the emotes on YouTube chat as well. And I have two new ones. We have a Cassandra emote and a Randy emote now on both YouTube and Twitch. It's a great run. It's going to be really silly. Yeah, really silly. So we're getting this mined out. We're trying to make every all these as unhappy as possible, but it's going to take a little bit of time because we still have low expectations. But we can't get our expectations too high right now because if we do, Cassandra can kill us. Also, let's grow a little bit more food. I, was, I am taking a lot of slaves. Didn't like to talk anyway, and the food tastes awful. <laughs> Price of belief on Italia. That could be good. If she goes to anything other than her current one. So. For some reason, you have to allow gifted memberships on YouTube. It's not by default. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't remember doing it, but apparently I must have. Yeah, man. Thank you again. All right. Slow and steady with the mining. We're getting some research done. We have normal speed research, so this is going to be a long run. We're in the very early stages of it. Very early stages. Just getting some things done. We're eating the meals. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we are running real low on food, so we might end up having to kill some of these guys anyway. Food binge on Italia. I don't think so, Italia. Where are you? I don't want to arrest her, though, because then I have to... Actually, you know what? That would give her a mood debuff. Yeah, let's arrest her. And then we will turn into a slave again. We could convert her while she's in there. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll convert her first, so she has a ideology that gives slaves a huge mood hit, or excuse me, a mood increase, and we don't want that. We want our our thralls, our slaves to be miserable. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try to convert her. It might take a little while because we don't have a, a priest, but... Uh, Sarah, thank you for signing up for a membership also. Didn't get hit by the 50, but you did your own. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Much appreciated, too. All right. This is the most viewers I've ever had on YouTube. Thank you guys for being here and watching on YouTube. Um, it's very much appreciated. Yeah, it's crazy to see the number. This is... Oh, my God. If we get a few more people, this will be the first time I've ever had more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. That's insane. What's the benefit of having the miserable slaves? I'll show you. Well, we're not doing anything else, I'll show. So we have terror slavery. For every slave that is the bottom 5% of mood, so everyone that is literally miserable about to have an extreme breakdown... It gives our sanguifage pawns, our non-slaves, a uh, mood buff. And it also stops them from having breakouts and breakdowns. So if we can keep the slaves under 5%, which is going to be really hard, actually. Surprisingly, it would be it would be easier to have the other one. This adds other kinds, too. There's one that's... Um, I forget what it's called, but there's one where, like, the happier you keep them, the happier people get. But we are going full out evil vampire. Have I ever used Android mod? No, I have not. insulting spree oh that could be really good as long as it doesn't insult me yeah i did have i did force something to eat corpses recently all right so oh <laughs> he, he collapsed from from exhaustion so first time i catch the stream thank you for being here what's better in terms of revenue twitch sub or youtube sub i uh, it, it depends on the different level of it yeah so they both have different levels. Like the thing about YouTube is it has like five different levels of subscriptions of, of subscriptions of memberships and they vary you know which one. So yeah, it just depends on what people do. Uh, we're going to end up taking. Oh my God, he has a brain scar. That's unfortunate. I think we're going to take his tongue as well. Okay, we need an area to take tongues. We had tongue taking area.
Open the tongue factory. Doing well. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Pretty awesome. Uh, YouTube uh, viewers just passed the Twitch number. That's crazy. I usually don't have your account open, but since someone mentioned it, I, I clicked the button. Three more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. I never thought that would happen. Crazy. Crazy. Also, Winston Waves. Winston Waves is extremely fun. I really, really enjoyed all my Winston Waves playthroughs because it turns the game... I like tower defense games, and it kind of turns the game into, like, a tower defense. It's, uh, it's really enjoyable. However, it is a little bit bugged in 1.4, and it doesn't look like they're going to fix it. So, uh, poor bed. Uh, you know what? Uh, we probably should make a, probably make a better one for this since it's going to be the hospital stuff. Earn their dose in gladiator duel. Something like that. Psychic soothe. Hey, get that out of here. Yeah. Liking the stream while it's live helps out a lot. It even helps the algorithm after the stream is done. What's the Winston Waves 1.4 bug? There's a couple of them. The biggest one though, is if anything, any enemy leaves your map before it was supposed to, it will pause the timer forever. So if you're doing a wave and you have a raider show up and steal something, they will leave the map. There'll be no more raiders on your map and the timer will just keep going. The wave will just keep going forever. There's some other uh, bugs like that with it as well. That's one of the ones that if it happens, your run is bricked basically. Unfortunate. Conversion. Italia. All right, cool. So now we will slave her again. Side now. <laughs> Demote it. Yeah, like we were talking about yesterday. All right. All right. Uh, but yeah, for anyone that is watching on YouTube or even on Twitch, if you do hit the like button on the live stream, it helps out the algorithm quite a bit, even after the fact. So I, I've seen it increase like the algorithm really goes after the stream with a VOD and not a lot of impressions, which is a good thing. So. All right, let's turn this into a medical bed. And who are we going to take their tongue? This brain injured guy, right? Oh, this is one of the few runs where it would be good to get the... Um, uh, oh my God, how have I forgotten the name of it? You know, the implant that just causes pain. That usually when it's in their brain, you're like, oh God, I would have taken this pawn, but they're terrible because of this. Red Raider leaves the map. You just have to wait till the timer is done now. Gotcha. Mind screw, mind screw. Thank you. Mind screw. I'm doing my part. Jailbreak. Oh. Again? All right, Emerald Dragon, what is your... Yeah, we don't want to do that for you. We'll go ahead and re-enslave. We need to start taking tongues though. Frank, we need your tongue first off. So this is going to be slave tongue removal. Because that's, a, that's an easy way to get some mood hit on them. So remove the tongue. The mine, yeah, mine screw, brain screw, mine screw, mine screw. Tongue's on, <laughs> not for long. They're not on, not for long. Okay, come on, get that tongue. It can't be that difficult, right? A fifty-year-old archer named Lover is calling for nearby. Begging to join you. There's some kind of threat. It's a two star. So the people in our colony that have neo genism will actually be unhappy for us to deny this. So see ya. Hey, we got the tongue. Nice. Nice. I think them get being blood fed on also makes them unhappy. So let's blood feed on Frank because he's a little too he's a little too happy. Ah, right, let's wait until he's awake. You know, giving ears. Uh, let's wait until this minus 38 days runs out, and then we'll think about taking some more parts. Something about this, our slaves being too happy just feels odd. That that sentence, yes, yeah. Love the thumbnail. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Abby uh, from our Discord made that. Abby made some fan art of, of me in RimWorld at one point, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. Can I use that as a thumbnail? And they were like, yeah. I was like, if you want to make more, uh, you know, art like this for our thumbnails, I'll absolutely keep using it, and I will... 
It's funny because I offered to pay them and they're like, no, 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 no. No, don't. I don't want any money for it. And then I was like, uh, what's your PayPal? I'm going to send you money anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, got those squirrels. Waffles. Get coagulated. Who else is hurt? Frank is being destroyed by squirrels. Oh my god, Emerald Dragon. Okay, no squirrel, it's fine. Can't wait till we get moved in this mountain. Frank is down, Frank is down. I gotta get to the squirrel. Hey, little knockout, can you knock that squirrel out? It's already bleeding. Whoa, way to go, way to go. Now eat it, eat it raw. Consume the squirrel so you get unhappy. This is so ridiculous. You like the thumbnail? Thank you. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Punch that squirrel and eat it raw. I need you to be really unhappy. Uh, okay. You coagulate that one. Emerald Dragon is still berserk, but he's just going to have to wait. Yeah, you just keep shooting him, Waffle. This is a mess. All right, let's go. Uh, we will turn you slave bed. Gonna remake this stuff. Waffles, make that door. Switch this back to colonist. I'm gonna have to do the double door thing here that I do in like Rumian ship and stuff. I'll explain how this works once we get it all set up. Solar flare doesn't matter. Oh, we don't have enough. Uh. Imogen here. We're going to blood feed on... Oh, that would kill him. Blood feed on Italia. Hopefully that doesn't kill her. Nah, she's fine. And that should give us enough to coagulate Emerald Dragon. Capture him. Or her, rather. Okay, what a mess, what a mess. Alright. We gotta get under this mountain. During this run, have you ever think the most difficult part will be making the slaves miserable? No, I thought that would be an easy part. Maybe it will eventually. Maybe it will eventually. Thought an AI core into your favorite pond, thinking he would be smarter. Came from a mechanoid ship. Thanks, Packer. Uh, yeah, thank you, Matt. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Thank you guys for being here on both sides. Thank you on Twitch, thank you on YouTube. Love the mountain layout. Yeah, this is going to be a very unique for me, yeah. Uh, we'll do that. I, I'm not too worried about this kind of stuff right now. Right now, it's just whatever. When we get in here, we'll get we'll get things zoned a little bit better and whatnot. Right now, I'm just letting them go wherever, do whatever, for the most part. And they're relatively miserable. Okay, enslave, re-enslave. Those will be back up soon. Gonna need to welcome in. We'll get corpses every day and make them sad. Yeah, we'll 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 get ways to make them more sad for sure. Real dragon, okay. Which one are you? Yeah, he's the one that we probably want to try to tend. 95% even that garbage, okay. What about the mental yeah, we're gonna have a lot of mental breakdown, especially at the start. So starvation has started. This food isn't in yet, so I'm gonna have to go kill some stuff. We'll knock out. You are miles away. We gotta get moved into that mountain. Moved into that mountain. You know, we're just gonna overproduce right now. I plan on having a lot of colonists anyway, and what else are they doing? We just fed a dead turtle to Frank. Excellent. Enjoy that, Frank. And the same turtle that Frank ate off of, we're now feeding to Emerald Dragon. <laughs> Tortoise, sorry. Tortoise. Did we just make a happy face at them after that? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All right. 
raw rice for all of them. I know they're having to go up and around right now. But that's okay. That's by design. We'll 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 make it better eventually. In fact, maybe we'll make a weird mad alpaca. You animals stop going insane for a little bit, so I can things done. Actually, you know what? It's animal single enemy animal insanity, so this animal is not gonna have scaria or anything, so it's kind of good for us. Hey, little knockout. Let's put you on cooking first, okay? Get back over here. Get back over here. Faster making your slaves miserable. Yeah, hopefully. So the rice, maybe, yeah, we, we will switch over to rice at some point. Right now, though, I'm just trying to get, or I switch over to some corn later. Right now, I'm just trying to get whatever's fast and, and plentiful and safe. But once this starts coming in, we won't have to worry about food again for a while. But at the moment, it's just all about getting this done. Let's go ahead and think about... So if we do the shotgun tunnel here, we do want some kind of connection between these rooms. Obviously, they can't walk through that, so I'm going to have to figure something out. But having some kind of entrance... Probably gonna be a good thing. And then we don't have to walk all the way around. We can always close it off eventually if we if we want to, but this will help us to get this initial layout going here, I think. You can use the shell as a bowl. <laughs> oh god. Go on, Jimmy. Welcome in. Welcome in, Jimmy. I'm treating her like a someone coming into the stream. Go on, Jimmy. Welcome to the stream. Fungus later? No. We are not tunnelers. No fungus. All right, Italia is re-enslaved. Okay, she does remember what she was doing before, so that's good. Real dragon. Looks like they're going to live. Yeah, most likely. We'll keep them on. Nothing for now. Okay, raid. We're going to get inside. Let's see what size raids there are right now. So, uh-oh. Impids. So impids are, our, are going to be our bane. Because they breathe fire, and that makes our vampire, which we only have one single phase at the moment, makes them run away. This could be... And everything is, is wood. This actually could be kind of bad. We do have traps set up, though. Talia, grab the auto pistol. Dragon. Grab the bow. And Frank's having a breakdown. Excellent. Way to go, Frank. Way to go. We do have some traps, so... We're gonna try to melee lock if they get in. Melee lock her. Uh, melee lock that one. Do not let them breathe fire. Okay, now we can go attack. Good. All right, now Emerald Dragon, uh, take a bite off that corpse. Natalia, take a bite off that corpse. I don't want any of these as slaves. I, I mean, I don't know if, if they're good at mining. We could grab them temporarily, but yeah, they, they don't have mining. So, all right, good job, guys. Eat, eat those corpses. Get really unhappy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Slave. Ah, I don't think so. I don't. The impids are kind of the opposite of our of our people, so. When being too happy is a problem, yeah. What difficulty level do you play on? I play on losing his fun, bumped up to 500%. So hardest difficulty. 500% difficulty. Mongoose, thank you for the six months. Monkey, thank you for the two months. Thank you, monkey. Thank you, mongoose. Monkey and mongoose. Yeah, we need to start putting this tainted clothing on, too. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to get a lot of it. We already have it set out here. So waffles. Actually, Italia first. Yeah, there we go. Put all that on. That'll make her unhappy. Oh, she broke down right after, unfortunately. 
where she got all the others on. Yeah, I always play on 5% no pause, unless it's like Riminship, which is always uh, losing its fun. Default losing its fun. Okay, so that was the double hit from Cassandra. So we don't have to worry about Cassandra attacking us again for a little bit while we get this stuff set up. We happy when we get into the mountain. We're good in, into the mountain. Oh, right, Emerald Dragon. Ooh. Yeah, you're fine, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they fall over and almost die. Ah, oh, you're fine, though. You're fine, though. Why are you making the pawns unhappy? I'm not. I only have one pawn. My pawn is quite happy. His indicator, that is color-coded mood bars. Yeah, color-coded mood bars. The sickness indicator, yeah. Five in turns, right? <laughs> All right, so are we ever going to take them as a colonist? Probably not, so we want to take their tongue as well. So let's go ahead and remove tongue. We have no medicine left for it? Oh. I didn't set him for medicine. My bad. Wrong person. What map size? 275. So it's the second medium one. Looks bigger than 250. Yeah, it is. It's 275. So 275 is basically what I always play on. It's the bigger of the medium maps. All right. So let's check here. We're not going to take this one either. So we also want to take their tongue. But we'll wait till Emerald Dragon's back up to take another tongue. It's looking good. It's looking good. We got... We got four miserable slaves right now, so we got a plus four for that. Talia's still not miserable. The east coast to the west. You wave as you through, drove through Indiana. Nice. <laughs> Have the speed not be locked at 1x during combat. No pause. No pause challenge mod. Makes it so I can never pause, and it makes it so the game does not force slowdown. Catatonic. Frank. Come on, Frank. Why am I trying to make slaves miserable possible? Because I get a bonus for the, making them miserable. Curious, yeah. So we're using a... Oh. Beggars, beggars, beggars. We're using a mod called More Slavery Stuff. Trigger Happy Quick Sleeper. Ooh, a Dirt Mole. Nervous Hard Worker. That Dirt Mole would actually be pretty happy mining, so it'd be kind of hard to keep them unhappy, but... That could definitely help us get the rest of this done more quickly. We need a builder. More so, though. So let's keep an eye on construction. Yeah, none of them. So yeah, maybe we take... Dirt Mole. He's got the streamer thing. Uh, just to get this mined out, right? We got a lot more mining to do, even after this. We got Dirt Mold, Dennis. Yeah, uh, we can do that. We can do that. Getting you, Dennis. Matt, thank you for the YouTube Silver. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for the membership. Yeah, so the mod also has... So it's a range. So the More Slavery Stuff mod adds additional precepts and memes to ideology. You can have one uh, like we have called terror slavery. There is one for treating them very, very well. There's one that um, get them where they can join in on festivals and have marriage. And there, there's a big long variety, but for us, we are evil vampires and we are, uh, we are torturing them. <laughs> Rest is super effective on streamer. Okay, so we are going to enslave and get this done. Got the Tynan Pawn again. Just a minus and three stats. That's why usually Tynan Pawns are pretty bad. Yes, yeah. Then it's the streamer. Are we waiting until the Coliseum's made? Yeah, yeah. So we're getting this dug out and then we'll get all that set up. Yeah. 
The deserter. No, we don't want to do that. We are going royalty this time. A mech cluster with a centipede, mech node. Yeah, we're not ready for that. Otherwise, I would take it. Let's go into reward preferences, and we're going to turn everything off aside from honor. But, yeah, I'm not going to take that one. Will there be more colonists? Yes, yeah. So we will have more sanguophage, yep. Every sanguophage has to be made into a royal. I have to try to make them into a royal. They also have to be worthy. All right. Looks like Dennis has been recruited. Oh, this actually reset, unfortunately. Uh, all right, we gotta get Dennis a name. So I gotta be careful about this resetting on, on that. It's kind of annoying. And we should go ahead and remove Dennis's tongue also. All right, let's get him a name though. Let's see. Dennis is now Dino. <laughs> well, not that much of a change, huh? Is there a little knockout? Wow, they almost freaking died. <laughs> They're right back to work. <laughs> right. They're now missing a nose, a right eye, a left arm. Yeah, all right. All right. Let's go on. New Rotan, welcome in. <laughs> all right. So this is the little Coliseum area. Okay. And then this is the throne room. And then this is the ritual room. Okay. Slaughterer. That's okay. All right. We didn't want that alpaca anyway. Slaves count as full value when it comes to wealth. No, there's 70% now. 70% when it comes to raid points. And that's just a, a room world thing. They just patched it that way. It's going to actually be really hard to keep them at, at that low level. Okay, there's the Ancient Danger. Later on, it'll be a little bit easier, though. Did I mine more than planned? Did I? Oh. Just two more spots, thank you. And then these as well, right? No, those are extra. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They can still swing a pickaxe with one arm. That's right. A little knockout might be dying if we're not careful. Uh... Waffles, let's make these extra beds. I really do need another builder. Waffles doing all that at the moment. Let's put Waffles on number one for construction. And Emerald Dragon. That's fine. Okay, let's, let's hold off on that, all right? Here, get some more wood. All 
All right, little knockout, get in there. And if you live, you live. If you don't, oh well. We also kind of need another single piece for the first nice death rest. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, but none of them so far. I mean, I guess Waffles is the closest. It's not exactly what we want. So. So death rest might end up being a little scary. Actually, we're going to have to death rest really soon, too. So. We probably want to wait till Cassandra's next cycle is over. We probably should have done it right after that cycle. Hey, waffles for breakfast. Sounding good for some reason. I haven't had waffles in quite a while. No, I'm going to make him the leader at some point. We could make him the... I mean, we could make him the priest, but... Okay, Emerald Dragon is good. A little knockouts. They might... They might die. I might have to remove that right leg. Oh, peg leg, right leg. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Other tongue removed. Okay. What's death rest? You have biotech. So basically, vampires have this death rest meter that every now and then they have to pretty much put themselves into a, a coma for a little bit to get their stats and mood back up. And you can get special beds and things, make it faster, and to get buffs afterwards and things like that. Boy, the beginning of this is terrible. Ooh, nice. Don't need those yet, though. But once we get moved in here, we'll be good. Come on, Bart. Welcome in. Favorite Adam. <laughs> uh, so Italia's wearing the... Yeah, okay. So Emerald Dragon. Let's have you wear some of this, too. These are tainted apparel. Perfect. Perfect. Unintentionally turn into like the Spartan run. <laughs> you like the single fish design until you have to start death resting? Yeah. Yeah, we're almost. We're gonna have to do that pretty soon, actually. These guys are gonna have to tend to themselves soon. So we're going to try to get a better bed. Need more wood. Way less has got done recently with all these breakdowns. Okay, last trap. We do need that, though. And yeah, after the next Cassandra hits, we will death rest, I guess. We, we have to. Hopefully things don't go terribly wrong while we're death resting. I guess a slave uprising and kill us in our sleep. <laughs> it happened. It could happen. Early game's a little uh, a little iffy on this run, but if we survive it. We should be all right. All right, there we go. Let's get some extra beds made. Looking for something excellent would be excellent, but they can't or organize a mutiny without their tongues anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get the skull spike stuff going too. I don't want to do it just yet, but we're getting there. Also, let's go ahead and put a dumping zone out here, and start getting this stuff moved. Might as well go ahead and start on that. It'll take a long time. Uh, uh Freak, name of the 26 months. Tina Arena, I think 75. That's the longest sub I've seen on this channel. 75 months at tier two. That's like 150 months. Uh, thank you, Tina Arena and Um Freak. Very much appreciated. Long time fan. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the continued support. Dino. They're a little bit too happy for my liking, but 
Random furniture. Okay. Wish Cassandra would hurry up and hit if she's going to. So that's a good bed. We'll go ahead and put that one up here. But we definitely want to get a royal bed at some point. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll find new and interesting ways to torture them aside from just taking tongues. Speculation of next stuff coming out to RimWorld. So, uh, which VOD is it at the beginning of? I don't remember. I have it up on YouTube. The long, long story short is that uh, over the last few weeks, the RimWorld developers have been uploading encrypted files on the back end on Steam. And that's all we know. And the last time this happened was right around when they were working on finishing up Biotech. So it could be that they're working on finishing up a new DLC and that's the, what we're seeing is, is parts of that DLC or it could just be patches or updates or Unity stuff or, you know, a variety of things. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it is interesting that the last time that happened, we got Biotech, so. We shall see. Be room rolled too, rolled 3D. If you had a crash land to start, you have recruited five tribals, put meditation spots near the end of a tree, sign them to the spot, and they still don't meditate near the tree. Any fixes? Do they have natural meditation? Click their, click their uh, uh, eye button, the view information button, and then check meditation types. Do they have natural meditation? Because not all tribals have natural meditation either. It also makes sense to encrypt everything. Yeah, yeah. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's just speculation, but it is interesting. And a keychain, paracord keychain. The sword that just has a square. Yeah, <laughs> our sword art. Yeah. For anyone that didn't see, the, the art on our masterwork steel sword is it's just a square. Why don't slaves, slaves just leave? Because they're being tortured. They can't leave while they're tortured. Oh my god. If they're tortured enough, they're too scared to leave. <sighs> so we only have two that are unhappy enough right now. The square, like R squared? That's right. What are you doing, Dino? Why are you guys cutting first, even though I have it on growing first, huh? Very weird. Very weird this time. Exhaustion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, those guys are way too happy. Way too happy, those guys. Okay, this is about ready for me to move into. Okay. Any challenges so hard this time? Mech ships out in the open. Yeah, the, the community challenge this one is made to have lots of social issues. Yeah, there's some other things too with the tree, so I was waiting to for them to let me know if it was actually shown as natural meditation or not. Is your uh, URL for Steam backend data? I don't remember. Yeah, I posted the the link is in the Discord as well, and I posted it when I went over it, but I don't I don't remember the link. Sorry. Story. Let's see if we can make decent ones of these as well. We'll move them over. And my character is actually getting pretty upset because he's not death resting, but Cassandra could hit us anytime. She might, she could have skipped a cycle, but... Uh, I said I was going to count these this time, but because of death rest, we might have to. The last raid was on the 11th. No, it's not right. 11th. Uh, no, it is. Okay. So, yeah, she can still technically attack us, but it's not necessarily necessary that she has skipped it yet. Yeah, I'm not sure why the Thrombo decided to come hang out in the mountain. That is kind of weird, too.
And first time I made bedrooms in ages and ages. Years, maybe. <laughs> I made a few in the dwarf run. Which, well, that was over a year ago. Trumbo's Wisdom. But yeah, there's a couple things to, to go over the animatrice who, if they... All four of them have natural meditation, also using gunplay and harmonies mods. Yeah, I'm not sure about the mod interaction, but there's a couple things that can happen. If the animatrice is in a room and the room is set as a prison or uh, a bedroom or something like that, they won't meditate at it. Other people won't meditate at it. So prisoners can actually meditate, oddly enough. Uh, if they were scheduled to before they were in prison. So make sure the tree isn't somewhere that's being considered uh, a room type of that. You can always click on toggle room stats, hover over where the anima tree is and see if it's saying prison or something. Um, aside from that, you know, it, it could be too cold or too hot where the anima tree is and they, they won't go out because it's uncomfortable temperature. There's quite a few things that can happen that I have to really see the... Uh, the save file probably to, to super figure it out, but. Let's mine this part. Days again. So I see anima. So there is a, they're going to fix this. The de developers already know about this in the bug discord, developer bug discord thing. It's already been reported and they know about it. So, but if you want to use this before it gets patched, basically right now, if you make your animatrix in a room and make sure you don't roof it, but you make it in a room and you make it the prison and then you have someone that is a colonist, you schedule them for all meditation. And then when you arrest them, they will remember that they were scheduled for meditation and they will grow anima grass and then your colonists can use it to get psi levels whenever they want. All right, I'm going to take the risk. I am going to death rest because we ha we have to. Hopefully these guys survive without me. So you can actually have your prisoners grow the anima grass for you. If they were natural meditation, uh, they won't get psi casting, obviously, but. All right. No recent conquest is minus nine. So we need to go raid sometime too, but. He's not strong enough to go raid on his own yet, I don't think. Oh, there's only three people there. All right. We got to go raiding. Still the They'll just break out. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and change the work zone so that the brawls here are at least relatively close by. And yeah, hopefully we can get through the death rest. At least over the little dot there. I would hate to wake early, but... We're about to start getting to the point where we're going to do rituals as well, so hopefully we can find another... another single phase so we can split up the death rest. It's not scary that way, you know? But yeah, things are... Like imagine we get a drop pod raid while we're like this. We could just lose the run. But usually increase your base value. It depends on the run itself, but generally not until I have uh, assault rifles and mortars. Sarah also with a gift. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, who'd you hit? The communist Moogle. <laughs> uh, Sarah, thank you for the gift sub also. Very much appreciated. And there's a slave escape. Oh, no. <laughs> Dino, Emerald, Dragon, and Little Knockout. They're gone. At least it's escape. All right, well. Oh my god, if we get a drop pod raid. Oh, thank you again, Sarah. Much appreciated. Run while the master is asleep. Well. Well, the next raid are going to be small now. So we got that going for us, I guess. Frank's a little too happy. Oh, uh, we don't need as much food anymore. Well. Well, that sucks. That sucks. Now we don't have someone making our food either. I guess Italia will start making our food. Yeah. Yeah, my, my YouTube membership. No! No, we're going to be reset to, to zero while we're death resting. Uh, we got to wake up early. It's going to be sick. 
I mean, I don't want to lose them all. And then what if we get raided while I... Oh, God. We're going to have to start over. Crap. I need at least waffles, though, right? He needs it. He's there to keep me fed and stuff. You got traps? <laughs> this attempt might end sooner than we thought. Oh, they weren't kept unhappy enough. Should I wake up and grab waffles? I'm not sure. We do have to go raid, yeah. It's vanilla room world. Uh, it has all the DLC, but aside from that, mostly vanilla, yeah. I usually play pretty much vanilla with vanilla plus DLC. We are using a couple of extra mods just for this themed run, though. The main one is geological landforms, which gives a different kind of map and more slavery stuff, which just gives us a few more slave precepts and memes. What happened? We had a death rest. And so the slaves are breaking out while we're asleep. The major event. No, no, it's separate. Time to make another colonist. <gasps> Uh, maybe. I think we just gotta let him go. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> They're all gone. They're all gone. So after Sanders next cycle, we'll have to go raid and try to bring someone back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we could leave early, but he's going to be so sick that if we do that and a raid happens and he needs to fight, he's screwed. Is that big of a hit? Well, there's a cooldown before. There's other things to consider. It's fine. At least it didn't set the base on fire. Yeah. Was that a recent change? I thought they act like raiders in Rebel. There's there's different ones, yeah. There's Escape and then there's Rebellions, yep. Yeah. Alright, well. We're all on, alone now. The master's asleep. It's time to rebel. <laughs> We're gonna wake up. Everyone's gone. Imagine that friggin' boom rat comes in to eat. Oh no. Are those major events? No, they're separate. If that boom rat comes in to eat a meal and causes fire, we lose because we can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, I guess we wouldn't lose. We'd force wake up and just run away and everything would burn. We need to find a vampire bride. Yeah, let's let's work on that. Let's work on a second single fit. Maybe we started working on the base a little bit too. Oh no. How many? No! What? Oh, they don't know I'm in here! Oh no! Why do you have to be boom rats? <laughs> don't wake up! Don't wake up! Don't come any closer! They don't have a they don't have a target. Cassandra's trying to kill us. She's like, you know what? You got a, you got a good good point. I need to make sure we don't auto wake up. Turn that off. <laughs> now that's a major event. Oh man. Do you think I'm yeah, they think I'm down so they, they're not coming. Yep. They don't have a valid target because I'm downed. Combat of fortune. Two groups of imps. Oh, why imps? I can't do it. Can't do it. I have no one to put out fire. I said boomerang. Sanders like, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> oh man. What happened to raiders? Raiders would come destroy the base. Raiders can attack furniture and stuff like that. Those animals can't. Well, yes, we're at the beginning of the game though, right? So. We have basically nothing set up. I was trying to get the mountain done immediately and move in early, but I probably shouldn't have done that. That's all right. It's This runs for the story anyway. So we hope that the next event is a raider event, a frontal raider event, and that we can get a new a new pawn. Yeah, the rest is rough. Yeah, I should have just gotten a second. 
Sanguifage first. And that's that's what we'll do. We're really looking for a tough pawn that has a another thing that has a mood increase. So waffles would have been an okay one actually. A lot of name colonists are gonna be yeah, those, they can pop up as world pawns. All those that left would be world pawns. We might see them again. Sanguifage was acting up. You figured it was that time. Death rest. Or else they get cranky. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Yeah. There's only one left. Just chill. Chill out. We could get ready to check the ancient danger, but we need to go out and raid too. We have a big mood hit from not raiding. Then, uh, yeah, we can't yet. So, uh, Man in Black requires that you've had three total colonists at some point and also has a 60 day cooldown. So, yeah, we, we're not at the point where we, we could have gotten a Man in Black yet. Oh, we're not actually downed. That's another thing. We're in death rest. If I, we've, we've had over three colonists, so yeah, we actually could get a man in black if we was if we got downed. But this is different than being downed. I think. How many until uh, he's done? He's he's getting close. Yeah. Close. There's still a boom rat around though. That's angry. Okay, they're gone. There we go. He wakes up and is like, what the crap? Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. So we have to get another pawn. Uh, if we got the... Oh, we can't do that one. If we got the lectern and altar and we became a leader, we might have a decent chance at getting a recruit. We need to go out raiding, raiding as well. He's actually terrible at these things, though. So, lectern... Try it. Smart slaves escaped while we were asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't make yourself leader with no others. Uh, we've had three, so we should be able to. Yeah. No, that you're thinking of priests. Sorry. Yeah, I was as well, but no leader. You can have a leader with just one person. Oh, they're sure they're going to knock it out of the park. Yeah. I hope we see something relatively soon. Hideous environment. Well, yeah. All your people are gone. Awful bedroom. Awful death rest chamber. Recreation unfulfilled. Hungry. <laughs> Come on. I'm the new leader. Anyone object? I didn't think so. Yeah, hopefully Sanders sends a second raid. It doesn't look like she's going to, though. Man, oh man. My phone thought I uh, did some kind of voice activation. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I'm not sure what it heard. But I'm a little f afraid to look at my history after the stream. <laughs> How to make your slaves unhappy. I didn't think that would be the problem in this one. That's why it happened. We weren't keeping them unhappy enough. I was making them wear tainted clothing and eating corpses. And they were still like, ah, pretty good here. Pretty good. Yeah, we just did a Mechantor run, though, so I don't think I want to do that. I found happy slaves. Would you like to see more? I don't know. Okay, so let's see what the percentage is now. 65%. We can get an additional 25 just by becoming the leader. It's going to make us even... More unhappy, though. Oh, uh, now we got food poisoning. Yeah, we got to get some more people in here. Food looks low. We have infinite food out here, basically, for one person, but... Uh, uh, I did. I did. Yeah, the, the ones that had that mood buff. But the problem was that once they were getting close to extreme, they were having a breakdown before, and then they were getting catharsis. So the ones that were actually causing the problems had double catharsis. So was that their mood wasn't going down fast enough? Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if we get someone. Man, this is really risky too, but 
Oh well. If I mechanic tour would be great. Yeah, I just did a mechanic tour run though, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let him rest. Then we'll see. Should disable catharsis. It did not, yeah. Did not. It says it disables those things if they're in extreme breakdown. But they were definitely getting double catharsis. I don't know. Oh, maybe those ones were the other ones. Yeah, yeah. That, those could have been the other ones. So there were some ideologies that we had that weren't the ones that were making them happy for being slaves, but they were not our ideology. It was probably those ones. You volunteer, maybe. maybe. What, do, what do they have? And yeah, we're really unhappy. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, no recent conquests. Ravenously hungry. Intense pain. All right. I mean, it's only a two. So odds are this is going to not be good, but we're going to make one of these anyway. Let me eat that. Oh, well, we might have a breakdown. Then we could just lose. Sandra is on cooldown. Oh, what else can we do? We could make this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put a zone out here. We'll put raw materials there. That is important. We just move it up a little bit so it doesn't break down during this. Big person named Snout. Yeah, I, I just try to do too much at once, I think. I was like, ah, we'll focus on making them more unhappy once we get the mountain stuff done, but I, sh I should have just gone for it. All right. we If, if this goes well, we have a 50% chance at a recruit, so... Let's hope for the best. Unforgettable will help with mood, but we don't get a recruit out of that. So we have one more chance here. Come on, Vampire Bride. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, we're going to have to go try to raid and hope for the best. Does he have the ability to get an animal? Uh, I mean, that's enough to get a donkey or a horse. There are some donkeys nearby, but we'd have to get kind of lucky. So I guess we'll try to get we'll try to get lucky with a donkey. Wait, what? What was that? We're gonna go try to get lucky with a donkey. And uh, if we play our cards right, it might lead us to our new vampire bride. Jive talking to donkey. I think that's turkeys. I think that's actually turkeys. He spawned by himself with another colonist, another colonist, but they are gone. They ran away while I was death resting. <laughs> All right, come on, donkey. Come on. 20% chance, come on. All right, how far away is the closest raid site? It's down the road. There's three people there. We get there in a half day. We're just going to have to go for it. Alpacas. Alpacas don't increase movement speed. I needed a mountable animal, not a caravan animal. Uh, okay. Let's get a little bit of food made. We'll go. What happened? All my slaves ran away while I was death resting. <laughs> so. Slave rebellion, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we should probably build this while we're out too. Before we go out. All right, that's enough with that. Let's go with construction back to a one here. 
not too rebellion rebellion to run me over yeah probably so i would have had to woke up woke up early and trying to run away and they probably would have downed me so it was an escape a slave escape yeah so now we are slow and steady back to trying to get to another pawn accepting a child or archers all right come on kid All right, let's go. <laughs> Igneo. Igneo. He's four. He's got a long life of learning ahead of him. You know, he we might could raise him to be a vampire. He's not a bride, though. All right. Yeah, we have enough traps for four, I think. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, we have enough traps for, for four. Come on, Igneo. Get down here. imps it is imps yep yeah. but i'm taking the risk we have enough traps up i think it'll be okay hey kid okay the gun's as big as he is i don't i'm not sure if we're gonna raise him or not i don't know we'll see what happens with this raid Maybe, maybe we'd have to get a school desk and three blackboards. All right, kid. They're after you, by the way. Arrived immediately on the front line. Okay. Lazy miner. Killed him. All right, well. Okay, this is the start of a new Cassander cycle. Do we raise this kid? Hmm. Is he, is he going to be a vampire's apprentice? Hey, I don't want to use that right now. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and make this stuff. We'll decide. We'll decide. He needs converted. Let's convert him either way. We'll see how he feels after he's converted. You know? Let's see if he could he survives the conversion process. We still have a bit of blood left, yeah. At the very least we could we could use him for blood. We could tailor hey! Pyro. <laughs> right, I forgot. <laughs> there you go, kid. There's you something to eat. There's you something to eat. We can use the kid as a hemogen farm if we have to, yeah. We'll convert them first and we'll see from there. That was the Manhunter. That was the quest one, right? Yeah. Well, if he rolls tough, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. This run has a lot of quote potential. We just now got to machining.
All right, kid. 35%. Is me beating up a random wild man a major event? No. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite. Uh, crazy amount of wealth for a single colonist. Yeah, it's almost like a second ago I had like six or seven colonists. Yeah, that's weird. It's weird that I have the provisions for, uh, let's say, I don't know, maybe about t 10 more people than what I have. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Very weird, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're doing a themed run, and I had a bunch of slaves, and I went to death rest, and they all just ran away. <laughs> uh, Rose, thank you for the nine months. Axel, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Axel. Thank you, Rose. Wait a minute. Axel Pros? That's an interesting coincidence. His name is Axel Rose. It's not Pros. Yeah, I know, but close enough. Wow, this kid will believe anything. He's converting so fast. We just go in there and tell him, what are we telling him? Hang on. I said a word about wearing spacesuits. That is so cruel. He's five years old and I'm in there telling him, I'm trying to win his trust by talking about astronauts and things. That's so cruel. <laughs> God. Why am I in this dark womb, mister? Mister, why am I in? Uh, you know, do you like astronauts, kid? Yeah, I, astronauts are great. Astronauts, uh, they explore space, and space is very dark, so I need you to stay in this room because you're trained to be an astronaut. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't come out, though. We're going to have to fight some demons. Demons? <laughs> demons, trees, and astronauts. Excellent. Fantastic. All right, well. Cool. Fear of the trees. Dead pig man to space. Got him some fresh bacon. Can the kid be adopted? We are trying, we're thinking about adopting him. They're very impressionable, yes. Uh, yeah. We're thinking about it. Thinking about it. If he survives the conversion process, we might raise him to be a vampire's apprentice, you know? Unfortunately, he can't be a bride. Our vampire doesn't swing that way, unfortunately. Maybe I should have made mine... Maybe I should have made the entire world bisexual. <laughs> I have love free and approved, so... Oh, well, too late for, too late for that. The devil and demons will get you. Rub salt in it. Oh, it's gonna be so much food. Because my pawn didn't roll that way. Yeah, it just didn't roll that way. Also, it'd be pretty weird to be r raising a bride. Ugh, yeah. Oh, wait, how old is our character again? He's 15 now. He was 14. I kind of forgot about that. So for anyone that doesn't know, we don't actually don't have the adult body until 18. So we have lower HP and lower drug tolerance and stuff until we turn 18. All right, the kid is almost converted. It's almost converted. Okay. <sighs> it's also a child. Yeah, but he, he won't always be. He won't always be. Okay, they are converted. He was already calling us, so we can just go ahead and release him. All right, kid. All right. His learning was at 4%. His first growth tiers. You know, that's probably what we should check. What he, what does he get on his first growth tier since he came to us already aged a little bit? For God's sake, Adam, he's only five. Yeah, but that's two years of, of waste. That's two years that he wasn't learning out in the wild, you know? So. Hungry for knowledge. We'll see. We'll see. Well, you know, I'm not going to make a decision. 
We'll, uh, we'll wait. Let's also not sow any more stuff. We'll wait. We'll see what they get at the growth tier, and uh, that will determine whether he becomes a vampire or a slave. Did he profane a piece? Which will he did? <laughs> Another kid. Oh, no. What is this run? An eight-year-old. <laughs> It's a tier three, 19 foxes. I'm not running a vampire daycare. Apparently I am running a vampire daycare. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey kid, shut this door. Just in case. Also shut this one also, just in case. Uh, bring in some of this food, just in, again, just in case, just in case. Oh my God, the vampire daycare. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a run of evil. We were doing, uh, there, there's, wait a minute. There's still a lot of evil we can do with these children. I shouldn't say these things. This run is never going to see any boost in the algorithm on YouTube. That's a hundred percent. That's a guarantee. I'm glad there's so many watch, of you watching live on YouTube because this will be buried as soon as it's done probably. Uh, anyway, let's just accept this quest. <laughs> let's, let's just put it at that. Let's, 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 well, let's see how it plays out. Let's see how it plays out. All right, can we go outside? No, okay. All right, kid. Let's see. <laughs> this is so bad. It's a possible bride. Is she going to make it here? I don't think she's going to make it. Raise her as a bride. Oh my God. This eight year old girl comes to the map. And we're like, that could be our wife. Does she make it? <gasps> There's no way. There's no way she makes it. She's dead guys. She's dead. Oh no. There's, there's absolutely no way. Look, they're cutting her off. No, oh, one of them hit her. Oh, they missed twice. Uh, there's too many for us to handle. Dead in four hours. She's missing a jaw now. There's too many of them for us to handle with just one pawn. There's 19 of them. So we can't do anything about it either. Otherwise, we could hatch her up. Yeah, I'm not taking that risk. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. The groomer run. Oh, God, it is. It is. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. I need to check on something. You guys just make sure no one has a breakdown and goes outside. Okay, chat, I trust you entirely. And sit here and watch this little girl die while I'm gone. I'll be right back.
You guys killed her? It wasn't me. I wasn't here. How could how could you do this? How could you do this, chat? Here, call me a noob. <clears throat> you, you, she deserved it. <laughs> what? <sighs> well, what? Where'd the bison come from? <laughs> it was just a mad bison for some reason. Prime world content. Rest in power, little girl. Rest in power. Sorry. Well. Unfortunately, the eight-year-old girl will not grow up to be our bride. Oh, God. Good thing our squared's not listening to this stuff, huh? We could take her skull. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we'll do that. He doesn't have a bed. That's good for him. That's a horrible thing to say out of context. That's a horrible thing to say in general. Playthrough might be interesting. Uh, we had one of those and I died to... Sort of. We had the Twitch Toolkit one and I died to horseshoe pins. Because people found out they could spin their points they were earning by watching uh, on anything, right? And the cheapest thing was horseshoe pins. So people were dropping literal like thousands of horseshoe pins on my base. Uh, and it was holding open doors. I couldn't do anything. Uh, thanks, Robert. I just got it freshly cut. She could have been the Kirsten Dunst of your Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is also very, very weird. Saw the thumbnail. Uh, glad you like it. The bison? Uh, another bison self-tamed. Okay. More Leo instead. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on with all the animals? Cassandra. Rest room is very rare, though, yeah. An out of context video of the stream? Oh my god. If you do, let me see it. You're upset my wife is down. Alright, what's the devil summon? <sighs> well, I got guns research, so. Got that going for us, so that's nice. Right. What's pink ore? That's uranium. Uh, colorblind, yeah, colorblind mod, yep. I really should have put this base over here. I didn't know where I was going to dig into the mountain initially, but we could go ahead and start working on attaching this to it. And we have the option to work on this even when we're locked in, but... Eh. What did I do to Cassandra to make her hate me so much? She doesn't like that I made this, uh, I, I got this new custom emote made of her. She doesn't like it. It's not flattering. For anyone that hasn't seen it, there's a new, I got two RimWorld emotes made last weekend. You can use them as a Twitch subscriber. Uh, you can use them anywhere on Twitch if you're a subscriber here. And on YouTube, if you're a channel member, you can use them. A mod pack saved on Steam for your runs. Um, I usually don't use very many mods. I usually use the same, like, I use No Pause, Camera Plus, and P Music usually. And very often, or very, excuse me, very rarely, I'll add another one or two small mods. Like in this one, I added geological landforms and more slavery. So, yeah, you, I usually don't have a lot of mods to, to really worry about. It. This kid is upset we haven't had a conquest. As soon as I convert him by telling him about astronauts and trees, he immediately wants to go murder people elsewhere. Uh, Mr. Adam? Yes, yes, what is it, child? Can, can we go murder people that are different than us? Yes. Yes, we can. We will. <laughs> What's those astronaut space conquests? <laughs> The nebulous concept of aliens. They're not even real humans. Uh, never seen a mountain spawn in the center. It's called geological landforms. Yeah, it adds additional map types. I like vanilla expanded mods. The only ones I've used are the storytellers. And I liked all of those. Those are all fun. All right, so all the animals are chilled out. Okay, 
so we need to go raid for multiple reasons. How much longer is this one up? Nine days. We got three people. Hopefully we can get some of them as prisoners and maybe a future vampire there. Th there's only two people here. That one's gone in 1.2 days. Two people and components, 3.4 days. How far away is that? That one's a lot further. That's just a half day. All right, kid. Kid, we're going to have to go out conquesting. Uh, how'd that cost end up dying? Oh, you know, she got killed by a bunch of foxes. We could make a grave so that it's the target of a uh, of a breakdown. Is it, these are really easy breakdowns to deal with. So let's just do that too. What's her name? Frith. Not that I need to know, but. Uh, blinding light. Yeah, so we want to attack during the night. So we want to travel during the day. Okay, let's go ahead and get two bedrolls made. It's going to be dangerous. Our, we could lose our whole base while we're gone, but oh well. Yeah, I got to open that one before we go to you, think. The kid gets an awful one. Sounds right. No, 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 don't start death rest. I gotta go. Oh my god, we gotta get someone else. We're gonna have to death rest sometime. We gotta get someone else. Uh, yeah, we might lose everything while we're gone, but there's really nothing we can do about it. We should probably cut all the plants here, though, so fire can't burn and spread. Let's do plant cutting as a one. And we'll try for the donkeys one more time, and then we gotta get out of here. This run, I I told people in the beginning that the beginning of or the beginning of the stream that the beginning of the run would probably be a little dangerous. It always is on low pawn counts with like restrictions and things. But that if we can make it to like mid game, it's gonna be a lot easier than a normal run probably. But I don't know. It's it's just for fun. It's just a theme. It's not gonna be as hard as some of the crazy challenges we've done either way. All right, so the reason I'm cutting these is if we have raiders show up while we're gone and set the field on fire, hopefully the fire doesn't travel, you know, over. We'll have a fire break. Oh, man, I have... I have food poisoning again. Put down concrete. Hey, this will be fine. It already has the roof, and we're cutting the plants, so it'll be fine. It does the same thing. Child enemies on. It's whatever the default. I can't remember if child enemies are on by default or off. I think they're off by default. Going to capture a fresh wife all route? Hopefully. Food poisoning. Off by default. Okay. I'm going to redeem one of those for a while. This would be a crazy run to get into. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to use his catharsis after this to go do the raid. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we don't need the donkey. Let's just go. We got to go get this. We need more pawns and we also need the mood increase. So. All right, kid. Wait, uh, did we get over the food poisoning? Okay. Okay, we did. I guess we need to harvest a little bit too. What a mess. What a mess. Death rest really screwed us over, huh? I 
I mean, if we kill some of them, we can eat them on the way back, but... Yeah, we'll give him his weapon back, too. Second drone low. Alright. Uh, we don't want him breaking down, so I'm gonna give him a melee weapon, too, actually. I'll give him a little bit of a mood increase. And he's recovering. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, it's gonna be dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Uh... I got food poisoning again! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, the donkeys came by. That's good. That's a good thing. Alright, I guess we're waiting out food poisoning again. How long until we can do this again? Eight days. We might... Wait. I have to wait on that. Or so many plants for? It's for the 10 people that we ha had just a little bit ago. You know, the people that planted all these. Making a vampire feed himself with veggies? That's our, our options, that or die. Had? Yep. <laughs> we were on our way to 10 people and then... Yeah, all gone. All gone. Hey, look where the kid's sleeping. <laughs> I'm not sure why the thrombo keep going to the mountain. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's something to do with it being the center of the map. I'm not sure. Maybe the thrombo AI is trying to get to the center of the map. You usually don't see that sort of thing because the mountain's not in the middle. Did they all go wild? No, I had to death rest and they all... They all escaped. All escaped. Had a grand slave rebellion. Hey, we got a donkey. At a Grand Slave Rebellion while I was death resting. Alright, let's go. The Great Slave Walkout, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we really have to get a second Sanguifage, but they have to be worthy. They have to be worthy. So the cutoff where cooking is better than eating raw for food poisoning is four. We're almost there. Solar flare doesn't matter. This kid turns out to be a good pawn. It'll be a miracle. All right, let's get out of here. Good luck to us. The donkey cuts that time in half, though, which is nice. All right, base. Good luck. Single parent households. So we have darkness, which means we get a combat debuff during the daytime. So we kind of need to park right here flash storm while we're gone well there goes probably all that okay it's starting to get dark let's go ahead and get in there uh medge labs thank you for the 20 gift subs thank you medge very much appreciated ganymede thank you for the resub as well thank you medge all right uh, this raid is in honor of medge here we go. All right, kid, you just stay back here with the donkey, all right? I'll take care of this. All right, where are they? Oh, my God. These guys, they got guns. Delicate Wimp. We can take them down really quickly. Oh, there's two genies. Okay, the two genies will fall really quickly. It's not a pet bear, right? It's okay. This guy's coming out with a pet bear and coonskin hat. Caps. 
Okay, row. So row and who's the other one that will go down easily? They're Canadian. Those are beaver pelts. Okay. Callie and all right, all right. Lauren is not the easy one to down, so we'll go after them last. Does that one go in this building? Yep, there they are. There they are. Get him. Get him. Dead. <laughs> Alright, Lauren, you stay back. You stay away. I'm going after the other genie. Callie. Okay, take this cover. Oh, he's here. Get him. Nuh-uh, Lauren. No, 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 no. Surprise! Crap! <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> we won. We we won. So, you know, we we got that going for us. So that's that's nice. That's nice. That's done, kid. That's how it's done. I don't think we need to do this anymore. I think they fixed this, but I'll do it anyway. Right. Well, we got a raid, you know, so that's good. We got that done. So, we got some extra food. Like, well, who needs to cook when you can just go kill people and take their food? Hang on. I've just had a breakthrough. I need to go talk to my wife, IRL. It's completely unrelated that I just found out that you don't need to actually work for anything. You could just kill people and take their stuff. Unrelated. I'll be right back now. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we want to take with us? Eh, we don't need any of that. We'll take the wolf skin, I guess. And... I guess we'll take one of the bodies. Why not? All right, cool. Why not recycle? I don't want any extra stuff right now. We have so few people that I'm trying to stay low, lower on wealth now. But. Alright, there is another place over there that we could raid. But that's an actual settlement. We gotta wait for another quest raid pop up. Snacks of the road. That kid's loving life now. Now that he's been on a raid and he's seen murder with his own eyes. He knows he's picked the right place. Okay, so we have a festival in five days. We need to get to the dance festivals too. We have two of those, but it is dance festival, not drum festival. So we need we need to get more electricity. I suppose we'll start working on that. In case we don't really have other options. What's a home zone? I don't think it, you need to anymore, but used to it wouldn't show all the items unless the items were either in a stockpile or a home zone. So used to when you would go to bases like that, to make sure you didn't miss out on anything. Taking it back with you, you would just paint the whole map as home zone. It was kind of a habit from that. I don't think you have to do it anymore, though. I think they fixed it. I think it was finally fixed. Oh, man. Construction is not high enough. All right. So, basically, now we need to just hang out and wait for new raid opportunities. More visitors to join or to enter the map. And for... Festivals. So, five days on those ones. We have one slavery mod. It just adds additional memes and precepts for slaves. Fluffles mini enemies. It's a one star. Children again! What is this? What is... Why? Why? Ugh. It's the vampire daycare. <laughs> Precept does the pawn have to go to the raid? No, they get an additional boost if they go to the raid, though. So you, you need to raid as your faction, and the people that go on the raid get an extra boost. Go on, Robo. Welcome in. Where's the donkey with the loot? We're bringing it down now. Fluffles. Uh, all right, all right. Second bride attempt, yeah. <laughs> uh, Brandon, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, Brandon. Speaking of babies, that's a Twitch baby. 
Fluffles is another boy. Oh well. Priest roll activated. Oh, look at that strong jawline on that on that chap. He's a seven-year-old Neanderthal optimist. That is not what we want. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he could be a... No, Neanderthal would not make very good vampires. And this would also not make a good slave. So... Turn away, don't look. Don't look, don't look. <clears throat> Fine. He's just resting. He's just resting. We're not gonna get the raids because we rested him. We'll, we'll see. Fine, don't, don't, don't. Don't look. Oh, we're missing two medicine. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to use the good medicine on this little kid. You know? Like, what a waste. What a waste. I think the raids might not actually come because we arrested them. Uh. Okay. Operation. How attractive is that bedroom? Uh, it's awful. It's awful. But we're not. We won't even go in there. We're reaching through a crack between the door and the wall and ripping his friggin' leg off. Ooh. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. He doesn't need those anymore. He doesn't need those anymore. We gave him, we gave him peg legs. He doesn't need them. Royal tribute collector. Crap, we could have sold this kid into slavery. <laughs> okay, we have removed the kid's legs. And now we will use them as, um, as a hemogen farm. All right, cool. Okay, we have infinite blood. One step of our vampire empire has been, uh, been complete. Psychic harmonizers? No, no, we want them to be really unhappy. Mind screws. Click the button for more war crimes. Uh, this is the war crime run indeed. Thank you, misfortune. War crimes indeed. We got four days. Solo mech run. Start playing room roll yourself. Going to thanks. Oh yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, crazy noob. They ever let me know. They were watching. Keyhole surgery. <laughs> Fiddling with kids in the dark. That makes it sound bad. I mean, we did just rip the kids' legs off and now we're blood feeding on them. So I guess it's pretty bad. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. There's no... I can't... There's no sugarcoating it in any, any sort of way. So never mind. 
Psychic harmonizing the thralls to be miserable. Yeah, but that would make our single phage miserable as well, unless they were psychically deaf. Do they get medical experience for Himogen Farm? They get a very small amount now. It used to be a lot when Biotech first came out, but they changed it. All right. Uh. Does he really need a bed, though? Does he really need a bed? Is there? Do we get any benefit for giving this kid that has no legs a bed? I can't think of one. So let's kick him out of that. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of one. And it's not that we need the bed; it's that we don't want him to have one. Yeah, there he's, he's fine. All right, perfect. Perfect. All right, less the same hemogen as adults. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, you would think maybe less, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're good with that. Uh, I do want to start splitting the recordings so that it doesn't, they're not as crazy to upload when we're doing the edits. So I'm going to split the recording there on that jolly note, and the stream will continue and on both sides. I just need to split the recording. All right, a new recording has begun. There we go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Recording. Recording's good. All right, cool. Uh, Wazbeck, thank you for the gift sub. Paying it forward from Waffles, who was a slave that escaped in this run, actually. Uh, thank you, Wazbeck. Manhunter. Why? I need human raids, Cassandra. How is his mood? He's actually not all that too happy, but he's not learning much in there for some reason. Uh, this is the first hit of Cassandra, so we won't want to death rest until after her second hit, if she does a second hit. More Manhunters. Most ethical AV stream. <laughs> uh, We are... Almost to the point where we can do the social festivals. TV should require provide learning. How come he's not learning very much in his two by one dark room? With no legs. I don't know, it's mystery. Mystery. Have you tried the game going medieval? I played it a very small amount when it first hit like alpha or beta like a very early access version i said i'd come back and try it again someday and i haven't yet great game good potential yeah i know they've added a lot since then so that was like two years ago or something Ooh, our first step towards a relic of the vampire people you've learned that a relic of the coven is nearby the silver dagger is an ancient object venerated by all vampires if you could collect it you could build a great reliquary to make vampires happy, attract wealthy pilgrims who we can enslave, and bring more people to the coven. First, you need to find the silver dagger. Watch for opportunities. All right. We got to get that. We, we need a way to get more people here so we have options. <laughs> Is that kid just a torso now? Uh, you know, he still has arms. He still has arms. Maybe find a bride, yeah. Does he need his arms, though? I can't remove them. The only other thing I can remove on him right now is his jaw and his tongue. I don't really need to. Love relic runs. Yeah, let's get those. Let's try to get those. Yeah, we got the blood festivals coming up, so maybe we'll finally get an auto join from that. I can remove his hands. Yeah, that's true. I can give him wooden hands and then remove them, but... Supreme animals. 12 manhunting monkeys. <sighs> no. If that was a mind screw, I would do it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 
I, if that was a mind screw, I would actually want to do it this time, which is really insane. But, uh, no. I need to be able to do these festivals soon. Oh my god, all of our rice went away. I'm gonna have to go melee hunt. Okay, well, we don't need this this size anymore. So we're gonna shrink this. So much for us not doing any of the work and having slaves do it. Thralls. Uh yeah, that didn't that didn't pan out thanks to Death Rest. Good lord, I really hope we get someone from this festival. Let's eat the cotton. Hopefully we get someone really good, like an actual vampire candidate. Okay, later this day. What's the most people I've ever had watching? Over 15,000. That was during... That's 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 a really crazy thing that happened. Basically, I was doing the charity event for RimWorld uh, two, two winters ago. And... Or two Thanksgivings ago. And I was featured on the homepage. And it was really crazy. Outside of that, what's the most viewers I've had without raids and hosts and front page? We had uh, about, I think it was close to 1,800 on biotech launch. Something like that. And then we had around 1,600 on Rimian ship. So I think those are the non-host, non-raid, non-front page milestone type of things. Thing in the animals deal with stuff. Yeah, yeah, she is. Okay, almost there, almost there. You know what, kid? This is better than you sleeping there, so. Uh, mood's getting bad again. Minus five, no priest. Yeah, I don't have malnourished too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, come on. Donkey might end up dying, but I don't have time to deal with it. I can't believe I'm melee hunting to stay alive. That in. You seen the loot for DLCs? Little beans. I wish. Yeah, I wish. No, I have not signed any RimWorld NDAs. So. We get a bonus in the. We need a death rest soon. Oh no, that's gonna be really bad. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, the pemmican is on there, yep. Yep, yep. Donkey's actually winning that somehow. Raid, okay. Please let us down some people. So these are the ones that were after Fluffles. Five Itakins with guns. Okay. doing a Mechanitor this run. We just did a Mechanitor run, so I'm not doing one. Would make it easier, but I'm not doing it. All right, kid. You cause collision down there. And if they come in, I'll kill them. Oh, there's one.
Oh, he actually got away. Dead nine hours. Planting, okay. It's like the doll psychopath. Uh, yeah. So we are going to convert them this time. Help out a little bit. I think there was a second raid that's going to come for him as well. Why not equip guns? Wielding despised weapon, ranged weapon, minus five. Using weapon, minus five. So, yeah, mood hit. Stomp the pond with a job. That'd be kind of crazy. I land on them. Empire Wookiees in the future? No, I think this is going to be a slave. So, our noble weapon are melee weapons, so... Single phase will, uh, will be melee, and then the slaves will have the guns. So we'll use those on these guys. So we're going to convert him first. There you go, kid. This is your going to be your room temporarily. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot to do. Appointment Cantors are fun to play. Yeah, but I mean, we, we just did an entire run of Mechanitors, so it doesn't matter. For me, anyway, for this run, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we definitely can get another raid. We do need to get these back up, even if we're bad at it. Should be fine just having that, those couple. The blood from the blood kid. Okay. How efficient is beer? Beer is really good for mood. Beer is really good for mood. As long as you can keep beer at temperature, it's very efficient for mood, yeah. Fine today. I'm okay. Wild woman. A waster. Well, we'll probably eat her. Skulls for the skull throne. Blood for the blood god. This is definitely the corn run. Corn run indeed. How close are we to someone that we could ally for trade? We're not that far away from the pigs. Death, rest, exhaustion. Oh, man. All right. We got to run these and let's see what happens. Hey, I was listening to that. Wookie gunners. Door next to your bed has a dark room with a kid who's basically a chicken nugget in it. Oh, God. Still not, a, not an auto join from this. That's crazy. Such bad luck. Corn nug. Corn nug. Yeah. People that haven't been watching the... Oh, man. We've had all of them be good festivals and not a single joint event. Anyway, for anyone that hasn't been watching the Warhammer runs, there's something that the Chaos Dwarves say that sounds like corn dog. Corn dog. We're going to have to go raid again. And hope we don't kill them both this time. Lootism. You see the beginning? It's been a crazy one. <laughs> you were, were watching it. it. It definitely sounds like corn dog. 100%. Corn dog. Corn dog. So you have a better chance of not killing them. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in RimWorld, in Unmodded RimWorld. So the game has something called population intent. And if anything is downed at all without 
from damage. So if it's not from disease or it's not from temperature, basically, if they're down from damage, they have a chance to insta-die based on population intent. Population intent has different factors with it as well. But no, it would be nice if that's how it works. But it isn't, unfortunately. So for population intent, we have just as much chance of killing someone on downed with a stick of wood equipped as we do with a persona sword equipped. Now, if you're talking about, like, injuring them from a bleed and then kiting them until they bleed out, that's a different story. But that's not the same as not killing them on down, unfortunately. Corn dog, yeah, with a K. Yeah, there you go. K-H. Population intent. So we're going to have a big hit right now to everything because of the... Hey, look at that. 50% consciousness. So we have to death rest. Um, if this prisoner has an escape while we're death resting, we we just have to wake up early. But we might not be able to keep him. What's the biggest colony I ever had? Uh, around eighty pawns, I think. We had that a couple times. It got really laggy though, so I don't I don't like going that high anymore. Use gas weapons. Yeah, let me just pull those out of my butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are ways to down otherwise, but yeah, we don't have we don't have any of that yet. Eventually, eventually. Eventually we'll have ways, but we don't yet. I'm probably not going to use the burn box this time. Real quick, are both for pawns joining? Yes, they're both for pawns joining. Yep. Yep. Uh, 50% chance of random recruit. 50% chance of random recruit. 50% chance of random recruit. No, wait. Why is that one set for so... What? Why did it change? Oh, I bet I know how it changed. I switched... Um, I switched Tunneler out for Raider and it re-rolled them. That's unfortunate. So this one's 50% to join. This one's 50% to join. This one's 50%. So it's 50% on all of them aside from this one, which is local goodwill. I didn't set them all back after I switched it from Raider... Or uh, from Tunneler to Raider. So we actually only have one chance of those. That's uh, that's not good. And we're not fluid, so we can't re-roll it. We gotta get to the dance parties, I guess. We could take his legs like we did the kid, but then, yeah. I could also just go ahead and slave him, and then we could convert him again later. Let's do that. Although that's gonna take a little while, too. Well, this might solve it right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to kill him. We got to get the death resting. Done. So, I have to get these. We're going to botch a lot of this. I have to get these done, these traps, and then we have to death rest again. And hopefully the kid can take care of himself while we're death resting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do for food, kid. I guess that's a problem you're gonna have to figure out, huh? He literally won't be able to get anything himself. Uh... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. He goes on a fire starting spree. Uh, he's not going to do that. Yeah. But he might starve to death. And I have no way to like keep meat for him either. Um, I don't know if he can gather. No, nah, you can't do that. Hmm. Eats the Wookiee. The Wookiee's already been eaten. If we get meat, it's not going to keep long enough. And he can't grow his own st Oh, it hasn't been eaten yet, but... Uh... 
Oh, I clicked the wrong one. My bad. He can. He can. I wonder if he will be able to gather. If he was tribal, he could probably gather enough berries to eat on the world map, but not so sure. But yeah, we have to we have to death rest or else we're dead anyway on the next raid, so. All right. All right, kid, good luck. You're going to probably have to kill small animals and hopefully not die from it. He's probably going to have to try to kill small animals and with his spear and eat them while we are asleep. He won't be able to tend to himself, though, so if he gets a single bleed, he's dead. <laughs> Did this run start? I've been a live stream. This one started a few hours ago. Be beginning of the stream. Oh, uh, that kid could have eaten that meat. He's got three meals. He's got three meals. Uh, we could, yeah, we could double check if a warg leaves anything around. So, like, uh, that one's already rotted. That one's rotted, too. Looks like all the warg stuff is already rotted. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it. He's gonna have to scavenge from the warg to survive. Survive home alone for three days, easy. I can't believe we're gonna be watching the warg, like... For all the slaves, they're out living their best life out in the world, apparently. Oh, no, the drone hack. I wanted to do that. Well, I mean, we just won't accept it yet. Give Kid a gun? No. Because then he's going to have a breakdown. You know, he's going to have a minus 10 from holding a gun. How come I've stopped caring for animatries? I haven't. It's just... I'm not doing any kind of themed run around the animatory or whatever, so. Like, the animatory is incredibly strong, and so is Mechanitor, but I'm not doing either of those in this run because it's not part of this run. Nothing, uh, it's nothing, nothing for me. Like, Psycast, we'll have Psycasting. Psycasting is extremely strong. Animatory is incredibly strong, but it's, it's just not, it's just not, not this run. Can't you just harvest berries? No, you can't. He's not old enough. He has to be seven. That's be seven. He might actually age up during this. He can't, he can't do any of that. He's not old enough yet. At seven, he'll be old enough. So if he gets older while we're asleep. Uh, the tree will be fine. Yeah. Anima tree is not flammable. Oh, he ate the whole thing. Yeah, if the kid, you know, he ages up. Uh, yeah, we're watching the warg so that the kid can go eat the leftovers that he doesn't eat. But he has to eat something bigger than that, like the turkey. Yeah. Grow up or starve, kid. He can't harvest berries. He's not old enough. He literally doesn't have the ability. Attacking immediately. He might just get kidnapped here. Uh oh. Like they can't, can't grow, can't cut. God, I hope we don't have to wake up early. Good luck, kid. Hopefully those traps are enough. Please don't be tough. Nudist, okay. Pyro, no nudist, or uh, no tough, no, another pyro. No nimble, okay. All right. Good thing it was a split group. Maybe. Die, Trev. Oh no. Kid, you gotta go put out that fire. No! <laughs> uh, 
I was trying to wake me up in time, but no pause. Kid, you gotta save me. Kid, stop him. Kid, just hit one hit. Another. Get him, kid. Get him. Stop that pig. Oh my God. Come on, kid. Come on. This is where you earn your way as a vampire. Drop him. Why am I so close to the edge of the map? Kid, come on. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Fall down. How are you not taking much damage? Jesus. Use your little hands, kid. Shove the spear up the pig's butt. Get him. Melee's leveled up twice already. How is this pig still going? Are you on go juice? No, he'd be gone. I don't, don't look at that. It's fine. Don't worry about that. He's going to just outright kill them. Yes! <laughs> Kid, go put out that fire. He, he's not old enough. <laughs> and I can't do it because I'm a vampire. All right, well, we're starting over. Uh, Yeah, probably don't go in there, little guy. Probably don't go in there. He struck. Oh no, Blood Kid! And we roofed everything so it also can't rain on it. Nice. Okay, cool. Hey, did that warg ever. Oh, kid, you need to eat something. Here, eat your kill. Way to go, Cade. Way to go. Can I force you to put out fire? Oh, I could force him to. I just uh, I have to... Yeah, that's not going to happen. Alright. Uh... Oh, uh, Blood Kid's dead. Blood kid's dead. Okay, are you are you ha you got enough food? Yeah, you got enough food. Okay, no, you have to stay here. You have to guard for a little bit because I'm I'm gonna have to come out of this early. Say the blood bag. No, we're starting over from scratch. You guess it was too hot in there. The kid would have died. Oh, he died of nutrition. Actually, he would have died. Uh, Probably the fire, but. Okay, well, um, yeah, we have to wake up early, unfortunately. All right, well. Can you plant the kid? I could. I can't believe he killed him, though, man. We survived. Ready to go, kid. Way to go. This is probably a good time to get just moved into this and say, screw this place. Next raid's going to be just brutal, though. Uh, they were in all those components stuff too. Everything. So, is there a, a vampire? Yeah, probably. Probably. That's this is uh someone we're gonna probably remember. He took my bed. <laughs> he deserves it. Uh, 
On fire. We are a little on fire. Robots shall be the gift of eternal life. Alright, we'll just get moved in over here. And then watch bugs spawn. <laughs> God, I can't believe we are alive. I was already thinking like, all right, well, we get to start over. You know, we're going to get to redo the whole beginning slave thing. So that'll be nice. We we've learned from it. So now. Now we know what to do a little bit, you know. I'm not sure why it's uh, oh, no, it's still a growing one. I'm not sure why it's doing that. How's the wealth level now? <laughs> no, we're back down to 14,000 wealth. From, uh, we've, oh, we've only ever been to 25. Choppy's Breakout. Two turrets, one mortar, and two pigs. Yeah, the next raid's gonna be tiny. Help to watch on YouTube and Twitch? Yes, yes, it does, yeah. Double dipping helps a lot. Uh, yeah, screw, screw this stuff. What a run so far. Seems to be a lot of accidents in this colony. There is... There's been a fair few, yeah. Animal disease plague. Sorry, donkey. I don't, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Starvation on kid. Uh, let's grab some of the berries, I guess. Actually. There. Now you have some raw human meat to eat, kid. Oh. Don't ever say I didn't do anything for you. He's learning stuff, all right. I'm not sure what he's learning, but he's uh he's learning something. Recreation. We're also sick. Yeah, four days on that. Man, oh man. Death rest building can link to multiple coffins. Just one, just one coffin. Multiple death rest things can link, but and once uh, once it's used, it links to that coffin for for good. Learn how to kill. Fire in the mountain would be fun. Yeah, fun, fun. All right. Kid, can you bring your bed up here? Let's get moved in here. Kid rolls passions, melee, brawler, or something. Yeah, I remember, I'm really curious what he rolls. Give him a bow. He would be very unhappy with a bow. He would have a breakdown. He would have a breakdown because we uh we hate ranged manhunter. Oh no. <gasps> well, all right. Nothing we can do. We have no closed area. We have the bedrooms. How many is it? Ah, it's fine. It's just two guinea pigs. We're good. We're good. We have doors up here already. We need to. What's up with Cassandra? I don't know. And the animals today? I don't know. Bad luck, I guess. Oh, man, oh, man. Animal theme day. We're about to have a breakdown, too. Where are you, kid? Is after the kid. Hmm. 
No miserable slaves in colony. Minus two. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Ugh. No priest. We don't even have enough people. I can make... Oh, uh, no. Sunlight sensitivity as well. Yeah, it's all it's all bad. I might have to go try to kill this. This run start today? Yes. <gasps> no, kid. How? Kid. How? How are you surviving all this? I can't wait to see what he rolls. I cannot wait till this kid gets his first growth moment. The present volatile is awful. <laughs> well known vampire hobby. Horseshoes, that's right. Man, it's kind of crazy we had, whatever, seven people. We were getting things work, worked out really quickly and then... Look, he's, draw he's drawing art in the little... in the corner where all the blood is. Kid in black. That's right. No priest. Nothing to do about that. Eat raw food. Nothing to do about that. Eat without table. Yeah, we'll get that one. Saul too. Yeah. That door done. We're getting this area cleaned up. And don't worry about this area anymore. Kid, I really need you to grow up. Just, just one more. Wait, what? How old is he? Oh my god, he's still only six. Oh, of course he's only six. Yeah, we already looked at that. He's trying to become the prime vampire. Persian rug for some reason. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. He's gonna roll pyro. Oh, that would be that would be the worst. Yeah, that would suck. From awful slave owner to caring stepfather. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I know it overwrites, but that would be. That would show us that he's not the chosen one. Not the chosen one. He's just some kid that helped us once. Some kid. Oh. Yes, get in here. Jealous, kind, 15-year-old with white hair, misandrist. Okay, uh, we need to put you to work immediately. I have to worry about your ideology stuff later, but we need to, we got to get some work done. Soon, soon. Bride? No, not quite, not quite. Probably not. Jealous is fine, Miss Andrew's kind. Eh. Eh. I'm Sandra's bride, your ex. <laughs> I mean, unfortunate end doesn't like when someone steals <laughs> the show. No. How does death arrest work? Basically, every so often, I think it's every 30 days, they're going to have to death arrest to refill this meter. If they don't, they get a mood hit and they also get uh, a hit to all their stats. I think it's like 50%, so it's pretty massive. And then if you wake them up early, they also get um, uh, a sickness for like four days, which gives them a mood hit and some some stat hits but you can get a death rest coffin which speeds it up and you can get some attachments to the coffin as well it can speed it up even further or even give you buffs afterwards but. okay that's the basics behind it yeah an outfit brawl brawl 
Okay, so what can you do? Haul and clean. Let's let's clean first. And you gotta help us get things growing here. Also cook. And you can put out fires, nice. Uh, Drake Smith, thank you for the $10 super chats. Thank you, Drake. First stream, love the content, it's helped you learn room worlds. What are your thoughts on a nomadic playthrough? I don't like the nomadic playthroughs. I know some people really enjoy it. Uh, if you're gonna do it, I would probably say to get some mods first to make it better because in the base game, the enemy bases and the world and stuff are just not, there, there's not anything to them really. Unfortunately, they're just, they're, they're like wooden shacks. And once you get to the point where you can take over the wooden shack with 10 people around it, it's just doing the same over and over. Uh, if you're, if you're, if you're raiding along the way. Also like reselling a map every whatever is, is it's okay to you. I don't know. I think it would be better if they overhauled the overworld a little bit. Some people really like the nomadic play style. I don't like it so much. I don't like it all that too much. Pink is uranium, yep. So we're going to remake that in the mountain. Yeah, 11 days. We can't move this one, so we'll have to deconstruct. Uh, was your first time ever doing a super chat, too? Thank you. Other... Yeah, P music is so good. It really sounds like it could just be base game music. Player base of NPCs. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Comfy Cat, 17 months. Let's go, Comfy Cat. Is this run just the plot of Despicable Me? Oh, God. No, not exactly, but it's pretty awful. Things have been really crazy already. Uh, we need to give her some of these clothes instead. Because we want her to have poor mood. The world to make it more fun. I mean, it could be really nice. Yeah, yeah. Even a mod like this with geological landforms, that's how this mountain, this weird mountain exists. Even something like this would make it more interesting because you could settle lots of different kinds of maps and, and you know, have a different base every time. You don't have to move every year. Yeah, there's, there's ways to make it better for sure. Oh, those are, uh, those are, uh you know what? It's fine for now. Yeah. Missed a lot. Oh man, it's been terrible. But hopefully we're starting to get back on track a little bit. We're gonna have death rest again at some point, but the pain thinking the breachers are gonna put a hole through the map. Yeah, they will at some point. We'll have to fill it in. That's gonna be annoying. We could have turned breachers off for this just for the thematics of it, but I didn't I did not. Adventure mode would be cool, yeah. Adventure mode, questing mode, something. Door fortress. Starvation. Uh, okay. Well, let's go hunting. Here we go. We've we've hunted. Hunted. You're a cheer for the kid the whole time. Oh no, I have a breakdown. Better. Yeah, I hope so. I hope we get something like Rimworld Archaeology or Rimworld Mercantile or something. Uh, information about Silver Dagger. An ancient complex nearby. Okay. We need to do both of those. Why do I want slaves in the low mood? This is why. I'll leave it on the screen for a minute. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There are some mods that already make it a little bit better if you if you don't mind doing mods. Uh, base, it's kind of like the OG Oregon Trail game. <laughs> that would be interesting. All right. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully we get done with this breakdown. Murder bot books? No, I don't know what that is. Grim City's out. Here we go. Here we go. The kid. Let's see what he gets. Come on, kid. You saved. He literally saved the run. Ah, 
it wasn't great. He came to us with not much learning. There's still a chance for him, right? There's still a chance for him. So nudist is a positive mood. So there is that one. Super immune, he wouldn't need if he becomes a vampire. So that doesn't really do us any good. But I think we choose nudist. Oh no, we're going to have a seven-year-old kid run around naked. All right. Well, you know, it's a start. He, it's, it's not a guaranteed you're out of the colony. Uh, we wanted him to get tough and something for mood. So it's still, still, still possible. Okay. Still possible. Still possible. Enigma, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Enigma. Also very much appreciated. Uh, much love to Enigma, as always. Thank you, Enigma. He's the chosen one. He's still possibly. I feel like that character fits <laughs> fits for me this run. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you again, Enigma. A crazy one. Yeah, I have some news about edits too. I'll probably announce it on Monday. So edits are going to continue, but it's going to be a little bit different. I need to be over this days, man. I was playing Dr. Them and now I have one as a nudist. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's really crazy. It's going to be a crazy one. It's already been a crazy one. There was a time that we had like seven or eight slaves and this thing was getting getting uh filled out very quickly and now now we're here gotta keep killing things in melee food for now nighttime we get a bonus so we have a melee bonus, both to dodge and to attack at night of our darkness precept. So we will take advantage of that. And all the components that we, oh, we didn't have that many. I mean, we started with like whatever the single phase starts with, like 10. So not a, not a huge deal. We're at Thrumbo. Is going to come stomping in again? How long until we can do joint events again? Uh, nine days. Nine days. So we're going to get that set back up over here instead. Weird having bedrooms. See, I don't play a non-competitive run again. Yeah, I do, I do that every now and then. We'll do a themed run. Like, it's still 500% no pause, right? So it's still challenging, and we almost lost just a minute ago. Uh, it was a really awesome moment, actually, though. <laughs> I'm kind of happy it worked out the way it did. That's a moment in RimWorld that I'll remember forever, for sure. Kids saving me as a pig was kidnapping me during death rest and this six-year-old stabs the pig to death as he's trying to run away to me uh that that's gonna stick with me for sure that's gonna be one of those stories we tell during like the the charity events in november that that people have me tell them room world, room world stories but uh yeah this one is a themed run kind of like the dwarf run or the melee gods so it's an awesome terrible moment yeah and then the kid ate the dead pig guy <laughs> the dead pig man Stream numbers are so high right now. Yeah, that's definitely part of it. So we're I'm going to keep experimenting with edits. They're going to change format a little bit, but I'll announce that on Monday. This will be an edited run, but it's going to be delayed a little bit because of uh, something that the editor is going to try out. Kid, I do not want you kidnapped. Let me move to the mountain. We're working on it right now. Yeah, we're slowly moving things over. So just whenever it's ready. Eat. Out here. Yeah, uh, Colm's definitely been the editor that that made things how I was initially imagining them to be. You know. Fairly pretty plan base. Yeah, especially for my runs. But yeah, we're slowly moving things over. 
I really should have built here in the beginning, but I we had like t we had tons of work, had tons of labor, and then death rest got me. Man, death rest has screwed us over twice already. I really do need to find someone else that's worthy of being a single phage, but we are gonna be a little bit picky, even if it costs us a run. Petrol might be worth repositioning. We will. We'll get that set up too. Yeah, uh, by, the, by the time we do the next death rest, we need that set up. Oh god, we need to blood feed too. Yeah. We don't have a blood bag anymore. Okay. Slowly but surely getting things moved over. Gonna move the lectern over. Machu's rescue. Where do one year old construction engineer? Uh three star, no. Hollowed mountain terrain allow for nature running for child ponds? No. No. I tested, I don't know if we finished testing it. I did test that there there's these tall mushrooms that grow underground that kind of count as trees. I was going to test which run was that? I remember. Maybe the dwarf run. I was gonna test if those counted for the uh, open tree areas for nature running for kids, but I don't know that we ever finished testing it. Uh, yeah, so this map is a modded map. It's called Geological Landforms. It adds lots of uh, lots of cool maps that can't spawn normally. Trina's trying to convert him. Oh, Trina, you better chill out. Better chill out, lady. Have kid kill you. Sailing Breachers, is that an option game or is it a mod? It would, it would have to be a mod. I don't think there's an option even in the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, custom scenario. I don't I don't think so. So we're going to do another initial little trap tunnel and we'll have to rebuild this how we want it later. So I think I'm going to do a shotgun tunnel this way anyway at some point. So just going ahead and mining out a double to have some traps going. Should be fine to start. And we need to get that going pretty soon, actually. The kid can actually be mining now, which is good. But former slave raids us. Oh, man. We're going to need death rest again really soon. She needs... She still got blood loss. Animal event again. Mad raccoons. I'll just take that out myself. I don't want these guys to get injured. Shrina does need a ranged... Oh, there's another one. Hang on, kid. So that's mass animal insanity. That counts as a major event. Santa's all out the animals today. It's kind of frustrating. I mean, right now it's kind of good, I guess, because we don't have the facilities to get other people in really but slave suppression uh we need to blood feed again we are gonna need death rest before too long How much longer until we can do this six days so this is actually supposed to be the ritual room eventually uh, no, that was supposed to be the throne room. This was supposed to be the ritual room. But we can always redo it. We love Kinshi. A lot of people said that, yeah. Ah, that many pawns aren't worth it. I don't know. Because it gives him... He drops down a 50% consciousness, so... If he takes much damage from a raid, he's going to fall over and they're going to kidnap him. Almost happened already. Well, I mean, he was in death arrest when he was taken that time, but. Yeah, we're starting to get things done again. Stream break on Trina. That's good, right? Oh, we need to get her. All right, right, we need to get her. 
ideology changed. She's in that, she's that bad one. But I don't think I have the ability to do that right now. I definitely don't have the ability to do that right now. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Another, so that's a minor event, but still another animal event. Yeah, it sucks we lost those initial ones. This is still intact. Yeah, but I'd have to come over there and, and do the conversion. She actually has a 200% loss factor. Oh, she's kind. She would convert pretty quickly. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We might. We we're probably just gonna have to try it. Can't really get another place going. So I think what we're gonna have to do. Kid, bring that bed over. Along to the rituals. It's only one ritual for a joint event, unfortunately, because I forgot to reset it after we switched from Raider to Tunneler when I was making the ideology on stream a couple weeks ago, but I think it's uh I think it's like five or six well four days, four days. Price of belief, that's good. So that gets her a little bit closer. So we'll actually convert her pretty quickly. Okay, so I mean, that's technically a prison. It's a really large prison. Let's change this to the prison and we'll arrest her. I guess I'll sleep up there temporarily. All oh, right, crap. Oh, I might have a breakdown against you. Kid, go shut that door. Verts. What a mess. Temp prison. Yeah, we could. Careful, kid. Xander is off cooldown, so major events can happen. Sorry, at 3.4. Okay. So tomorrow she's going to be converted and then we can re-enslave and then she will probably be good while we are death resting. A mess though. A mess. So many ads. Oh, I'm used to that happening on Twitch. I've never had anyone say that on YouTube. Or is YouTube adding more ads? Hmm. Are they skippable at least? Yeah, I've actually never had anyone mention that on YouTube. So I'm kind of surprised. Okay, she's converted, so now we need to re-enslave. YouTube's mostly ads at this point. So it's like Twitch now, unfortunately. He's death rest, low and hemogen. I know, I know. Man, death rest is coming. We're gonna need it really soon. Christian, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you're just carrying that some of that with you. Okay. And the combined chats, Twitch and YouTube on the stream, maybe called ad. You're not supposed to do it. See YouTube? Yeah, it's literally one of the things that they, like, 
maybe they won't reinforce it, but when they announced that you were able to do dual streaming, one of the stipulations was that you could not have any other streams chat on your stream at the same time. It's it's in the contract still. I mean, people that don't get punished for it, they, they could, they could. Twitch could definitely do it, but yeah, I don't know. That's the reason though. Over 9,000. Uh, Twitch has a thing like that too. Yeah, Twitch Turbo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll let you let you rest. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Back to broadcast TV, yeah, it really does. With all the different streaming services and paid things and everything else, yeah. Three days, three days. Major break, man, oh man. I have to eat raw meat for right now. Oh, God. And a raid. Okay, raid is at three people. We have a raid down. We're probably dead. Recreation starve. Just recreate. Just recreate. Sanders back off cooldown. We need death rest. Two days on that. Oh, wait. She didn't get fully recruited. That's it's fine. It's fine. She will in the next conversation. We have a breakdown. We're screwed, though. Uh, I need recreation, but... Might have to let them destroy some of this. Uh, we, we have to risk it. I have to kill them. All right, so they're burning the rest of that. They're splitting up. All right, kid. Jesus. Are still sick too, but the raid survived. Doing social, yeah, bad back, old, not a, not vampire quality. <sighs> Needs death rest, so uh, Sanders on cooldown. So if we can get her out of there and then death rest, we should be relatively safe during that. I keep throwing up every time I try to patch up anything. Starvation. Yeah, this we don't really care about. Uh. Flaps. We have to eat. She's starving. Machine, okay.
Keep throwing up. <laughs> Just ate that entire corpse. Nice. Okay. Cure stuff like that back. Uh, I will. It will over time. Yeah, but you know, I. We're just not not exactly what we're looking for yet. I know we're being very particular, but it's it's uh, the themed run, you know. All that out. Okay, she's in. So we switch this back over to for colonists and start death rest. Okay. All right. Ooh. So now we got the death rest going. Hopefully we can just let that completely go for change. And then when he gets up, we'll be able to do the events. That coming in, the kid and her are gonna haul the remainder of our stuff in. Okay. Is there a site beyond seeing for purchase kickback? Uh, the only thing that I have is humble. So if you go to Exhibition Humble, anything you get after you go to the humble link will have my uh, tracking key on it. And it also supports charity that way, and it is a Steam key still. Yeah. So that's the only thing like that. As long as that's the rest, it depends on if you have the building or whatnot. But I think for him, it's gonna take. Maybe like three or four days. I can't remember. I can't remember on just a regular bed. Yeah, let's see what Granny has to say. Santa here. Some of these music songs to play on the radio. Some lyrics. Yeah, I agree. What my dear Granny say? Forget what I said. Listen to Rakes. Uh, three point seven in the current one. Okay, we should see. We gotta get another blood bag. Granny, no. That's the worst thing you could say, Granny. We're getting things rebuilt. Slowly. Slowly. What's going on, Jimmy? What's going on, Jimmy? Sorry, I was paying attention to the cat. Ah, uh, thank you, Deviant Soul. Yeah, that helps out a lot. Can you death death rest sooner? Yeah, yeah. They don't have to be at the meter. Show how the shotgun tunnel layout for a mountain base. If not, I will. Yeah, because I'm gonna use it actually. So I will absolutely be going over that. What happened with Blood Bag Kid? Um. He starved to death while the entire base was on fire and I was unconscious getting kid kidnapped. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Big command mount. It's an old command. Those are old commands from back before Twitch had channel points. It used to be... So I used to have channel points set up on a bot way before Twitch had channel points. And we had little mini games and stuff and you could just delete your your points by feeding them to the pig if you wanted. Okay. Kid's the real hero? Absolutely. Kid save the run. Kid save the run. See so he gets out of his next tier. Hopefully he gets either tough or something melee oriented. Pigs eating thing. That's right, they'll eat your channel points too. For anyone wondering, we have the darkness meme and precept, so that's why I'm not worrying about putting torches or anything. Those are people like the dark. I know we could do dark light torches for the mood buff, but we don't really need it right now. And it's just gonna waste some wood. So I guess it, uh, we went raiders instead of ranchers. So we might do a little of that, but we're we're raiders instead. In fact, we did do one raid already, but it's going to come to a point where we need to do another one pretty soon. He's an anime protagonist, this kid. No. Yeah. 
I guess we'll get all this moved to over time. Hey kid, come grab some of this rice where it goes bad. She's going to just have to do these things for us. For now, that's all we have. A bug's on? Yes, bugs are on. Three points and feed the pig? Yes, yeah, they are. What's the ways? What's the ways? Those are really crazy run, too. What's the be gone message mod? It allows you to right click on the messages that pop up to dismiss them. Because sometimes when you have a lot of pawns, your pawns will be like this, and a message will block the first pawn, and I need to click on them to do something. And it just clicks the message. What did kid get for his first trait? Nudist. <laughs> Nudist. Use your channel points to name the naked kid. The kid does not get a name until he's 13. Two ducks for 16 days. And there's nothing crazy about them. Greedy kind 22. So we definitely need to get to more, more slaves, but the ducks we could just put in a, I don't want to anger the empire. I mean, if we fail, it's just a minus 10. So not a big deal. Yeah, we might as well just try it. All right, Godspeed, ducks. Hope you, hopefully you, hopefully you live. No predators at the moment, so apparently that warg died. Oh, I'm up! I'm up! I need hemogen bad. Godspeed, ducks. We'll be doing the ritual soon too. Uh, I had a breakdown. Great. Great. Oh, the music. Yeah, P Music is really good. So for anyone that doesn't know, P Music is a music mod for RimWorld that adds a bunch of very RimWorld songs. And it's called P Music. That's P is in pterodactyl music because the creator of its name starts with a P. So they named it P Music. So. P is in pterodactyl. If you want to use it. Count Noodle Lots, though. Yeah, I'm actually pretty invested in this kid now, which sounds weird, but this little nudist child that saved my life, for some reason, I, I feel a connection. I, I feel like we have to make him a vampire if he survives the 13. <laughs> he is in Psychic. Sanders, spare some rain. Spare some rain. Yeah, the, the songs are on Spotify as well, or on Bandcamp too. He's literally the savior of the run, yeah. 100% runs dead without him. <laughs> you summoned the rain for me. Thank you. Chess is now a single player game. Oh, I'm so used to playing. We've been playing a lot of roomingship things and community challenge things, which is vanilla, no DLC at all. I'm just no used to like painting to cut trees. I saw the animal tree. Play animal tree. Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Was that yeah yeah we're gonna change it yeah we're just kind of it's gonna be a while for able to use the things as i initially intended for them to do so it's gonna take some time so we're just gonna use them as other things and it'll kind of evolve from there uh dextry thank you for the seven months thank you dex or des rather destry 
why I add an X to your name this month, but I appreciate it. Why don't I have population collapse? Uh, so my pawn had to death rest. And right after he went into death rest, the slaves had a grand, grand slave rebellion and all just left the map. So. Yep. Raid. Oh, God. Right on top of us. And that's already getting to a pretty crazy number. Five of them already. Hey, don't hit that kid. Freaking wasters. Wasters, wasters, wasters. Slaves, though, we gotta be careful. Like slaves give seventy percent raid points, so we're kind of we're kind of well. We do need a builder. I need a blood bag. Actually, we can use these as a blood bag until they die. So go ahead and capture this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kid's fine. He just took some bruises. Look at that. Just one bruise on his leg. It's good for him. We gotta get this all fixed too. This is like, this is just not a, a thing that we should be doing here anymore. Looks like a drone, okay. Hey Trina, can you, uh, can you mine that? Thanks. All right. Impressive, good. Yeah. Yeah, I have to, I have to convert and stuff too, though. But yeah, the thing is, I don't want the extra raid points right now, which this is going to give us some too, but we're going to hopefully make them a little bit worse. Yeah, I know. Let's uh, is it going to kill them? No, it's not. All right, let's get blood from them too. This is going to be our blood bag. New one. And we blood feed on you again. Yeah, come here. Mad rat. That's a, a small event, so. Go kill that though. I don't want it to cause any problems. Where'd he go? Crazy run. Crazy run. Man, there's already been some stories this run. That's what we were kind of after is a crazy themed run with weird stories. And boy, this has some. What mods are being used? They are in the description on YouTube where you can type exclamation mods. Stall peg leg left, stall peg leg right. Two people there. I need to go off on one of those raids, see if we can get some people there. Uh, but let's finish. Got a lot to do with so little people. Did we end up getting that leg done? No. Christ. Lower. They're still going to give some. Yeah. Lend one colonist for 18 days? Yeah, you're out of your mind. Um. Okay. 
Harvest botched. Oh my god, lady. Oh my lord. Serenity theme run, cowboy hats and revolvers only. <laughs> For a rancher run. New engineer, a blood farm, I give them only the death rest gene. Not sure if it would be practical. Maybe, yeah. I really, d I do want to get to genes for the slaves and prisoners and stuff, but we are, we are of course so far away from that at the moment, but eventually, eventually I hope so. We can test that, yeah. That specific one. I don't think we have anyone that can grow the medicine right now. Not that it's going to be done in time anywhere. Yeah, we don't have anyone. Uh, how much other medicine do we have? I think it all... I think it basically all burns. Uh, Minox, thank you for the gift membership. Never seen so many gifted memberships before today. <laughs> so, uh, who'd you hit? Francisco. There's a name I recognize. Confusion on Zebo. Why'd you take my leg? Hang on, we're not done. Come on. Come on. Waiting for the cooldown on uh, Gene or Growth for just spawn right now. Just waiting on pawn right now. Yeah, he has it. He has it ready. All right, let's do the joint events. We have a 50% shot at getting one. Wait till there's more. Uh, love, thank you for the 13 months. A baker's dozen months. Also much appreciated. Thank you again, Minoc. this one so this goes well we got a 50 percent chance Turn to see what's going on yeah we'll get lights in there we'll get dark lights eventually it's just that at the moment uh, staying alive is kind of the kind of beating that out boring oh god zebo come on zebo you don't want this. All right. Yeah, but you know what I want? I want my leg. Well, you're not getting it, so. It up, I guess. Just will not stop botching this stuff. Yeah, it's darkness. The darkness meme. Um, I don't know if they fixed it, but no, it used to actually give you the uh, mood increase, but actual accuracy hit. This is run without cannibalism. Uh, we don't care either way. We don't get a, boon, uh, a bonus for it, but no boon for cannibalism. But we are eating people to stay alive at the moment because that's yeah. that's what options uh, we have. That's the only option we have. I actually have a slightly better shot at that. So hey, we got one. Nice. All right. Ah, uh, we failed it. Failed it. 
Manhunter, Christ, get in. Where are they? Well, that prisoner's probably dead. Uh, we can kill those. Boils my blood when slave Trina botches. <laughs> you want to just grab a snack off her on her way? Uh, Dig, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here, Dig. And Spectra, 21 months. Thank you, Spectra. Thank you, Dig. Very much appreciated, as the thing says. Man, I can't believe we ended up with a boring festival. It sucks. I'm trying to come back out here. I might have to make... <sighs> eh, I can't. Can't be a child, so... I have no one that we can make into the priest right now. No, I don't want you to consume it. Just, just, just move it. Watch from a plane over the Atlantic. Future is now. Go on, Ron. Welcome in. It's a crazy one. Yeah, this has been a crazy one. We're so far behind. If we had never had those, like, six or seven, whatever it was, however many slaves escape, we'd be, be looking all right right now, actually. But we did have those things happen, so... Ugh. On food. Yeah, yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. Is that a clothing guide? I, uh, I did one a long time ago. It's, it's pretty outdated, though. And it was more about how to keep people from getting... Avasia. How to keep people from getting tattered and stuff like that. Tortured artists artist planter beige trees ravaged well well okay all right for prisoner let's make sure we don't go into these places except Asia. Uh, converts. Asia blood bag. Only a blood farm to you. Okay, Cassandra's on cooldown right now. So that's good. See another vampire? We really do. I just haven't found anyone worthy. I mean, our death rest is good right now, so at least we got that going for us, but... Kid's actually getting all of his learning now. Like a Thrall's Walls. <laughs> thrall's Walls. They are starving. Oh, well. Good to go. Sort of. Thank you for hanging out for so long. Wild man. Waster. Okay. How's it going, kid? I know life, life's, is hard. life's hard, but... You know what they say, if you can make it through childhood, you can become a vampire. That's what they say. That's what I was told. Here we are. Okay, we're going to have catharsis. Still eating raw food and all that business but uh we gotta get this done trina i told you that wisdom yeah 
How'd you know it was granny? Does give some granny vibes. Alaska sounds like a blood farm. That's a great typo, yeah. It's going G. GC, welcome in. Uh, there's a granny summon. Let's see what she has to say. I don't want every moment of the stream to just be chicken strips. But I like chicken strips, Granny. I like chicken strips. You don't mind if I just take some of this blood, right? You got plenty of it. You're not really using it. So, I like, not all of it. You don't need all that blood. <laughs> what? what a selfish... What a selfish person, Abasia, who's laying there in a paralytic state to hoard all that blood. Alright, so we need one more peg leg. Can we, can we get that on there yet? Still not. Okay, harvest. Harvest. Okay, let's try this here. Full of blood. Oh, this was unique vanilla, vanilla seed? No, yeah, ge geological land forest. It has a lot of cool maps. We actually did a stream where I went through all of them while setting up this run uh, at the end of a different stream, and we looked at all the maps. There's some really cool ones, so we'll have to use it again on some other runs. All right. We're halfway there. Where'd all the blood? You love Rimworlds. Uh... Oh, okay. I was like, did something kill a duck? No, the ducks are good. Don't worry about the ducks. Ducks are good. Normal ducks. Seven and a half days left. Geological landforms should be put in the base game. Yeah, that would be your... That'd be nice. Adds a lot of flavor. And they, a lot of them, most of them make sense. Well, I mean, they're all like things that really occur, right? So you have like archipelago maps and ravines and things. Yeah, there's some cool ones. Cool ones. And they, they make sense. It's always a fun word. Archipelago. Archipelago. And it develops a theme with quests. There's nothing like that in the game coding. It doesn't work that way. But it always feels like there's things like that going on in the game. So another example we give a lot is it seems like Randy picks a theme. He doesn't. It doesn't work like that. But it always feels like I will get on and it'll be like, oh, this is this is Met Cluster Randy Day, right? And that's just all we'll get. We'll just, Met cluster, met cluster, met cluster. In the next day, or like the next five streams, we won't see another met cluster. So I, it feels like it, you know, as humans, we like to add patterns to things where they don't really exist. But, man, it's pretty crazy sometimes. All right. So they don't have any legs. So now we can switch them over to uh, Hemogen Farm. And we're going to move them up here. So let's change this to for slaves. Uh, for slaves. Oops. Oops. All right. I'll see if getting some things. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Always makes me think of that where I think it was iTunes or something where people were complaining. Like, so they had it where it was a real random shuffle mode. And people were complaining, it's like, man, my my iTunes just keeps playing like the same band. I have like 5,000 songs and I only have five songs from this band. And sometimes it'll play four of them in a row. That's not random. And they kept getting complaints like that. So they had to put in extra rules. So it's like a random plus. <laughs> because yes, randomly, sometimes it will 
play four from the same artist right in a row. Hope you're like, That's not random. No way. No way. All right, so we got our Hemogen, Hemogen farm for ourselves set back up finally. And then Abasia here, we are converting to eventually be another Thrall. Trina is doing some stuff. I think we're going to just uninstall these and bring them in. Okay. Real RNG, yeah. yeah it's like not... Most things don't have real orange in general what i understand all right soon we'll have a table again wow look at us great thumbnail thanks thanks all right let's get this table made get a chair okay an awful table a table nonetheless <laughs> that's fun stuff yeah explode if you eat without a table god that would have been possible on this one starvation so i need to go do some melee hunting out here oh what do you know what do you know what do you know <laughs> How's it going? They turned seven? Yeah, they turned seven and became a nudist. So I have a nude seven-year-old boy running around my house in RimWorld. Uh, all right, let's make some meals. <laughs> in RimWorlds. In RimWorlds. Hey, if you make that a clip, make sure... Make sure you include the interim world part, please. <laughs> Anything besides cryptographic applications, stuff like that. Yeah, like crazy encryption. Yeah, you don't need true RNG randomness for your uh, iTunes playlist or Spotify or something. Yeah, you don't know what I need. <gasps> Young vagabonds, more children. <gasps> oh, God, it's a high mate child. Uh, a dirt mole child. Oh, God. Oh, can't. Can't stop. Can't. Can't stop kidnapping children. Just can't do it. They're strong at melee. Oh, Polo. <laughs> well, I'm glad this is doing well on YouTube Live because this is going to be buried by the algorithm. No one will ever see this. I've been talking about slavery and uh, kidnapping children and naked children and keeping them in closets. And yeah, th this is going to be my worst performing video probably on the YouTube side forever. Enjoy it while you can. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> hey. I'm not going to jump, okay? If he gets away, he gets away. I'm not going to jump. He's he's dead. I have beheaded the child. That sucks. I can't get any skull from him because I beheaded him. <laughs> All right, well. <clears throat> anyway. We'll convert that little guy and uh, we'll see how he grows up. I'm sure, he'll grow up without any <laughs> without any social issues at all. All right, we got a children's barracks going. Great. You think it'd be easier to get the skull if you beheaded them? Yeah. FBI, open up. <laughs> uh. friggin' run. Hey, get that out of there. Trina, go get that. All that out of there, okay? Thanks. Ninety-two percent, man. He's gonna be kind of difficult to... Uh, 
He's a loyalist. That kid is very loyal to his faction. Um. Hmm. 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 Psychic dependency. Yeah, you'll eventually die from it, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, all right. Kid, we might do the not a prison on you. So this isn't really a prison, so you don't want to escape. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because it's going to take a while. So we will bring him here. Let's set that as for prisoner. Set this as for slave. And then we will take... Can you take him to the bed? I gotta be careful on that sentence. I gotta be careful on a lot of these sentences. Sound like a Minecraft villager? Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Minecraft villagers... You take that down an octave and it's it's etiquette a little bit. Be the worst decision or best decision for Rim World. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might be both. Might be both. Be both. Why is that dude living in vomit? This one? Oh, see, you're making a mistake by thinking this is a uh, a person. This is just a, a blood bag creature. This is just something that we own that produces blood. So. Uh, it had these things on it that it tried to balance on, but we didn't know what it was doing, so we cut those off. And now it just lays in there, and uh, we get blood from it. You just put rice in it, and blood comes out. I don't know. It's some kind of Arcotech uh, magic or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, you just, you just shove rice in it, and then blood comes out. Can't explain that. That's how it works. That's how it works. <clears throat> All right. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get a dark torch down finally, so at least we can see something in this friggin' place. All right. Why did you name it? I think that's the brand, Zebo. Yeah. I don't name my milk cartons, you know? So. I think that's just the brand. Rice goes in, blood comes out. Can't explain it. Are you colorblind? No, I'm not colorblind. But a lot of viewers thanked me for using the colorblind stuff. So I was like, ah, I'll keep using it. And it makes it easier to find the minerals and stuff anyway. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me any. Mainly for the viewer's sake, yeah. What's with all the children? Oh, wait, he's 35. <laughs> sorry, sir. Or madam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just assumed when I saw that you were small. Uh, three star? No, no. Three star is a no. Another high mate, though. Flesh of his fallen comrades, what? Usually feed them? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. How's it going, Polo? Look at this huge prison you have. Huge prison, 92%. Okay. Price is a belief? Excellent. Yeah, kid. Forget about your family. Forget about your family. Join us. Alright. Um. Expand this further for now. Warlin Pod. Okay, well. How are you doing, Abasia? 59%. Okay. We have high mate vampires. Uh, it depends on which genes are. Um, I'll show you how it works on this one. So. I click the right thing. Uh, here it is. So. Oh my god, I clicked it wrong again. <laughs> Same with Aish. Alright, so if. They have germline genes. They will keep those ones, and the xeno genes will be overwritten. So it depends on where all the genes are for uh, for the high mate. I'm not sure. I'd have to check a high mate. Um, do we still have that little kid laying around dead somewhere? No. But for instance, you can have someone that has like 
looks like a pig person because it's in their, their germ line, gene line, whatever, and you make them into a vampire. But there are some things that get overridden and some things that don't, depending on if they are uh, germ line or xeno gene or whatever. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Feltzo. Most of our colonists are brainwashed kidnappies. What? No. They want to be here. Oh, shield. You didn't even wake up. And shield. I wish I could sleep like that. You know? Wish I could sleep that way. Sanders going to attack us again soon. Hi, mate. Is, is it all Xeno? Yeah, I wasn't sure. Maybe like their skin color isn't or something. No, their skin color probably is too because they're all the same skin. Yeah. Way to go, kid. Way to go. All right. What's going on here? Blinding light. Yeah. Sad wonder. Oh, Sanders is just coming off cooldown, too. I was just looking at his stuff. No recent conquest minus four. That's going to creep up to minus eight soon. So we are going to want to go back out and do that. Probably after the next Cassandra cycle, we'll do, we'll do that. We're doing shield. You're eating our berries. You're lucky that I'm currently... You harvested berries and ate them? Those were still ours, though. Those were still ours. Hmm. Not only children can profane peace rituals. Uh, they can... They're the only ones that can profane them. But others can profane. Will vampire kid become an adult? He's not a vampire yet. He is eight, so when he gets to ten, he'll roll another another traits, and then at thirteen, he will become a little adult. And if he's, I I think there's no way we don't make him into a vampire if he reaches thirteen. Okay. Thirty cooking area. Uh, yeah. yeah sorry about that. Sorry about that. He's more than earned it. Yeah, he's like a legend. He saved the run single-handedly. For anyone that wasn't here, he literally saved the run entirely. I was being kidnapped during death rest. A pig was carrying me, and he was following him and stabbing him with a spear, and he killed him about right here, dropping me, saving the run, and then he ate the pig's corpse. He is a... Uh, he's a legend. For sure. He also leveled up melee twice while doing it. He was level one in melee and he started stabbing the pig and he's, he's like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, I, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Oh, my grip was a little off. Let me adjust that. Oh, here we go. Now I'm really hurting this freaking guy. Way to go, kid. Way to go. Kid, let's put you on cleaning before hauling. How many hours do I have in Rimworld? Um... Uh, Five and a half thousand ish on Steam, something like that. Maybe a little bit more now. What is death rest? Death rest is something that Sanguifage come with, where they have this death rest meter. It's a it's a gene. It's an archite gene that you can get. It's a biotech thing. That if they don't put themselves into a voluntary coma to recover from death rest, or recover from uh, death rest sickness, I guess, they get a huge stat hit and a mood hit. So It'll be at like minus 50% consciousness and what is it? Minus 10 mood or something crazy. We're stabilizing a little bit. A little bit. Can't wait till kid grows up. Our statues in honor. That would be awesome if we make an art piece and it has the kid on there. Yeah. Need to go in a coffin. Yeah, and not just vampires. You can... You can get the gene on other people if you wanted, but they come with it by default. All right. Cassandra is ready to hit again. It's a split raid. I think I'm going to go fight them while they're split. That'll make it easier. All right, let's go. And the kid, Igor. 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 
sanguine creepy breathing. Uh. Three, a three, okay. <laughs> so crazy. Pyro, sorry. Pyro's a no. What do the other ones have? Trigger happy, annoying voice, uh, annoying voice, dangerous cannibal, fast learner, destruction, three on that one. Let's see, none of those are single phage candidates. Shield better, yeah, uh, low shield will be, or uh, shield belt will be really good when we can get one. Medicine on that guy, too. Should have grabbed some blood off one of those. Actually, kid, you go, you go back. I don't want to risk you. Gotta start protecting our brain, too. It could be scary. All right. So I have contact with the developer. Uh, no, not really. <clears throat> I'm, I'm in the, like, bug reporting developer discord but outside of that no not really okay so Xander off cooldown No, we don't have super fast wound heal wound healing. Things you would want in the game to improve playability. So my wish list items aside from like performance would be a rehaul of factions in the overworld, making it more interesting to go out into the world, more um, more valuable to do so in general making it so factions are more interesting, uh, like uh, faction bases and things like that, and the diplomacy and things like that, more interesting. One of my really big wish list things would be like a RimWorld eras or RimWorld ages. So a lot of games have done that over the years where there's uh, either like a world research or the world or factions kind of grow in, in their research over time and go through different ages. So it'd be kind of cool to have the game be in the Neolithic period for like longer and Maybe factions of that kind have a joint research system separate from the normal research uh, that they advance through. So, for instance, like these tribes out here that are nearby, you, you can you could start as a tribe as well right now, and you have guns within the first like season, right? 
and then the tries around never change either. They can be there for 30 in-game years, and you've gone to space multiple times, and the tribe right next to you that you've traded with all this time, they've not it, they've not increased in technology at all. So some kind of like technology increasing or world research or ages or eras or something like that, like Civilization does, or tons of games, Age of Empires. That'd be really cool. I, I think there could be a lot related around that. But yeah, redoing everything with a world map would be nice. Like, I would love to have automated bases like these things. Like the AI now with ideology, or the whatever you want to call it, uh, but with ideology, they can set up these bases and these bases. Imagine you, you can set things up like this. In fact, we were playing a game called New Cycle. I just gave away 10 copies of New Cycle. I have a guide out on it. You can check New Cycle out on my, my stream or uh, excuse me, on my YouTube if you want. But in New Cycle, you can set little bases up that are autonomous out there and you assign workers and you pay for the workers. And then every season or day or whatever, they just bring stuff to you. But maybe you have to go out and defend them. So like maybe you put up a mining camp and as long as you supply that mining camp with the food or whatever, uh, every season, it's going to bring you a few components or something. But then you might get an alert. It's like, hey, your mining camp is going to be attacked. Do you want to send people in a shuttle to go help? Do you want to just play it as the people and see if you can defend it with just the people that are there? Or do you want to say, oh, well, hands off. Screw that place. Whatever happens, happens. Stuff like that would be really awesome as well. So there, there's just so many things like that with the world map and factions and whatnot that I would uh, I would love to have improved in the game through DLC or through the base game, not just through mods. Air-based research system, that'd be fun. Yeah, so those are kind of my some of my big wish list items for the game. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So um, I if they add multiplayer, which I think is likely, I would be surprised if multiplayer would be the like the expansion. You know? Like maybe it would be part of it, or like an extra free, like a a patch 1.5 addition to it, but I don't think they would sell the full price expansion around multiplayer. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm not the developer, right? So. Enthralls me Mechanator? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not going Mechanator this time either way because we just did a playthrough of it, but yeah, I'm not sure actually. I don't think so, though. Does it start with a W? Oh, God. No. Okay, so we'll wait and see if Cassandra hits us again, and then I guess we need to go raiding. Right, so again, I'm saying without mods, right? DLC or vanilla. No recent conquest. Yeah, we'll get there. Got to arrive for the ducks. Nice. Was our reward for this? Was it another person? He does mix up B, yeah, the muffalo. Freaking muffalo. What am I looking for when checking for candidates? Right now, we mainly want tough pawns with something that adds to mood. That would be ideal. Outside of that, we don't really care. That would be ideal. I don't know if we're going to... Be able to have that or not, but all right. So Lulu, right? Okay. So we have to convert them as well. All right. Let's go. Let's go Lulu. All right, convert. Hopefully it doesn't take you too long. Hey, where's that little kid that we're converting? Oh, he's almost there. He's almost there. Greedy kind. Okay. All right. So how's our death rest looking? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if Cassandra hits us again yet. First live stream, so late for you, though. Yeah, we've been here a while. Firephone packs, base game. Uh, yes. 
And you keep on slaves of the Empire. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll get to that point. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. But yeah, uh, we'll we'll have fire foam packs. Guys, there's an extra ancient danger right here. I thought when we got the ancient danger alert earlier, it was talking about this one. There's one right here. Hmm. Hmm. Game dev, yeah, Tynan's uh, personal character is, what is it? Punk kid and game developer. Ancient still a danger. Ravenously hungry, yeah, all right, sorry. I go melee hunt again. Tree. Welcome to a themed run. Remember the racetrack? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, this kid is converted, so we're actually just going to have him be uh, a colonist. So we have to recruit him, though. We can't just release him because he wasn't a colonist previously. Why do you do dead resting the bed when I build a casket? I I can't really yet. <laughs> there's no there's no benefit from it, but I have uh I don't have components or we had all of our components burn. I know I can get more, we have more around, but I've just been trying to get other things that are more important for now, like more than one meal and some raw food. But yes, I will have caskets, yeah, absolutely. not like uh there's no reason there's no like plan behind it it's just that we got really far behind originally i was waiting until we get moved into the mountain and so i was just like not getting anything other than what we needed to get moved in the mountain and then we got reset to nothing because we got a uh, slave rebellion and then we had to rebuild from that and we're just yeah we're just not very far in let's go jake welcome in Casket wall. It might be, might be. Might be a wall. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. And I really do want to get the rich soil going. We'll, we'll need it in the long term. We don't have anyone that's good at plants still, but we will have some soon. So we are going to get corn planted out there. Hopefully, by the time we need it be done it's crazy that we went from having way too much and then we'll do some rice in these ones out here brightening building i can't do that right now we'll have the rice close by just to get some rich soil rice done It gets burned, it doesn't matter, it's whatever. Version, who is that? That's Beja, okay. They still have a Beja, so right now they're gonna be a uh, human farm as well. going to turn to a vampire family run it went from us being super super evil and torturing everyone to being a friggin daycare pretty quickly so might copy the design style yeah i didn't go in with anything planned we just kind of 
I came up with it today. How do you deal with infestations? I will just literally kill them. They're one of the easiest major events in the game, so I will just... I will just kill them. I'll melee block and I'll kill them. Uh, 1.4 nerfed infestations to where they're half raid points now, so they're... It'll be annoying to clean up afterwards, but we have, uh, I'm leaving at least three places. I probably should do that here too. Uh, but anyway, we're leaving three places in most places for melee blocking. Got nerfed, yeah. So before Biotech came out, when 1.4 hit, they made it so infestations are half raid points. So they cap out at 20 hives now outside of quests. Biggest challenge is being the daycare provider, yeah. Of infestations, uh, I wouldn't mind a small one for food either right now, honestly. It's some kind of spitter bug. No, 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 no. You, you already know my feelings about that. No. No spitters. Uh. We're going to have to go melee hunt some more, as I've been calling it. Uh, I'm not melee hunting a mufflo. We're gonna need a death rest soon too. Looks like Cassandra's going on cooldown. We might want a death rest after I get a few things of meat here. Someone else on their way to it. Unrestrict, unrestrict. Ah, uh, Chinna's on our way to it, okay. I mean, I guess we could try to get a component to get this done. Make it a little bit faster. I need three. Yanzo is getting a component, like, wait, we had a uh, ship crash here, yeah. We break down risk, yeah, don't know it. Ravenously hungry. Where are you, Trina? but just something really quick oh right we don't have power either so I'm not sure if it's going to reduce it that much without power that was another reason. Sure. Anyway, we gotta start it, so. All oh, chrysalis and I phase you want in your world. Yeah. Burrowed chrysalis. Just with Cassie, I don't, I, like when he's up, he, I don't have time to do any of that stuff. We're literally starving it at the moment, so eventually, but. Eventually, we were actually on our way to get geothermal when we had a bunch of people. Is that another Abasia? Dan has a relationship with Trina. Iron Willed is not really something that we want. We're okay if we're dead. Let her, let, we're just going to let them die. Hang on. Oh my god. Death Rats, do you think he's going to develop an abandonment? That's already happened once. Yeah, it's already happened. So. 
It almost helped. It almost happened twice. There we go. Now you should be under 5% mood for pretty much ever. And we can eat him. Here's thing of fish. Yeah. Parts north. Yeah, we have quite a lot of ship parts around. Uh, there's three right here, and I think there's yeah, there's the ones that fell near that wild man. Yeah. Be power for the casket. Yeah, yeah. He's still getting some death rest, but transfer pod. Yeah, it already happened. <laughs> more occurrences. Oh, how many more? I got you. I got you. A McNugget, welcome in. Uh, we could definitely use him as a slave too. It sucks that we have to convert them first, really. I'm not sure she can deal with this right now. Uh, we have too many mouths to feed. I already have. Oh, beige is up. Are we enslaving them? Yes, yes, we are. We need them enslaved. Uh, we have no one else that can do wardening until I get up. Crap. Well, that's not good. I'm probably gonna break out, and I don't want to get up and get the death rest sickness again, but I might have to. How was the rimmings? It's been a crazy day. <laughs> it's been packed with rimworld stories. There's some stories in this that I'll already never forget. Versus organs. We're gonna eat him. That's what we're gonna do. I made I I made Trina kill her own brother and then eat him. The kid, the kid, yeah, I'll never forget the kid. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Crap. Yeah, I might have to get up and get this person enslaved. Like, they'll enslave immediately. I might just have to eat the death rest hit. I don't know. It's going to be minus five moved. Also, it's going to hit our stats. I don't know. Like, I, no one else can be assigned to wardening right now. So, Zebo and Abasia are at risk of dying because of that. Kid's not old enough. He... he <laughs> that's so ridiculous. This kid's only nine years old. I'm sorry. He can't be a warden until he's ten. Oh. So. How do you feel about pigskin after the mechanics to run? <laughs> Friggin' pigs blowing up all my chips. Food and drop it. Well, it's also about actually recruiting them. Uh. <clears throat> all right. Uh, anyone good at... Uh, I'm the only one that can do doctoring too. We're just gonna have to eat this again. That's unfortunate. Yep, yep. No recent conquest. Yeah, yeah. Beja. We're getting recruited. Has had proper death sleep over a year, yep. Well, yeah, we can feed them that way, but he's ready to become a slave now. I want to get them out of there before they end up having a crisis or anything like that. Five and a half hours late. 
Gotta wait till middle school before you can be a warden at a prison. What's wrong with you? Got our food. Just so bad. Low in food. Don't know it. Polo, you're almost done. Kinda. Disease infection. Another one. Well, she really did light him up with those those shots. Auto pistol doing some work. And they're dead. I mean, we kept them in the best possible care we could. Right? So, it's not our fault. <clears throat> yeah. There's nothing that we could have done. Or, okay. Absolutely not our fault. Yeah. We were just trying to sleep. I mean, it's kind of not our fault. If you wouldn't have had that breakdown, if you wouldn't have gone berserk, you'd be alive right now. We have the best facilities we can get on the rim. At least on this one. So, yeah, we're going to have to eat that uh, the debuff for now, and then we'll try to go... <sighs> Let's try to go get some death resting. On the next cooldown. <sighs> Fine. Fine, you know. It's not going to be a lot of heat. We can do a campfire too, but the campfire is going to cause a mood issue, but otherwise our prisoners are going to die. So I think this was Randy, not Cassandra. Man, oh man. Yeah. Teaching a lesson in cooking. Cooking a simple meal. Come out here. Uh, carrying simple meal, cleaning blood. No, come haul potatoes. For eating our potatoes. Christ. <laughs> botch, botch, botch. All the way to the left. It doesn't work like that in room worlds. This is all one room, so no matter where we put them. Oh, you mean for mood? Yeah, maybe. I thought you were meaning for heat. Uh, they actually walk there quite a bit, too. You know, the best place is probably here. What a mess. All right, going to make this... See if we can get any mood increase off this really quick. I don't know, vanilla three. She definitely is the meanest. Yeah. Uh, Ichi, thank you for the 11 months. Here, Ichi. Zare, thank you for the 16. Invert is dazed. Okay. Hey, a fun blood tasting. Uh oh, kid. Kid, you're not going to like wearing clothes, but... Oh, these are all adult things. What happened to the clothing that you came with? I think they burned. Alright, kid, you just stay inside, okay? Can't, can't afford you freezing your little body parts off. Flavor, blood type. Uh, let's go with O positive. Can you make a dark fire brazier? Um, yeah, 
Yeah, we could. I don't know how much how much heat do those produce. I've never used them for heat. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Good. Good eye there. It's Robert. He's fine. He's fine. For some reason, I thought that was a hat. <laughs> All right, uh, that brought back in. Man, this would have been a lot easier as Tumblr. A lot easier as Tumblr. So we need to do a raid soon, but Cassandra is able to hit us again, so we can't really afford to go do that. I gotta get this done sometime as well. So let's go ahead and get this mining. It's already set up. Already set up. Oh, kid's working on some mining. Slowly but similar. Or slowly but surely. Just similar to a torch as far as heat. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Base coming all nicely compared to an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where we would have been if all those slaves hadn't escaped, though. Hey, the cold snap is over. Emergency approach. Oh, we can get some corpses out of this even if it failed. Like, even if we can't help them. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Is that ancient danger? Yeah, there's one right in the middle of our base. Yep. Yeah. And there's one right here, so at least two ancient dangers on this map. It's daytime. I'm probably not gonna be able to help them, so we'll just get the corpses left over from from whatever happens. All right, how close are you, kid? Uh, we're gonna recruit him really soon. Oh, you guys can win this. This is how we're gonna see how bad charge lances are. Oh, there's a Zeus hammer. Bio-coded, of course, but... I don't even think she needed help. She just had the Zeus hammer. You guys are welcome. Yeah. Saved you. Optimus Slow Learner. For now, we're just going to wait on these corpses. We already have to be mouse to feed with what we have. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Let me know if you need me to help you out again. Good. You need sleep? I guess I could probably let you sleep in a actual bed. You probably... would have enough uh, mood hits because I made you kill your brother that it's not going to make it so you're too happy. That way we can get some extra work done with you. Yeah, all right. Here, carry your bed over here. Your new bed. There gonna be more than one ancient danger on the map? Yep. Yep. All right. It's extremely rare. It's based on a couple things. So on the default sizes, on the medium sizes, the most you can have uh, seems seems to be two. And then the higher your map size, the more ancient dangers that can spawn on a single map. And also they are more likely, or I guess you could say they're less likely to appear on maps with less buildable area. So for instance, it's sometimes really hard to find a swamp map that has has them. All right. Yeah, it's not too uncommon. So another kid, another child, let's see if he takes the same path in life as kid. New recruit. He is going to be a dirt. He is a dirt mole. He's not old enough, though. How old are you? Five. Okay. Old snap is over. Yes. Yeah. 
So I got rid of the... Oh, mech cluster with toxic spewer off map. <sighs> I'm like really hating Cassandra at, at the moment. <laughs> Run day 107. <laughs> Uh, we gotta go take care of that. Um, yeah, we have to. A baby dirt mole. Party. Uh, that's good. We'll destroy these after the party's done. Look like at Major Joy. While you had visitors in the same faction of the map, they just picked him up, headed out. <laughs> Finish that party. All right, if this goes well, we have a 50% chance at a joint event. We'll do this first, and then we gotta go get rid of that. Uh, welcome to, yeah, yeah, the problem is uh, I'm the only one that can really do it. Oh, we got a boring one, so a mood hit before we go. You know, man. Kids, can you hold down the fort while I'm gone? Not far away. <sighs> That's Cassandra's major event. Can we get back in two days? Or should we just wait it out? Wait out her cooldown. Uh, Zebo. Yeah, they're not going to feed you while I'm gone either. It saved your life. He'll defend the fort. I'm actually thinking if I go, I take Kid with me because I'm worried about him staying home and dying. <laughs> All right. Go, Kid. It's you and me on the road again. Everyone else, good luck. Hopefully you don't have to rebuild from scratch again. Hopefully the dirt mold child can keep Trina in check. <laughs> Toxic buildup. Yeah, stay inside. Where are you, kid? Sleeping. Get up. Christ's sake. I have a breakdown waiting on this guy. Okay, now we need to wait until it's nighttime, get our move back up. Bad raccoon, so that's a minor event. Okay. Night's coming, in case we have to fight. Kids always need their sleep. Freeze roll, yeah, that will give a plus five. We just, I just need to find a vampire bride. All right, let's go. That sucks, that's actually not a good one at all. Man, that's really tight. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're fine.
What? What the crap? I've never had that happen. We got a center waste pack infestation on the event map. Kid, get up. We got problems. <laughs> Isn't a center um, infestation without pollution like a 0.2% or something? Oh my god. That's three hives. Three hives. I have the jump ability if we need it to get away from them. I have to get this toxic spear done though. <sighs> Jesus. Uh... Is that going to trigger? Yeah, they're they're awake, so we might have to leave the donkey. Uh, I don't know. There's a bug where sometimes it doesn't take it with you still, and sometimes it does. Hopefully, it takes it with us. We'll see. Maybe they fixed it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oof. Mining it maps, it never on a met cluster map. Yeah, I've never had that. Never had that before. Toxic spewer destroyed, waste back infestation. Oh god. How things going over here? You guys you guys alright? Run like that? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, the donkey didn't make it out. Okay. She spawns on those masks. You have seen it a few times. It's crazy. You have no idea how to reproduce it, though. The, jo the donkey joining, not joining sometimes. No idea when it will or won't. Yeah, I, I've definitely had that bug happen a couple times. I'm not sure why it happens or if it's preventable. But ideology, it's in the description on uh, YouTube or you can type exclusion memes. This isn't as eventful as the first... Oh, yeah, the first flu one, but it's close. Yeah, this has been a crazy day on this already. Crazy, crazy. Convert is... Not halfway there. Back home, at least. You've seen them on... Yeah, I've seen them on ancient complexes, like, like triggered ones, yeah. I've never seen one on a spewer map or whatever, like... Yeah. That was pretty crazy. Uh, we're gonna start starving again. That spewer basically took out all of our food supply. A little we did have. Yeah, you're going to learn how to plant crops. Are you almost 10? We need you to... We're tier 6. Okay, it's not too bad. Especially with everything that's been going on. I'm going to have to go melee hunt some more. I might get one of those thrumbo. That's not going to happen. Thrumbo. <laughs> Muffalo. <laughs> yeah, melee hunt a thrumbo. We're not melee gods quite yet.
the rhino, that's probably not a great idea either, but spot meat on that. Trina, you cook. I will butcher this. Uh All right, Ambrosia, Ambrosia, that's pretty far away. I was going to say that might be a good thing for us to grab, but we got to get this done too. There's a lot, there's a lot to do. Kid's five. He's not going to really get anything from his, uh, his, I almost call it level up. Sure, we'll go with that. I didn't get anything from his level up. Kid, we need you to turn 10 though. Uh... So anytime someone says that, I understand that they've not watched any of the themed runs before. <laughs> so, Prison is just the giant hallway, yeah. And the slave quarters. Go on. You don't know why? Welcome in. Uh, maybe we'll get to like six. Six vampires. Things just so good looking. As, it's not as good as the one I've made for some of my guides. I do get comments like that on those guides all the time. Like my anima tree guide. Uh, I made that one with dev mode, of course. Like laid everything out. And people see that one a lot. And they're like, what? Who made this? Who made this for you for this guide? It's like, well, no, I made this myself. Yeah, sure. It's definitely not practical. Yeah, this is very inefficient movement wise. But yeah, you know, that's what this run is. Just for fun. Just for fun. Another Ambrosia. Closer by this time. I could take the children. We could hunt the rhino together. It's fine. Not the kids at all. You don't have to to cap them out. Yeah. If they have a desk connected to three blackboards and they have everything else that they want access to in their, um, in their needs... They'll just cap it on their own. Like you, you can have, you can even put childcare at four, and it'll still do it. Some roller skates these spawns they need. Six vampires, yeah, yeah. If we'll ever get there, this is gonna be a long run, I think. It's only the first day of this. Uh, I need to split the recording as well before it gets too long for the edits. So let me split that. Been meaning to do that more often, but. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Stream will continue. All right, recording is split. We're on to part three as far as the recordings are concerned. Empire State cool over functional, yeah. Is that key for Sutherland? <laughs> the royal ending on this map will be awesome. Uh, yeah, that's one word for it. Word for it. I plan to make more rooms? Yes, eventually. At the moment, we can't really make anything. Everyone that was half decent at mining has died or has ran away. So we currently have uh, like only zero, zero in mining, I think. Dirt Mole there is going to get better at mining when he It's older, but how to deal with infestations? I will melee block them and kill them for vampires in vampire movies. Wow, managing all these slaves, subjects, and blood bags sure is difficult. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I was probably waiting for jeans to re. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that from the melee only run. Cut through there sometimes too. Uh, speaking of melee blocking. No food either. <laughs> Level two in mining, okay.
Psychic Soothe. Okay, that's good. This is all on the males. So, the real colonists. Well, the real colonists and the children. How's Convert doing here? Oh, they're getting pretty close. So, we'll actually have another slave before too long. Okay. Exhaustion. Ah, you'll be fine. Probably be fine. Conversion! Alright, convert has been converted. So now we will enslave them. Alright. A real pain in the neck. <laughs> Hosting aristocrats. Yeah, we don't have the stuff for that yet. Low medicine. Yeah, well, we have no one that can plant it. Slave to children of empire. Yep. Yeah, I gotta go hunt again. Trina, what are you doing? I don't care if you collapse because you're exhausted. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this, uh, we're doing a themed run to try to see how inefficient we can be with everything. Yeah. That's what this run is. The thing is, I was trying to cut a bunch of corners early and I got screwed over and it just set us so far back. But you know what? Thanks to the kid, I'm alive, so. It's all right, it's all right. The kid. Trying to children to vampires, it really depends on what they get, yeah. Where now all the slaves I had go? Into the world. I was, uh, I was in death rest and they had a grand slave rebellion and just headed on out. <laughs> really thinking about killing that mega sloth. Thanos going to come off cooldown soon, though. <laughs> grand death chunk, yeah. <laughs> All right, finally, another slave. All right, let's get you a name. When the pirate stole the dead camel in <laughs> the good guy run. Yeah, that was really weird, too. Yeah. This slave's name is Smiley. All right. Smiley. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes for you. Here, bring your bed over here. Oh, Trina was her default name, too. Yeah, thank you. Got so caught up in everything. General XO. Turn that smile upside down. That's right. They went to a farm up north. They might literally have gone to a farm up north for all I know. Yeah. Actually. I need death rest again, and Cassandra's coming off cooldown. And we did not get this done yet. So we're going to have to wait until after the Cassandra hits. And everyone's starving. Excellent. Fantastic. Argo, be food, be food. That's not food. It's food adjacent. Hmm. Can you slay the kids? Uh, I could, but then how am I going to raise them to be possible vampires? I don't want to be as surprised they spawn at a 
Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to be able to teach the kids so that they can get traits and things. Yeah, we might see them as world pawns for sure. I'm gonna kill that mega sloth. <sighs> gonna be risky. All right, kids, you come with me. You guys get over here. You don't want to don't want any friendly fire, all right? I don't have any friendly fire. We'll eat you instead. All right, Trina is no longer Trina. I gotta remember this. All right, kids, gather on, gather around. Hey, don't attack that child. <gasps> what? Megasloth has a taste for children. Hey, what are you doing? What? You have something else to butcher first? Oh. All right, go back. Lotus run you've ever seen. <laughs> Anyone but kid. Yeah. I was wondering why they were going up there. There's a little work zone there. Okay. All right. Wow, that kid just ate raw mega sloth. Here we go. All right, the kid that saved the run. Growth number two. Come on, come on. Uh, Mascus is okay. Mask is okay. He's still, he's still, it's still a possibility. Actually, I, I think I have to make him no matter what. So, Mascus. And we'll do intellect because if he becomes um, a royal vampire, he's just going to be researching and stuff like that. Uh, crafting, that's slave work. We'll give him melee. Melee. All right. All right. Aesthetic. No, I'm not going to do aesthetic royals this time. Yeah. Aesthetic would be great in a normal run, but I've decided that we're we're not going to cheese royalty with aesthetic. Yeah. So if this is a normal run, I would take aesthetic. Absolutely. But Mascus it is. All right. Anonymous has gifted kid 10 subs. What ending? Royal ending. Uh, Anonymous, thank you. I don't know who you are, but I appreciate the 10 months. And Queen Curiosity, thank you for the 11 months. Almost a full calendar year. Malakar, thank you for the brand new sub as well. Wait, why does it say new, but then it says, oh, you subbed for six months. That's why. <laughs> Mal, thank you for the six months of subs. Queen Curiosity for the 11 months. And Anonymous, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Like, how, how did you subscribe for one month, but six times? How... People were explaining numbers to me. Uh, thank you. Every time you hear this, you think the episode's over. Magic. <laughs> All right, kid. You're going to keep helping with plants. Yeah, you're going to keep doing the same stuff. Okay. The slave body strap block nude. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I'm not sure actually. All right, let's see what Cassandra hits us with this next time. Should be, we need to do a raid after this too. Oh my god, I gotta do death rest and a raid after this. We gotta get this done so at least we can trap people coming in. Lots to do. At least we have some rice coming in. Finally, two. Nudist Mascus. This kid's going places. <laughs> yeah, he's going places. All right. Before it's getting powered, we will eventually. Yeah. It's not a... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should just do it. We can, uh, we can always just change the power later, right? So... It would help. It would speed up the death, death rest pretty substantially. I, I kept trying to wait until we had better options, but I hate using the wood fire generator. But, uh, yeah, all right. Is 
The slain body strap does not count as clothing for duty checks. Uh, the collar. Oh, the sla slave body strap does. The collar does not. Okay. Another weird thing is different things have a check for uh, the nudist ideology and for nudity. They're separate. The trait and the the meme are, are different. Second page was like real empires. Disappointed. I know what you mean, but it's just funny. Real vampires. <laughs> Man, I wish this single phage was like them vampires I know in real life. Where, where are you tuned in from, failed AI? Forks? You in Forks at the moment? Tuned in from Washington State? Uh, Tim, thank you for the five gifts, though. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Amen, brother. No, I know what you mean, though. I'm just joking, of course. Tim, thank you for the gift subs. Very much appreciated again. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, all right. Sandra, I want you to send stuff so I know what's going on here. Gotta know what's going on. Live in Staten Island. Vampire lore. Rip Donkey, maybe, maybe. He survived a couple other diseases. We could always do this. Animals have a extra immunity boost for disease. So just tinning it like that a couple times might be enough. How many slaves are you expecting to manage late game? Yes. I should have named the colony Hot Topic. <laughs> the donkey's still alive. Yeah. Yeah, donkey's still with us. Will this base be pretty? Yes, I think so. John's many friends, 57 year old, two raids. I can't handle the two raids right now, especially with Cassandra about to oh, cool down. She's cooking up something again. Yeah, I'm sure she is. Hey, kid, let's mine this first, okay? Okay. John's friends are mean. John isn't a kid. <laughs> that's what. That's the real reason we didn't take him. <laughs> Yeah, way to go, Smiley. Way to go. Death rest, minus 12, blinding light, sunlight sensitivity. Let's uh, let's keep you in for a little while then. Okay. I'm going to Cassandra off cooldown. We want to keep the kids inside right now too. Any predictions for the new DLC? I told people that I should do a video where I just name off RimWorld ideas over and over with names and then publish it. And then when the DLC, if a DLC is announced, when it's announced, go in and clip it down. <laughs> he predicted it. Uh, I'm going to go with RimWorld Archaeology. I said that a couple weeks ago, too, and people were like, oh, he knows. And then, you know, the developers are watching. They're like, we have to change the name. I guess biotech. I guess biotech. I didn't even know I was guessing it, but someone found the the place on YouTube where like years ago I accidentally said biotech out of I don't remember what I was trying to talk about, but I said biotech. And someone found it, it was like oh, Ribbler rolled. Let's start with a W. Oh, I better not start with a M or a W. Better not, or else I'll be slightly unhappy, but still play it for thousands of hours anyway. Tynan. I'm real to wondering. How long until random open space mountain? It probably isn't going to happen with this mod. So these are generally solid mountains. Is there any DLC coming? We can only speculate. That's a pretty good speculation that yes, but we don't know. Is it really Tynan? No. <laughs> Workiology. He's a prophet. Add book. Okay. So that is a minor event. It's not one of her major major ones. Solar flare doesn't count either. Yeah, just one buck, so that's a minor event. Whoa! 
forgot you guys had guns. Imagine if one of those shots had friendly fired me in the back of the head. Killed me. Destroyed my brain. <laughs> I did get hit in the arm by it. Man, that would have been a sucky ending to this stream day. I would have I would have just restarted tomorrow if that had happened, I guess. Wow, child's romper that he was wearing deteriorated into nothing. He really got full use out of that garment. Capture people and Pokeballs in RimWorld. There's a Pokemon RimWorld mod. I've never used it, but another is one. Wonderlust. RimWorld Wonderlust. Maybe. I'm kind of surprised we haven't had insects yet. We should be able to take care of them at this stage. It would, like I said, half rate points now. Met Cluster. An EMI. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is so stupid. Are you guys controlling this? Hey, Adam, build a casket and then go ahead and get some power to it so your death resting is a little bit sooner. And then right after I get it done, drop an EMI. Uh, I have no way to deal with this at the moment. We don't even have like a clever way to deal with it. When does this wake up? 4.4 days. Uh. I can take it. I can get rid of it. Death rest now, though. We can do it. <clears throat> Seems are bottom, yeah. We don't have any MP. But, and this is going to wake them up immediately. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is destroy this wall, pull the pikeman around, solo it, then destroy this, and then use my jump skill to jump out of the way before the auto-charge turret shoots me in the brain and kills me. Oh yeah, my, my pleasure to fail, AI. Thank you for watching on there. It's the most accurate cluster location too. Uh, no, don't worry. We don't have any traitors because everyone hates us. In the early game, I kidnapped a lot of people and it made everyone hate us. And then those people ended up escaping anyway, so. Smoke launchers? No. <laughs> As if we could be that far along. We're only 120 days in. This We've only been here for two years. You expect us to have things like uh, anything other than like eight meals and five rice? Come on. <laughs> don't, be, don't be silly. <laughs> no, we don't have anything like that, unfortunately. Sorry to catch it live. Oh my god. I if you yeah, if you if you're just getting here, I highly suggest watching from the beginning on the VOD on YouTube when you can. It's live right now, actually, on YouTube, so the, you can go to the VOD the beginning anytime, even now. But there's already Rimworld stories that have happened during this that I'll remember forever. You got one for Raider? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just joking with you, but no, I don't have anything like that, unfortunately. This is map vanilla. No, this is called geological landforms. Geological landforms. And this map is a low a lone mountain. Or lonely mountain, something like that. We have beds, yeah. Took me like four years to get beds in the first fluid ideology run, so. You wish I'd play like this on SDM? See, I get all my bad luck out of the way during these uh, stickers so that I can I can do well during the Rimmonship stuff. <laughs> We're two years in. We're two years in. And we dug this out mostly like 15 days in. But... What? 42%. Yeah, yeah. Hey kid, we need components. Oh, right. You're not allowed to go out there. Uh, hey Smiley. We need components. Alpha Biomes is another good one. Oh crap, he's too happy. I know you might look at this and say... 
No way he's too happy. But he is. He's way too happy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, now, now we're talking. Hey, stop having a major breakdown. We want you to have extreme breakdowns instead. You're way too happy. You're doing ancient danger scouting? Really? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I haven't done that. Have you found anything good? Uh, Edarb? Why Darb? Thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Darb. Appreciate it. Oh, we do have the Royal Tribute Collector. That's... That is something that we have. Uh, or who we have that we're friends with. I should say. Hey, what are you doing, Smiley? Working in the fields? No, you will mine this until you fall over. Watch it on YouTube for a long time? Thank you. One. Smiley. Random furniture. Hey! What the crap? I saw that. Come here and beat up on my casket while I'm unconscious. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think we're gonna take his tongue. He found one or two okay ones. Are they close by? His name is not fitting. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Thirty-seven percent. Okay. Time to reopen the tongue factory. <gasps> Zebo, I forgot. I'm the only one that could take care of you. Wait. That's not true. Kid's old enough to give, uh, to be a warden now. Crap. Oh, well. Well, I have to find another blood farm. A 14-year-old wreckage explorer. Two stars. Can't right now. Sorry. Kid's moving up in the world. 10 years old. Finally a warden. The trading spot mod. Yeah. yeah. Those are really strong. Yeah, I think we're going to take Smiley's tongue. After we see if Cassandra hits us a second. Well, it looks like well, she still could. Ninety percent. Then it'll be Operation Don't Get Shot in the Brain by a Turret. Why should I risk my brain? When we have General Exo and Smiley, come to think of it. I will melee kill the pikemen, and then they can take out the EMI. Yeah. Now we're thinking like a royal. Why risk my brain? Lucky they can't build silver bullets. <laughs> my brain doesn't require silver bullet bullet to uh, destroy, unfortunately. Alright, we're awake! Wait. Uh, okay. So let's go take care of the pikemen. Does the EMI right, right? So we, we were in a safe spot. Okay. Oh, four X could could have been a problem there, but yeah. Uh, all right. So those are just gonna stay there, and hopefully the next raid will take care of it. We shall see. Okay, work zone. Uh, that's fine. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. All right. 
the minimum range. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah. There's no, there's no reason to risk it with anyone, honestly. Smiley, I'm going to take your tongue, though. Because I need you to be more unhappy. So let's go ahead and remove your tongue, all right? We'll just do that next time you're laying down. I don't care where you are. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. This looks like a great place to do surgery. What did you use for this map? Geological landforms. Uh, this is a lone mountain or lonely mountain map with geological landforms. All right, his tongue's gone. Excellent. Why not kidney? Because I don't... Yeah, I don't want him to lose any function that could cause him not to work as much. Why does Smiley deserve pain? Uh, he's a slave. Yeah. That's why. Why medic... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't let you. <laughs> why meds? Why not just pull it out? Yeah, it doesn't let you. Sunlight sensitivity, uh, yeah. Well, you want to run wild. That's why are you run right now. You also punch this bed, that's true. Let us not forget that. Alright, we'll get the accelerator for next time. There we go. Okay. Drop them close enough. Experiment when they grow up. The kid, no. He's just the kid. So we need to go on a raid soon. We have a minus eight, I think. Uh, We don't... Ha no, that counted as a raid? When we went out and did the, the mech cluster? It must have, right? Yeah, recent conquest too. Interesting. So we don't have to go do that, but we do have food coming in now. Yeah, it's a plus two, so it must have counted the smoke spear that spawned away as a as a conquest. So works for me. All right. Good. Good. Hmm. actually have food coming in. I don't feel comfortable opening Ancient Dangers yet. Oh, we actually didn't eat all the food that time. Ah, oh, right. We don't we don't have as many people because that guy, the blood bag died. So we need a new way to get blood. We're going to have to just do blood feeding on these guys in the meantime. Okay. On base shape so far. Thing off map except for settling a new tile counts. Yeah. Yeah, I, did, I, I don't know. I just didn't think, for some reason, I didn't think it would uh, count those, but it makes sense. It is a conquest, right? We did win. We did defeat that. So, I don't need to be on these plants anymore. We can go back to getting some research done. We really need to get the electricity going. Uh, better electricity. So, we're going to switch... Research up to a one. Teaching the child at the moment. All oh, kid is in bed. Claudia. No, we were talking about that earlier, yeah. Interview with a vampire. Dull. Okay. Let's have to... Well, it's gotta be for now. Pretty abrasive, neurotic, blonde named Alusta. How long are you gonna take... How long are you gonna take getting some maps? I don't know what you mean. Concrete time? No, I'm not gonna do concrete in this one. Oh, wrong chat. Yeah, no wonder I didn't know what you meant. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. This is the map we're going to be on. I don't know what you're talking about. Any flashbacks to the jungle run? Yeah. yeah. Felt like that. I can't believe we didn't die. It's so crazy. So crazy. But the kid saved us. And we'll never forget it. Never forget it. We'll probably make him a vampire because of it. I really wasn't going to, but I'm hoping he rolls tough when he hits 13. And then he'll actually be a really good one. Nudist for the mood, maskist for the mood, and then tough for the melee fighting. That would be ideal. He's a hero and he deserves it. Yeah, I, I think I have to turn him into a vampire regardless, honestly. But I really hope he does roll tough. From World Sports, the new DLC. <laughs> it's gonna be announced tomorrow. During the, during the superb owl day, my organ was harvested. Yeah, I know. All right, almost time to do this. Pawn bowling. Sinking fuel made from wood power. It is, yep. It's a lot more efficient. Yep. It just takes more labor, but chem fuel made from wood is more efficient than using a wood generator by quite a bit. I think it ends up being like... I used to know the numbers, but I think a wood generator is like 20 wood a day, and a chem fuel generator is 6 wood a day, I think. Like, it's a, it's a pretty big difference, but it just takes more work, right? You have to actually make the wood into the chem fuel. No priest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there news about DLC yet? No, just speculation only. Kids can't be priests. Nope. Infestation. This will be a good indicator of how many of your raid points are at, we're at. Oh yeah, it's like nothing. It's so crazy. I'm not even sure why they nerfed it so much. Like, were, were insects really that terrible for people? I guess so. They were complaining about it a lot, but it's really insane. So that's uh, 1.4 nerf that. So they're half raid points these days. All right, a major event. Free food, some free jelly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, enter off cooldown. I get way less jelly because of it too, yeah. You always have problems with them, but never optimize your base. Yeah, I mean, once you learn melee blocking to make sure you have, like, these three wide places, they're, they're nothing, yeah. Should have made three-fourths three points to two-four. Sub half, yeah. Hated them, you'd always just turn them off. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's whatever. It just is kind of a... It's an interesting thing that it went from being, like, the deterrent from making mountain bases to being like, oh! Free event. Infestations got nerfed. Yeah, they cut the, the raid points of infestations in half when 1.4 came out. So, not even with DLC, but just 1.4. So, vanilla has them cut in half. Uh, the maximum number of hives you can get outside of quests at at raid point cap of 10,000 is 20 hives now. It used to be 40. All right, child came to us with very little learning and we said, hey, maybe, maybe they can also grow and join the colony. Are bugs off? Uh, let me check, let me check. Yeah, they're off now. Ignore that insect meat. All right, child, let's see what you got. Ah. <sighs> 
So here, here's an interesting conundrum. <laughs> if Dirt Mole Kid here ends up becoming Singwaphage material, we want Steadfast. If not, we want Great Memory. Great Memory is good either way. So I think I have to pick Great Memory because it's good whether he becomes a Singwaphage or a Slave when he's 13. So we'll, we'll pick Great Memory. Those That's good rolls, though, for him not having... Like any learning when he got to us. All right. And now he's good at mining. So. You've been upgraded to dirt child. Yeah, there we go. Now, now we'll get some stuff done. Move all melee shooters behind. Three wide for shooters and one blocker. No, it's the three blockers. Yeah. So you put the three melee here, and then you have the shooters behind it. And I should be able to show that in more detail once we get further along and have more people really show how it pans out, you know? But Yeah, there you go, dirt child. Yeah, show them how it's done. Uh, we need to build this. Miner, miner. The dirt children yearn for the mines. What kind of stone do we have on this map? We do have some marble. Slate in here. We'll just do like 200 or something. For now. When we do, when we do start doing it anyway. All right, let's see if we finally get a join from this. We have not gotten a single one. Here we go. 50% if it goes well. Bloodletting has begun. Uh, unforgettable and still not one. Wow. Uh, what's with the colorful walls? Those are, that's steel. It's colorblind minerals. Or lime minerals. But yeah, this is steel that we just haven't mined yet. This, these are components. Oh, wow, we actually have surplus food. Okay. Infestation. Okay, there's the raid. The first raid in quite a while. Not preemptively. So we're going to send these after... They might burn this if I send them after the mech cluster, but I think that's what we're going to do. They also might come after the beds. We might want to bring these in. So some of them will probably come start burning this, which is not good, actually. But I'm hoping most will go after the turrets first. Maybe that'll take care of a few of them. See what happens here. Back to children. There we go. There's some fighting the turrets. Turret's not doing super great. What do we have over here?
Oh, I don't have a lot of hemogen. I gotta be careful. Oh, there's fire out there. Right. Get back, get back, get back. Uh, I was hoping for Cassandra Rain, but at least we got our food under control right now anyway, so. Gotta remember that our person will actually run away from fire. Alright, so Mech Cluster is done, and we have uh, Cassandra on cooldown. So now we want to go do a raiding run. If there is a place to do one. There is one over here. Nope. Never mind, that's, uh... Yeah, that's far away. Uh, that sucks. Um, we could go try to get the ancient complex done. Really risky too, though. Cabin fever, yeah, yeah. Usually up early enough to catch stream. Thanks for the hours, entertainment. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for watching. That sucks that this is all gonna get burned before she puts rain, but it's whatever. At least we had extra food for a change. I am thinking about looking at the ancient dangers. I have to start a raid. Don't need to finish it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. Oh no, our donkey caught on fire. Oh wait, that's not our donkey. Is it? No, it is our donkey. <laughs> Plans for new DLC? I don't know. Yeah, we we speculate. Yes, but we don't know. We can only speculate. More compact machinery. Ammo trees don't burn. Ammo trees do not burn. No. Hmm. Let's get this done. Get some traps in there so we can have at least a little bit extra defense. The Lynx and Val. Three star quest. Pack of 22 manhunting Lynx. We could actually accept that. But is Val actually going to get into the base? Sorry, Val. We, we got some other things we got to do right now. We got some other things we got to do. They didn't burn my corn? No, apparently not. <laughs> they burned all the other crops and burned the rest of this, all of this building over here, but left the corn alone. Left alone. What's the, rec the recent speculation? So this is around the same number of months between all the other DLCs, and recently they've been uploading encrypted files on the back end on Steam, which could be nothing. It could be patch stuff, it could be Unity stuff, it could be lots of things, but the last time they uploaded things on the back end like that was right before Biotech, so it is it is curious, right? But again, it could just be nothing. We don't we don't know. What is the better workbench management mod? It allows you to copy entire workbenches to the other one. It does two things, so mainly. It has this button so you can switch to drop on floor without having to go anywhere. It lets you reorder them just by dragging here instead of hitting the up and down button. And then it allows you to copy the entire bench to another bench. It gives you better workbench management, obviously. I have to get that one. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. You can tell her yet? Oh, we're not fluid ideology. So no, we can we can never change this. Uh, Tunnler would have made this pretty easy, much much easier, which is why main reason I I didn't do it. I initially had it. I initially had like production specialists, and I was like, ah, we're not gonna min max very much in this run. Let's go with the theme. Not with the min max. Like I'm, I could do the caravan hauling trick here too, but. Ah, well. 
Maybe they'll expand on tribal. I, yeah, I don't know. The only speculation as far as, the only thing that we know that they add for DLC stuff, there's a couple things that we can think of. One, they always like to add things that adds natural stories to the game, like families, whatever. So, uh, Tynan says the game's a story generator. We've seen that here today. So they're liable to add things the game is missing that could add to storylines. So the other thing is that we can look... RimWorld was a Kickstarter game 11 years ago. RimWorld came out 10 years ago. 11 years ago, ago it was on Kickstarter. What did the Kickstarter not finish? And the main thing that they get, didn't get completely fleshed out and finished in the Kickstarter is archaeology. So that's another thing we can look at. Like maybe it's RimWorld archaeology. But really, it's all just speculation. Faction story stuff. Even if it's the side of the map your caravans enter the base on, nope. Nope, not without mods, you can't, unfortunately. Oh, food poisoning, okay. Almost left unburied. Oh, that's that kid. Right. Grab it then. We buried them in order to have a target for uh, that breakdown, actually. Yeah. Now she's on the table. Okay. Why don't you do whole world pop? I don't know what you mean. Whole world pop? See, yeah, okay, uh, Archaeology adding stories, yeah, like, yeah. Some of the stuff that was going to be archaeology is already in the game, like the ancient complexes and stuff, but... You can't play without Hauling Mod and Common Sense Mod. But no blood poisoning. 100% population. This is max population, so I don't know what you mean. You mean world size? There's no reason to play on 100. I mean, do it if you want, but it just makes the world load slower. I'm not going to see 99.999% of the world no matter what. So, it doesn't, it doesn't impact my game at all any other way. So, saying it's 100% just is going to make the world load slower. But yeah, we have max population already. That's why there's so many settlements near us. And a faction bases. Yeah, we have that max. Yeah, that's why I'm asking what are they talking about. Better enemy AI. Hey, geothermal. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just run this in here and we need to get to the dance party so we have some extra chance at pawns finally. And even if the... Even... Even if they burn the wire for now, it's, it's still going to be worth it. Get these done. That was it. Fair plan. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no reason to. What's the, what's the problem? I mean, do it if you want to, but it just makes the game load slower. And you're not going to see... You're not going to go to... 99.9% .9 of the planet. So what? I mean, I will never go anywhere other than right here. So why do I care if there's a settlement over here that the game has to generate? I'm just going to make my game load slower, you know? No reason to. All right. We need to do manual blood feeding now. Yeah. Need to get another blood bag here. Add the more slavery mod to this run. Uh, yes, it's made it much harder. So basically we have to torture the slaves and keep them. You have to keep them below 5% or else they can escape, break out. They can have breakdowns and stuff. It's made it a lot more difficult. So it's for the theme of the run yet. Yeah. Just for the theme. Yeah, it's actually caused a lot of problems. <laughs> it's caused a lot of stories. Oh, 
Oh, you saw the planet and thought for a second we had to start over? No, definitely not. Way to go, dear child. Where to go? Way to go. Roof trap over here, yeah. So they're probably not getting to those. Do that. A live stream? Yeah, pretty late into it though. But yeah, thank you for coming in. The peasants are revolting. The peasants are revolting. That's why I'm like taking tongues and stuff. This is like advanced war crimes run. Pretty much. Yeah, see, General's mood got too high. Their mood got to 14%. So because of the festival, we gotta make sure that we don't allow the we don't allow them in there. Am I a vampire? Yes. Gotta make sure we don't allow them in the festival anymore. Uh, so we got the power done. We'll be able to do more events and things now. Hmm. We're quite a ways off from doing hydroponics, but I don't know. Go ahead and getting that. Yeah, we can go ahead and knock that out. Hydroponics and batteries. And even just getting a few of them so we don't have to go out there as much anymore. The long run will be really good. There's a lot of stuff we need to do. Very little, very little has been done. Foam, yeah, I just, I can't really afford the stuff to build the foam poppers at the moment anyway. Run around and getting some stuff done. I'm still here, I'm still here. 10 snipers, two raids of roughly 10 snipers, three star for another high mate child. Yeah, if that was a one star, I'd probably take it. I sh this should be back to researching now, right? Yeah. All right. What's up with Xander Children's Day? I have no idea. Hey, look at all that gold. Yeah, let's wait on that. <laughs> it's like the third high mate child we've seen. That's a big vein of gold. Oh, Zena, welcome in. Big gold vein. A rat self-tamed. And a gold meteorite. God. Well, I mean, when we need gold for advanced components later on, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get it. Not doing stone blocks yet. Oh, uh, it's because he's broken down, yeah. That's what was going on. And Smiley wasn't set. That's what was going on. Yeah, and if if we end up having the cable burn over and over, it's fine for now. I don't, I don't care. We just need to get this started at least. How to get the implant genes to work with the non-single phase use. Your custom genotype with it aren't able to actually implant the genes like in some of your previous playthroughs. I explained it at the beginning of the Melee Gods run. You can check out the Melee Gods VODs for a bigger explanation. But are you turning on heritable or not on your, on your genes? I'm guessing you have the wrong setting on that. So for the, the implant to work, you got to make sure that setting is also correct. So when you set up, I can't show it at the moment. But yeah, if you go to the beginning of that one, you'll see where I have it set up. There's a check mark for heritable versus not. And one of those allows for the genes to be fully implanted without restriction. And one doesn't. Everybody temperature is are still regarded as fertilized. Yeah, if you want to actually see what I'm talking about, if you have trouble finding it, just uh, check out the 
Melee gods, melee gods. Yeah, I know it increases them too, yeah. I should probably just get rid of that. Because they're walking through there a lot. In fact, maybe we'll just have only the dark ones at the moment. In the bedrooms. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a mod or something that fixes the egg behavior. I wouldn't doubt it, but I don't know. Yeah, but there's literally a checkbox for the for it on the third child doing what he loves best. Yeah. He is. Oh crap. We used up a lot of wood earlier when we had all those fires going. We still don't have anyone else doing construction, so I'm going to have to do it. build things. I'm supposed to be sitting at my desk and researching and making art and slaves are supposed to be doing these things for us. Oh crap. God, we'd be at... How many did we actually have escape? Like six? So we'd be over ten pawns at the moment. Hey, immediately, unusually clever, right on top of us. Three groups. Okay. We didn't get this done yet either. We're gonna have some stuff burned again. Plane cutter, I think, is construction. Might be construction plants, actually. Hey, no. I didn't realize I was so close to being downed. Alb killed dirt child. Uh, get out, kid. Get out. Who is this person? <laughs> Why are you so strong? <laughs> Alright, kid. <clears throat> Lang, thank you for the raid. Thank you, Lang. Okay, they're they're down. Oof. Man, that tough pawn was doing some work. Doing some work. Uh kid, are you able to tend to smiley? Yeah. You are. Dirt child is dead. That sucks. Dirt child is just mine so much. Uh um uh, mine can die if his brain's destroyed. Arrest the tough one. He they're dead. They're dead. Can arrest them, they're dead. Alright, I'm up. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
the head, yeah. Well, that sucks, dirt child. They punched your entire torso off. That does happen, you know. That's uh, that's unfortunate. You had a promising life ahead of you, dirt child. But uh, anyway, we'll bear we'll bury you in uh, in our secret sauce, and you will live on inside of our hearts and stomachs. All right. Rain to 12 hours. <laughs> oh, we could get a eulogy done. They were a part of our ideology. Uh, well, they've already been chopped up, so... Guess that's not happening. They're a little chopped up. A little chopped up. Coming to the hearts. Man, with that thing, that guy downed us pretty quickly. Tough sanguine, but we still got uh, tough, robust, and we still got down by that. The Equa. No, that was the one beating us with human fists. Eulogy dinner, more like. Where are you, General? There you go. Oof. Melee guy in disguise? I think so. Yeah, Dirt Child made this. Did. My friend Dirt Child died. Uh, no recent conquest. <laughs> That's also weighing on your mind. Oh my god, this child that I taught. He can't, I saved his life. Actually, I kidnapped him, but that's the side effect. Anyway, I had raised him since he was five years old. But also, I just really need to go conquer. I need to go and kill other strangers. It's not enough. Be sad, dirt child. I must find other reasons to be unhappy. Uh, it's what dirt child would have wanted. Centipede in disguise. Yeah, I don't know. That one was like, I mean, they were tough as well. I don't. I didn't see what weapon that one had. They had this club. They were just beating us to death with a wooden club. <laughs> Man, it's uh, it's unfortunate. So that every time someone dies, that's unfortunate. <laughs> like a little bit more than unfortunate. Minus 10 from serious pain. Oh, come on. Come on. It's not that bad. At least they didn't have logs. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget. Scythers I killed with a log. He was built different. Built different. Uh, there's Dirt Child's bed. How old are you, kid? 11. Sad. Kid's okay. Yeah, kid only got some, uh, some bruises. But, you know, same thing. Torso is getting... And actually, and this has already healed some. Kid might have been kind of close to dying, too. Yeah. Was Dirt Child the one that saved the run? No, that's Kid. Kid's the one that saved the run. Dirt Child helped us mine some more stuff, but Kid is the savior. One colonist for 11 days. No, I can't do that. Dirt Child had a bright future. Kid is pretty clutch, yeah. Dirt child saved kid, sacrificed himself to save kid. I have a lot of experience in strategy games, but I am new to Rimworld. Is there a little starting challenge to learn a lot about the game? 
Uh, there's so much to learn in the game. So, yeah, I, I just... Have you played it all, like, any yet? I would just say play vanilla to start with, and then uh, you can up the difficulty. There's tons of settings in the in the base game to increase difficulty, add challenge, do themed runs without adding mods or even DLC for that matter. And then when you run into something where you're like, man, I wish this game had X or Y or Z or whatever, then look at the DLC or look at the uh, look at mods. Like if you're if you're playing this, you're like, man, I wish there was just a zone just to clean this instead of having it have to be home zone to clean it. Guess what? There's a mod for that. You can go grab the mod if, if that's something you really want. That's usually my suggestions when people are like, I'm going to start playing RimWorld for the first time. Which mod should I download? It's like, none. <laughs> Just try out the game. And then when you feel like the game is missing something you wish was in it, then go grab a mod for that thing. Because I'm sure that, I'm sure it exists. Aside from P music, yeah, <laughs> good point. Aside from P music, yeah, I, that's the one. Get P music. Yeah, 35 hours in a run, starting to lose it. Yeah, that extra human meat, that's fine. Okay. So I'll help out a little bit on the next one. We gotta get a better setup done. What are we doing? Grab this after. Uh, still can't believe we haven't got a single joint event from this, but we're going to get to this stuff, which will help. Again, this is probably going to initially get burned. It's all right. I assume you're done for today. Whenever, you know, just let me know. Is there uh, something you had in mind? We'll just have to fix the stuff. Better later. We just need something right now. Uh, we don't have we don't have dirt child to mine that anymore. I just realized. He would have gone through there immediately. 2 a.m. No. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, oh, the second difficulty. Oh, good. Oh, you're probably trying to meet it first. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Just run this up like this. I normally wouldn't do that, but. Miss Dirtchild. Dirtchild was an uh, integral part of this colony. But now he's. eaten. Gone. In the waste system. Uh, I was going to have him mine some more components before he died. Sad. I'm going to miss that sweet little Dirtchild. I need more pawns again. Now he's an internal part of the colony instead of yeah, integral. Yeah, to the other side, make it even. Yeah, I'll eventually get rid of it, but. Eventually. To protect the kid, it needed to be done. All right, do we have everything for this? We do, thanks to Dirt Child. And another mech cluster. What is it this time? I thought you could, you can't get off map sun blockers. We have darkness. That's actually really good for us usually, but we don't have a way to really supply ourselves with food yet. 
We can't get off map. But we can get on map. Uh, Do I go destroy this now? I think we have to right now because we just... Rice is dangerous food type? Yes, because it's raw. Raw is dangerous. We're nowhere near getting to... Uh, Hydroponics. Hydroponics power? Yeah, yeah. We, we do... Uh, Man, do I just leave that? Uh, World Oral Trade have had none in game year and a half right now. Uh, it's it's storyteller specific, but you're supposed to have a an average amount of them per year as long as you have a comms console and a and a powered uh, and a beacon. Yeah, can we run a sun lamp? Yeah. be the end of wood on the map as well yeah i don't we can destroy this right now we can always get another sunblocker later but that's uh that's a pretty big boon to our our defense in the long run yeah i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna let it stay though that's kind of crazy we can't get an off map problem causer sunblocker but we can have the on map one let's try to keep it Another problem, too, is this might actually take a lot of damage from these exploding eventually. I don't know. Uh, no, we're not tunnelers and we can't become tunnelers, unfortunately. God, I wish Dirt Child was still here. Crap. Dirt Child, why aren't you with us still? Um, yeah, so we can start with a sun lamp here. And then we can always move it around later. So. We all miss Dirt Child. Also are going to need, yeah, we're going to need wood. We just don't have the labor force for any of this either. Once this is get, uh, once this gets done, once this is getting done is what I was trying to say at first. We'll be able to do a. Uh, we'll be able to do two more festivals that have a chance to get joins. Yeah, yeah. Smoke belt. No, I, I, my thing wasn't trying to figure out how to. I can go kill it. I think it was trying to figure out, trying to decide whether I just want to leave it forever, which I think I do. Is there a second geothermal nearby? I'm not sure where they all are. Let's see. This is a weird map, right? Um, no, not really. The other four are all up north. This would have been a good entrance spot for this as well. I'm trying to make it work. It's going to be kind of crazy, but... I miss Dirt Child. So much uh, you learn experience. Oh, oh, I, I didn't realize that was that Rick. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what else do we need for this? Uh, construction still. Oh my God, we can't make the geothermal. We're at a six. I need to get his construction up. Uh, it's pretty dire that we do that. So if we start running out of food before we get all this done, I'm going to have to go destroy the sun blocker. So. All right. Let's, uh, let's smooth some walls. Walls are still bugged. So for anyone that doesn't know, the, uh, the walls are only worth one wealth smooth. So this is not going to be very much wealth at all. Now, flooring, smooth flooring is still a lot of wealth, but walls are not, so. Geo is eight, yep. Geo is eight.
Joe. Oh, was there one in the bottom right? Ooh, a wonder join. Oh, I, I missed that one. Yeah, that one's not super close either. That's our first wonder join. My ex lover. Could this be our our sanguifage queen? Don't enter over there where the mechs are. Gracie. Oh, Gracie, why? Why, Gracie, why? Why are you a pyro? Gracie. You're actually pretty terrible. Clean shaft. <laughs> That's why she's your ex. Yeah, I guess so. That sucks. Oh well. Let's go beat her to death. <laughs> Too convenient to be a coincidence. When is the allies death? Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're standing there watching her get chopped up. Wow. Uh, I should have blood fed first, yeah. I keep forgetting that we don't have the blood bag anymore. Right. Oh, that's going to take a while to get to level 8. We could have just drank her blood over and over until she died. I have to remember that for next time. Yeah, at the moment, uh, if we can't really... Well, yeah, I could have made them into a blood bank too. At the moment, if we can't really use it very much, I gotta kind of careful. Uh, 47 days. Level 8, level 8. I'm really tempted to go ahead and open those ancient dangers. Sal, give us seven months. Thank you, Sal. The stream and hear your favorite P music song. You love solitude. Mm -hmm. The fire phobia that my character has has brought on by this X, yeah. <sighs> Almost there. Gotta get that geothermal. Uh, is this enough? How much do these 50 watts? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's a teenager. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. 17. Probably gonna have to do the caravan trick to get all these in a little bit quicker, especially with it raining. Let's let them finish harvesting it and then we'll do that. Man, oh man. <laughs> We're so much further back than I thought we'd be at this stage. But we got Sunblocker. That's nice. We got that going for us. All right. Let's go ahead and home zone all this. And then we're going to go into world map. Or caravan. Drop travel supplies. Grab all of you guys. And then grab all the potatoes. Hit send, go grab you three, take the donkey out of the caravan, take you out of the caravan. Oh, right. It has to be a colonist. Forgot. Those are slaves. They can't go on their own. So it's going to have to be me or the kid that goes out and gets these. My bad. All right. Potato, 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 potato. All right, kid. There you go. I don't know where you're keeping these. Kid, you show them how it's done. Have you ever seen a small child pick up 2,000 potatoes? 
I'm not sure why we want to watch that, but I'm I'm watching it right now. Actually, pretty enjoyable. I don't know. I don't know why, but <laughs> there he goes. All right, way to go, little guy. Way to go. Kid's MVP of this run. I gotta tell you. Just potatoes explode everywhere. It's one strong kid. Uh, British. Thank you for the five months. Are you British? Important vampire training. Two thousand potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand potatoes. How are we doing on this? Level six, almost level seven. Almost there. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I'm getting pretty hungry. Auto office asking when we're wrapping things up. And we're going to continue this run in the morning. I'll do another premiere thing for YouTube so you'll know when it's coming. So if you want to come in and see it. Uh, man, oh man, one of the eventful, eventful run already. So yeah, this 500% uh, no pause, single phase vampire run, whatever you want to call it, will continue tomorrow. And hopefully we can get more stable. Uh, <laughs> there's some crazy stories that happen today. So if you missed any part of this, highly suggest checking out the VOD on YouTube. Just go to my YouTube channel, click on the live tab. It'll be available immediately. And it the story behind Kid, oh man, there's been a lot of stories already, but I won't I won't spoil it. And tomorrow we'll hopefully hopefully <laughs> get to a more stable but uh what time tomorrow? It should be around the same time, around 10 30 a.m. Eastern time. But uh I'll set up the premiere thing and I'll let you guys know in Discord. So let me save it before anything else happens. We'll continue tomorrow on the 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 most themed and inefficient run of all time. <laughs> Uh, uh, again, thank you guys for hanging out on YouTube. Uh, for a lot of the stream today, we actually had more YouTube viewers than Twitch viewers. It kind of switched over uh, about two hours ago where it, where it flipped, but I, I've never had so many viewers on YouTube, so thank you guys for hanging out on YouTube. Those of you that are lurking on both, thank you for that as well. But yeah, we'll continue this run tomorrow, and it should be this run all day tomorrow as well. So, uh, yeah, and thank you, thank you again for all the channel memberships, the subs, all the things. It's all very much appreciated. Make sure I got the recordings all good. Okay, we are good. All right. Thank you guys again. Have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it is where you are. I will see you next time, which should be tomorrow around 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. I'll put a premiere thing on YouTube, so it'll it'll just show your local time. And then I also have the timer in Discord where it'll show your local time.